Making money is hard, especially when you don't have any. So we did whatever we could to get rich. Michael hustled, Franklin robbed, and Trevor, well, he's got his ways. They had a good thing going, until disaster. You can't expect to get that rich without getting a target on your back. But they're strong, and nothing stops them having fun and making money. Even YouTube knows that by reminding people to never annoy us again. You can take him away, lock him up, and even start a zombie apocalypse. They'll still make money and live life to the fullest. But watch out, because in this movie, there's a massive plot twist. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and your soda, and enjoy. Everything you can imagine costs one cent in GTA 5 for today and today only. From supercars to mansions to even a pepperoni pizza. And I know what you're thinking. Michael DeSanta, the richest guy in the universe. He's got billions of dollars to his name. Except you're wrong. This morning, he came home to me and he told me this. Not, I've made a mistake. What that mistake was, I have no idea. But he didn't look too good. And because of that mistake, he's now got no money. On a day where everything costs one cent, a penny, we have no money. If Michael kept his money like a good boy, we could buy every single one of these cars. But no, he had to lose everything. And hold on just a second. If Michael really kept his money, we could have got the mystery item, which costs one dollar. I wonder what that mystery item is. I gotta go into stealth mode, and we gotta find money around this house. There's gotta be something lying around. If you guys see anything, I want you to scream as loud as you can at the TV. Uh, maybe your phone or computer. Whatever you guys are watching this on. Just scream! Okay, let's see. Where is the money? Come on, Michael. We're looking for literally a penny. Maybe a dollar if we're lucky. There's gotta be some money around here. Come on! Nothing in the kitchen. Oh my days. What about upstairs? Maybe he's got like a stash of coins upstairs. Or even, if we're lucky, a secret vault. Could you imagine if we found a secret vault full of money? <laughs> let's take a look. Have you got anything, Michael? A secret vault or... Oh, man, there's literally nothing here. Come on. Siri. Oh, my days. Dude, I found some money. Is that what I think it is? A dollar bill? Hey, Michael, pick it up quickly. Hold on a second. That's only one cent. I thought that was a dollar bill. That's really strange. Well, at least I've got one cent. I want to see what I can buy with this. So let's go to the nearest car store and see what's for sale. Oh, look at all these amazing cars. Hey, Simeon, do you reckon you can cut me a deal? I got one cent and I want to buy one of these cars. Hold on a second. What is that one in the middle of your showroom? I got to take a look. Oh my days. This is a golden Lamborghini. I didn't realize you could get these in GTA 5. Hey, Simeon. I got one cent. You reckon I can buy this car? Hey, what are you doing? That Lamborghini is not for sale. If you want to buy that car, you're going to buy 10 more cars from me first. Do you have any idea how much it's worth? If I wait another day, I'll make millions for that Lamborghini. Simeon, you can't be serious. I want to buy that Lamborghini now. You're annoying me now. Shop's closed. If you want to buy anything from me, you got to get this video to 15,000 likes. What? Shop closed? I can't buy anything from him now? Oh. Oh my days, guys, you heard the man. Not my rules, it's Simeon's. Get this video to 15,000 likes. Buy these 10 cars to the right of me and I'll sell you that Lamborghini. But just because I don't like you, you gotta start with the BMX and work your way across. The BMX? Oh my days, Simeon, that's so not fair. I gotta buy the BMX first and then the Caddy and then the Panzer. Well, at least there's some pretty nice cars up here. Check out this one. This is a proper solid gold racing car. And once I buy this, We'll finally be able to buy the golden Lamborghini. All right, Simeon, you got yourself a deal. I'm going to buy the BMX, and we're going to find a clever way to make some more money, Michael. There goes my only cent. Oh, my days. So how am I going to make more money in this world? I mean, I'm only looking for pennies. Surely everyone has that, right? Oh, wait, Simeon's calling me. I thought he didn't like me. What do you want, Simeon? Hey, kid, I got a job for you. Do this for me, and I'll pay you well. Uh, he's got a job for me? I, I, last time I checked, I didn't think Simeon liked me. Well, let's go and do this job, guys. I wonder what he wants me to do. <sighs> Ugh, that was a horrible hill, but we've arrived. The Quartz Museum, and apparently around here is a supercar which Simeon wants collecting. I think I can see it, guys. That looks like a very, very nice car. Let's pull up, Michael. Yeah, this must be the one Simeon wants me to collect. All right, let's take a look at the number plate. He told me it's owned by a cool guy. That's definitely a cool guy. We got the car. All right, Michael, you know what to do. Let's get inside this thing. Oh, no, guys, the door's locked. I can't even make my way inside. What if I just break the window? Windows. 
There we go. Can we get inside now? Ah, oh, Michael, come on. Use your intuition. I don't think he wants to open it from the inside. This car is totally locked. We got to find the owner. Somewhere around here has got to be the owner. Let's see. Where could they be? Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? This is a maze. Are you kidding me? The owner's got to be in there. Okay, Michael, we can't afford to get lost. If we spend too much time in here, we're literally wasting time, which means we'll be able to buy fewer things, including the locked $1 item. I have no idea what that is. This maze is so complicated. I don't even know which way is... What's through this way? Is anyone here? Oh, man, I'm literally wasting so much time. Wait, where does this go to? This is so confusing. <gasps> Hold on, I found someone. Slowly, slowly. All right, if you got the key, lady? I really need to find the key. Please, Michael, has she got the key? No, no key. That's not a cool guy. That's a cool girl. Oh, I should have known that from the get-go. I'm really sorry, ma'am. I'll make it up to you. Let's go and find someone else. Who owns that car? I know you're in here, dude. Oh, hold on, I found someone. This person looks like a cool guy. Yeah. All right, if you got the key, come on, dude. You must have the key. Oh, no, he didn't have the key. But he did have two cents. <laughs> yes, Michael, that's great news. I now have two more cents, which is even closer to unlocking that golden Lamborghini. Hold on a second. I found someone else. All right, this person must have the key. What are you doing? He's literally staring at a hedge. All right, night, night, buddy. Yes. All right, he's down. Did he have the key? Let's find out. <gasps> yes, he had the key. But no money. That kind of sucks. But at least I got $2 and the key. This is an entity XXR. This is like one of the best entities in GTA 5. The totally upgraded one. And the exhaust pipe is spitting fire. Well, now I got the car keys. I can finally return this to Simeon and get paid. Simeon, I got your car. It's the entity XXR. You're gonna love this one. Uh, just sorry about the damage. That was not me. It came like this, Simeon. I promise. That is not in good condition. Condition. Do you have any idea how much money I have to spend to repair that car? Well, if you do it today, Simeon, surely it's one cent. Listen to me, clever clogs. I haven't got time to argue with you. That's the last time you do any job for me. And this is how much I'm paying you. Half of what I was going to pay you. Three cents? That's so not fair, Simeon. I literally spent all day trying to find that car. <sighs> well, at least that means I have five cents, which I can spend at his store. And that means I can buy the caddy, the panther, the Mini, and then this monster truck, and this beautiful armored SUV Galavanta Bull. But that means I can't buy any of these. We're gonna find a way to make five cents, Michael. If we don't, we'll never get that golden Lamborghini. There's gotta be better ways to make money around here. Now, Simeon isn't giving me anything, but Franklin's calling me. Hold on a second. What do you want, Franklin? I'm gonna take this phone call inside my car, just in case Simeon listens in. Hey, Michael, I got a job for you. Takes five minutes. Swing by my house house when you're ready. Franklin's got a job for me, and it only takes five minutes? Simeon, I'm out of here. I got someone better to go to. Come on, Franklin. Wait, what does that plaque say? I don't think I've ever seen that plaque. The Clintons? But there's only one Clinton. Are there more? Where did that come from? <laughs> Franklin, I'm here! There you are. Let's do this. Uh, uh, <laughs> Do, do what, Franklin? Uh, why are you dressed up like that? Be quiet and drive. All you need to do is drive. All right, Franklin. I'll drive. Don't, don't you worry. I'll, I'll, I'll be a very good driver. I think that's what he wants me to do. I gotta be a driver for him. Well, if it pays well, it pays well. So where do you want dropping off at, Franklin? I marked the waypoint. Go there, and we got no problems. All right, Franklin. He's marked the waypoint. Let's go, Michael. Oh, my days. I'm so nervous. I got a feeling that we're not really meant to be doing this. Is this where you wanted to go, Franklin? The fleet? a bank? Oh no, guys. I think he wants me to be a getaway driver for him. Oh my days. He's robbing the Fleeker bank. I hope no one gets hurt. Franklin, hurry up, dude. Hurry up. The police will be here soon. Oh no, I can already hear the sirens. Yes, he's here. Come on, get in. Get in, Franklin. Get in. Drive, drive, drive. You got it, Franklin. I'm going. I'm out of here. Oh my days. You just gave me a five-star one level. Oh, yo, do you see that? That's a roadblock up ahead. All right, we're not going through that, guys. Don't worry, Franklin. I'm in an armored vehicle. It's actually kind of handy that I'm driving this. This is the perfect getaway car. Do you have any good ideas, Franklin? Because I don't want to go to prison. Not today. And shouldn't you be the one driving? You're the one with the ability to, like, drive really fast. Okay, I'm gonna hide in the sewers. Hopefully, this will lose the wanted level. I think we're gonna be okay. I am literally on the ground now. That was crazy. Franklin wanted me to be a getaway driver. Phew. Wanted level lost. Franklin, you can go home now without worrying about the police coming after you. Now, about that money. You told me I was gonna get paid for this job. How much am I getting? Four cents for that? 
Seriously? Franklin, that's so not fair. You can buy a lot with four cents. Don't be ungrateful. I can make it three. Hey, Simeon, listen to me. I got some more money for you, but here's the deal. Maybe if I buy all of these cars, you'll uh, let me get that Lamborghini for free? No chance. You're lucky I'm letting you leave your cars here. Oh, man, everyone's so mean to me. Well, I got four cents. Let's buy every single one of these cars. We got a sports car, a supercar, another supercar, and the golden racing car. I'm gonna take this. This looks so sick. Check it out, guys. The Benefactor BR8 open wheel for one cent. You literally can't get this any cheaper. Now, all I need is one more cent to get that golden Lamborghini. And hold on, the radio's playing. What's it saying? Most wanted suspect on the loose. Escape prisoner from Sandy Shores. Last spotted in residential neighborhood in Los Santos. Destroy the suspects and be rewarded. Ten cents. Ten cents to find the suspects? That's amazing! That's more money than, like, anyone's paid me today. I gotta be the one to find this guy. I gotta be the one. So the residential neighborhood is right there. And we're looking for an escaped prisoner. Find him, take him out, get the 10 cents. Sounds fantastic. That means I'll be able to buy the golden Lamborghini and have 9 cents left over to put towards the $1 mystery item, which I still have no idea what it is. Oh man, I gotta find this guy before the police officers do. What about in that garden? That looks easy, but too open. We gotta find a garden which is really hidden away. Like maybe this one. Abandoned house for sale. This is a perfect hiding spot. I wouldn't be surprised if the prisoner is hiding in the garden of this house. Let's see. Is he there? Eh? Ah, no, he's not here. That sucks. I really thought we had him this time. Well, Michael, we're searching garden to garden now. Once we find this prisoner, he's going down. Nothing's getting between me and my 10 cents. What about over this fence over here? Oh, empty pool. No one's in this house. Is he around here? He is. He's shooting me. <gasps> oh, I was right. I got him right, dude. And now he's in the sewing pool. Is he alive? I got him. Oh my days. He was literally gonna shoot me, dude. Michael, are we good? Did he get us? I don't think he did. I think he missed. That is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I got the... Ooh, I just made five cents. Amazing. Well, I got the suspect. Now, please, pay me the 10 cents. Sir, you've done well. Here's your reward. That means I have 15 cents, which means I could buy, like, 15 of anything. But first, I want to get that golden Lamborghini. And then I got to find a way to buy that mysterious item. I bet you never thought I would get that car. And no, 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 no. It is now all mine. And you can't do anything about it. Why did I ever make a deal with you? Yeah, a deal's a deal. Take the car. I'm gonna take this for a spin and go and spend some more money. And whilst I do that, I need to find a way to make more money. Because if I want to get that mystery item, I need to somehow cough up one dollar. Which, for those of you guys who didn't know, is a hundred cents. That's a lot of cents. Yo, I love the inside of this car, though. I could literally just live in this for the rest of my life. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some more things. Like this golden helicopter, which is now mine. I think they make quite a good match. What else can we buy, Michael? Hmm, I'm gonna get a yacht. The biggest one in the game. There's my golden plane. Lovely stuff. And coming in soon is gonna be my lovely giant golden yacht. It's just on its way. I'm gonna race this car around the airport. I've spent money on, like, some of the best and most expensive items in the world. And there's still so many more things I wanna buy. Whoa, this is a fast car. This is a seriously fast car. Dude, I've lost the windscreen. Michael, how have we done that? We better slow down, Michael. This is not safe. Safe. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you doing? Subscribe now and I might just be generous enough to give you this golden Lamborghini. Can you imagine driving around in GTA 5 in this? All of your friends are gonna be jealous of you. Seriously. What does this guy want? He just randomly appeared and wants to talk to me. That's a nice car though. He's got an adder. That is like one of the best ones in GTA 5 which you guys can buy. Hey kid, I love your car. Do you reckon I can race for it? If I win, you give me everything. But if you win, I'll give you a dollar. A whole dollar. No way. This guy's offering me one dollar if I beat him in a race. We gotta give him everything, including that golden Lamborghini and every single car I bought today. And your house. And your family. And everything. Literally, literally everything. You gotta be homeless. Everything? Seriously? Okay, this is quite a risk. But since I'm filming and you're watching and I don't care too much about Michael, I'm accepting the deal. We're gonna win this race. We have no choice. All right, there's the Marcus. I'm currently in second place. This guy is... Oh, he doesn't want me to overtake, but I just did it. Yes, we're in first place. You guys are going down. <laughs> and then take a right round here. This is where my hairdresser is. Wait, does this go past my house? I think it does. Yo, it goes straight. 
straight past Mike. Oh, no, 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 no. I had a bad crash. Come on, start, start, start. Why isn't my car starting? You serious? Ugh, my days, it wouldn't start on me. Oh, no, that's really set me back. I'm now in, like, last place. No, 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 no. We could lose this. We could lose everything. No, take it around the corner. Come on, the finish line is just down here. Quick, 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 quick. I'm back in first place. And then there's the finish line. There's the finish line. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We won in first place. Oh, my days. That was so tense. Oh, never do that again, Michael. Never again. Well, guys, a deal's a deal. You better pay up. Give me my dollar. I'm buying that mystery item we saw on the internet earlier today. No way. This is what the mystery item was. It's an entire house. I want to check around this place, dude. I think that's the house. It's a giant triangle. I've never seen houses like that before. Franklin has a billion dollars. He's just robbed the bank, and he's going to live the life of his dreams. But there's a problem. When I entered the bank, everything was going so well. I took out the tellers, I got through the gates, and I went through the vault door, but I forgot to prop it open. And now... I'm stuck inside the vault. And I can hear the police on their way already. Their sirens are distant, but they're on their way. I've tried everything, from running into the vault to even blowing it open, but nothing seems to work. Except this. In the corner of my screen, it says 10 of you guys need to subscribe to open the vault. If you don't, I'm gonna get arrested, lose all of my money, and go to jail. Which I really don't want to do. I've just made a billion dollars, see? Oh, man, we can't afford to lose that, guys. Quick, subscribe to my channel. All I need is 10 of you guys to press the button so we can live life as a billionaire. Believe me, we're gonna go on the craziest spending spree. <laughs> Has it worked yet? I don't see that go down. Hey, no one subscribed yet. What are you doing? Oh, yes, it's working. Amazing. Nine subscribers, seven, five. Yes, it's going down. Four, three, two. Yes, I can open the vault. Does that mean I can just walk straight into it? Oh, my days, I can. Yes. <laughs> Finally, I'm so so glad to be out of there. Come on, Franklin. Let's get out of here, dude, before the police show up. Luckily for us, I left a pretty nice getaway car outside. It better still be there. I did park it up. Yes, it is. Amazing. <laughs> My trusty Adder supercar. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not stuck in that vault. They would have so arrested me and I would have lost everything. All right, don't worry, guys. I know just the plan. This is only a two-star wonder level. I'll lose them in no time. Let's get out of the city. We're way too hot for this. I've just lost the police and now I have a billion dollars to my name. <laughs> You know what that means. I got away with it, guys. And I can do whatever I want. Now I'm a billionaire. I can literally buy anything. We're gonna have such an amazing day. Buying so many things. Oh my goodness. Are you seeing that, guys? That's a giant mansion. All right, maybe we can start with buying a nice car first. I wonder what we can buy around here. Wait a second. Truck! <gasps> Franklin! Franklin! Franklin, talk to me! Franklin, talk to me! Guys, something really bad has happened to Franklin. I can't see anything! Oh, my head. Seriously? How? How did I get in my house? Wait a second. Who is that? They've got a gun. They've got a... Lester? What? What are you doing in my house? Don't you remember? No, Lester, I don't remember. Can you explain to me again why we're in this situation? One second I was in a bank, next second I was a billionaire, and now I'm in my house, and you've got a gun to me. So tell me, what's going on? We agreed five years ago that if you make a billion dollars and don't spend it in 24 hours, I get to keep everything, everything. Hey, Lester, I didn't think I would ever make a billion dollars, okay? I, I made that as a joke. Yeah, well, guess who's joking now, huh? No one! How does he know I even had a billion dollars in the first place? So if I don't spend this in 24 hours, Lester's gonna come for me and he's gonna take everything I own. This is gonna be really hard. How long do I have? 24 hours. 24 hours? Okay. Well, I'm sure we can figure something out. Are you gonna drop the gun, Lester? No! Alright, that's cool. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna leave my house this way then. If I don't spend this money, I'm gonna lose everything to Lester. Let's take a look. What can we buy, Franklin? There's gotta be stuff online, like really nice things. Huh, travel and transport, elite just travel. <laughs> oh, ten million dollars. Yes, I'll get that. That's literally just one percent. I gotta buy a hundred of those. Okay, what about this one for five million, and then this one for a million? I spent twenty-five million dollars on Alita's travel. That is literally two and a half percent of what I gotta spend. What about on here? So my price. I want most expensive. The most expensive. I just spent another twenty-five million dollars on legendary motorsports. Oh, this is so tricky. Okay, let's see. Tanks. Only three million dollars. Come on. There is no way I can spend all of my money just doing. This. This. I spent 10 million dollars on there, another 10 million on there, and barely anything on these two. Now I'm left with 930 million dollars, and I bought everything you can possibly buy in the game. That sucks, Franklin. There's gotta be something else we can do. Simeon, what do you want? This better be good. I don't want any jobs today. No jobs. Frank! 
I have the ride of your life. The ride of my life, Simeon? Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay, I'm on my way. Perfect. I'll see you there, my friend. All right, Simeon has got a ride of my life. Uh, let's go and see what that is. Hopefully, this ride of my life is actually worth a lot of money. I mean, I never thought I would say this, but I really want to get ripped off today so I can keep everything. I mean, if you were to spend a billion dollars in 24 hours, what would you buy? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and smash like. If we get this video to 50,000 likes, then one of you guys statistically will probably become a billionaire. If you want that to be you, you better press like. <laughs> Let's see what Simeon's got for me today. Hey, Simeon. Whoa, this is a really nice car. <laughs> hey, uh, how much money do you need for this ride? I got money to spend. For this beauty, $100 million. That's kind of steep, Simeon. I think you could get this for less, but guys, I can officially say I'll be driving around a $100 million supercar. <laughs> Simeon, you got yourself a deal. You won't regret this. I promise I will not steal this car from you in the future. Hey, uh, thanks, Simeon, I guess. So, hey, hey, take the money, okay? Just just don't take my car, all right? This is my car. I really like it. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's a Lamborghini. Wow, look at the inside. Yo, only super rich people can buy this. Like, come on, this is a hundred million dollars. <laughs> And it's all mine. This has to be one of a kind. There is no way anyone has a car like this. No way. Look at the dashboard. All red. And those buttons, the steering wheel. <laughs> this is a beautiful car. I honestly can't wait to take this for a spin. Let's see how fast this actually goes on the road. Let's do this. <laughs> coming through, guys. Coming through. Hopefully this time, Lester doesn't crash into me with a big truck. Whoa, whoa. Too fast. You can't stop me. Oh, my days. We might crash. We might crash. Come on, Franklin. Watch out. <laughs> We're so going to ride this car off. This is too much fun. Fun. Okay, let's slow this down, Franklin, and take it slowly and steadily, okay? <laughs> nice. Hey, what does this guy want? He seems to be calling my name. No photos, okay? This is a really expensive car. What does he want, dude? Hey, nice ride. Can I get in? Yeah, I suppose you can. Just don't do anything stupid or crazy. So, what do you want, mister? Tell me now, or else you're getting kicked out. Well, I'm a real estate agent with the best properties in town. How do you fancy taking a look at them? They cost a lot of money, but I think you can afford one. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I would love to see what's for sale. Maybe that's another way I can spend this money. And we could get a really nice house in the process. <laughs> oh, my days. Do you remember the one I saw at the start? When I crashed into the truck? Maybe I can buy that one, too. He is going to show me the villa. I knew it. I saw it this morning, and it looked brand new. Wow. No one's even moved in yet. And it comes with a helicopter. That's insane. The most expensive house in Los Santos. At $75 million, this lovely masterpiece could be yours. Whoa. Hey, do you mind if I just quickly pop my head inside? I mean, if I'm spending 75 million bucks on this, I need to see what it's all about. <laughs> wow. I love the chandelier. Wow. And the view of the road down there and Los Santos. Hey, man, this is an easy buy. I'll buy this for $75 million. Easy. I've just spent $75 million on literally the nicest house in Los Santos. This is such a beautiful place. <laughs> but we're not done yet, guys. I'm only a fraction of the way down to spending my billion dollars. I bought everything in the game, the nicest house and the nicest car. And we've only got a fraction down. This is going to be really tricky. Maybe I can speak to him and see if he knows anywhere else I can buy. By the way, this place comes with a movie theater and a bedroom next to the movie theater. Does it get any crazier than this? Hey, so I really like this house. Do you have anything else I can buy? Of course. Follow me. Yes. Oh, my days. There's even more things. Let's go and see what they are. For $50 million, you could own the most prestigious club in Los Santos. The Yacht Club. The Yacht Club. Hey, this actually looks pretty nice. I've never been inside this place, but I can't believe I'm about to go in. I'm inside the Yacht Club. This is a secret club only for members who have a yacht. And there's a fireplace. There's an actual fireplace. No way. There is a miniature golden yacht statue. Wow. This is some serious business. I now own the Yacht Club, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to join? Only subscribers allowed. So if you're not subscribed, then... You can't join. I'm sorry, guys. It's the rules. <laughs> oh, there's the estate agent just standing on a table. <laughs> Another miniature yacht. I kind of want to check out downstairs. I haven't been down there yet, and I don't actually know how we do that. <laughs> Seems like I'm stuck up here right now. Here we go. It's through the surveillance door. And away we go, guys. I'm inside the yacht club with the bar in the middle. You can order drinks hour by hour, minute by minute. Who cares? <laughs> There's a slushy machine. I don't like the green slushies. They're disgusting. This is so nice. Hey, guys, come on. Come on. I want a massive party here with as many of you guys around. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. I now own the yacht club. There's a grand piano in here. We're going to have some fun. And let's look at these photos. Some really old historic photos of previous members and founders. 
of the Yacht Club. Let's see what else this guy has to sell. For $75 million, this paradise could be yours. Count me in. This looks like a really good paradise. There's a waterfall. There's even a bridge over the waterfall. Helicopters. And have you seen all the supercars and people down there? Okay, I want to check this out. Franklin, we're jumping down. Let's do this. Coming through, everyone. Your new owner has arrived. <laughs> I wonder where this goes to. Ow, ow, ow. I hit a tree. I hit a tree. Okay, there's a golden helicopter. The parking lot. Oh, my days. This took me upstairs. Okay, this is the parking lot. And this is a very, very nice parking lot. <laughs> hey, let's see what that car is. It's like some sort of designer car. It looks very cool. No photos, please. No photo. Very rich guy coming through. I want to get up there on that bridge. That takes me to Sandy Shores. There is a tunnel straight through this mountain which goes to Sandy Shores. Maybe we don't go to Sandy Shores yet. There's still so much more to check out, like this place. Masonette Los Santos. <laughs> Lester is going to get the surprise of his life. We might actually spend all of our money, guys. 730 million. We're not even halfway. I love that bridge down there. That looks like paradise, dude. So nice. Okay, you know what, Franklin? There isn't much time to waste. I got 24 hours, remember, and we're eating into this time. I'm going to find that estate agent and find something else to buy. He better know a few other places. Hey, listen, man. I still need somewhere else to buy. I got so much more money to spend. Okay, okay. Calm down. I know just the place. For 130 million bucks, you could buy this secret military island. Yeah, count me in, dude. I now have my own military island. <laughs> we're right off San Andreas over there. In my own space in the water, there is no one who can find me or stop me. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Wow, a military island. Guys, I just bought this place for $130 million. I'm 40% in to spending all of my money. And I've bought literally everything I can imagine. <laughs> From mansions to party islands to even military islands. This is crazy. I am so far away from San Andreas. I don't think anyone knows this existed. I definitely didn't. And it comes with my own army. Wow. <laughs> hey, let's take a look inside. Maybe there's like some wall secrets in there. I don't know. Are we going to find aliens? Who knows, guys? Who knows? Da -da -da. Afternoon, guys. This is your new owner coming through. I have nothing to do with the military, but I now own this place. <laughs> wow. You can go inside. And down here is a submarine. No way. Oh, my days. And there's even vaults over there. Dude, there's vaults. There's vaults. I, I bet there's money in there. There's got to be more vaults. They're installing a lot of vaults, guys. And look at this. There's gold. This must be all of Franklin's money. As you can see, I spent about 40% of it. I've still got tons of gold left. Well, this is a really cool base. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm glad I bought this. But time goes on and I'm still losing time. So let's see what else we can buy. Hey, man, I really appreciate everything you've done. But do you have anything else I can buy? Like something a little bit more expensive? What do you mean? I told you everything. No, I got nothing left, okay? Wow, all right. No need to get angry at me, dude. I don't think this guy likes the fact I just bought every single house. <laughs> well, thanks anyway for your business, I suppose. I won't be needing you again. Since we're on Military Island, bye-bye. <laughs> Good luck on finding someone to stop me. So now I've got $600 million left. I still need to find a way to spend that money. Is there anything I've missed online? Here we go. There's a website. Secret website? No way. What have I just found? <laughs> Guys, if I buy this mystery item for $10 million, I get something. Is this going to be worth it? Is this a ripoff? I, I I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see what happens. All right. Buy. Right. Let's see. What did I get? Your item has been delivered to Franklin's house. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. I got to go to my house. Well, that's okay. I'll just... I'll take off in my plane on my runway <laughs> and check out this item. What do you think the mystery item is? This is crazy. I can just buy mystery items for $10 million a piece. Well, here we go. Time to get out of this place. I wonder what's been delivered. This. Do you want to make any guesses? Let's make this fun. I reckon we've got a really, really nice car. <laughs> but I suppose it could be anything. The one thing I don't want is a bucket of ice. I wouldn't like that. That would be mean. For $10 million? I mean, technically, they could give me anything. Oh, no. We better get that quickly, Franklin. I really hope I haven't been ripped off. Well, I've come far enough. Now the only thing to do is to jump out and parachute down. There is no way I'm landing this plane. <laughs> Where is it going to crash? Oh, boy. That's going to be a bad crash. It's going to be... <laughs> Crash. Hey, sorry guys, I'll pay for it, I promise. Now let's see what's been delivered to my house. I'm so excited! I don't see anything new. Literally nothing. I don't see anything. Guys, I, there's literally nothing here. What about my garage? Nothing in my garage? 
I was told something's been delivered. That's my car. That's my bike. Wait a second. A shoe? Oh, my days. I just spent $10 million on a shoe. Guys, I take it back. This is worse than a bucket of ice. I could do something with a bucket of ice. What am I gonna do with one shoe? Hobble around Los Santos? Hey, guess what, guys? I got two legs. Two legs. Oh, my day. I'm so... You know what? Screw it, guys. I'm gonna buy it again. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we get something better this time. All right, $10 million. Give me something good. All my days. Guys, I finally got something good. <laughs> I just got a luxury jet. Uh, get on the roof, Franklin. I need to check this out. I just got a plane. It spawned on my roof. I just bought this. It's the mystery item. <laughs> well, this is much better than a shoe. No way. There's seats in here. There's a sofa. There's even a bedroom at the back. Wow. All right. This is nice. I'm not going to lie. This is really, really nice. I really want to fly this now. <laughs> you could have put this somewhere a little bit more convenient. Not just my roof. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now let's go. <laughs> Whoa, the acceleration. It's not bad. Wow. I just took off like it was nothing. Well, this is a seriously fast jet. Guys, I've never flown a jet this fast. I'm going so fast. <laughs> Whoa. This is the nicest blade ever, dude. And I just got it for 10 million bucks. Wow. Hey, I wonder what else we can get with that mystery item. Let's let's buy something else. Uh, go again. Oh, wait. It's locked. I can only buy it three times. Well, they've delivered something to my house. That's kind of annoying. I wish I could just keep buying that mystery button for the rest of the video. That would have made things so much easier. Well, I've capped out how many times I can buy stuff with it, but there's something at my house. <laughs> Are you ready to see what it is? Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, eyes, eyes on the eyes on the sky. Eyes on the sky, Franklin. Or the buildings. That would be fantastic. Please don't crash. This is a really, really nice jet. And the wing actually moves at the back. That's so smooth. That is so smooth. I really like that. Beautiful. Um, all right. Well, I've just been given a bunch of supercars. <laughs> Not gonna complain. This is pretty cool. Dude, I've been given like 25 supercars. Hey, 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 guys. Do you mind? Do you mind? Not crashing into my cars. I know I got 25 of them, but come on. <laughs> This is insane. I've just been given 25 supercars for $10 million. I think this is a pretty good deal. But I can't use that button anymore. And I've still got 570 million left. I'm not even halfway through. There's got to be something else I can do. There has to be. Ow, ow. Come on, Franklin. Think, think, buddy, think. I'm getting a phone call from a businessman. <laughs> is that just his name? Hey, what do you want? You're spending fast. How would you like to buy a 10-bedroom state-of-the-art yacht? I would love to. How much money does that cost? 200. <laughs> 70 million bucks. 270 million. Oh my days. That's amazing. I'll be right there. Well, let's go and see what this yacht is like for 270 million bucks. That's really going to do me favors. Whoa, that's the yacht. Is it that one or is it that one? I think it might be the gold one, but let's find out. Where is he? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hang on a second. This guy looks like a businessman. Hey, buddy. Are you the person selling me the yacht? That's me. For 270 million bucks, that gold machine behind me could be yours. You know what, buddy? You've sold me. I'll buy the yacht. Don't you want to look around? it or something? No, I'm good. I'll just I'll just get the yacht now, you know. I'm running out of time. The sun's going down. I, I need to spend my money. Well, okay. We got ourselves a sale. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right, I've just spent 270 million bucks on this thing. It better be nice. I'm left with 30% of my money. We might actually spend a billion dollars in 24 hours. To Lester's surprise as well. <laughs> if we actually do this, I'm gonna be gobsmacked. But let's check out this yacht. I can see a luxury golden helicopter on the end of the golden yacht. But what does it look like inside? So this is the first floor down. Down there takes you down a spiral staircase to the exit. But up here, we have these lovely sofa chatty areas. <laughs> and then this is another place to chill out with sofas, kitchen, a very long table for 10 lucky guests. And this is where everyone sleeps. The 10 bedrooms. Wow. Hey, let's go upstairs and see what else this place has to offer. A coffee table, dining experience. This table's too small. I mean, what do you, what do you think I'm going to do? Sit here and then leap forward to put my drink down? Nah, nah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Super duper long table, more sofas, and look at that lovely view of the beach. But let's go up even more, guys, because we can. And up here is a bar. Nice. A grand piano. I can play some tunes on here. And then through here is where you sell the beast. There's still a few more levels on this boat, but overall, guys, I'm pretty happy. And for $270 million, I think we made a pretty good deal. Anyway, it's not over yet, because if we don't spend $300 million by the end of the day, then Lester's gonna take everything we own and more. Come on, Franklin. Keep spending, buddy. Keep spending. Buy the Krastenberg Hotel. Oh, no. Guys, I didn't think I could do this. I can buy businesses. That's amazing. How much money is the Krastenberg Hotel? $100 million. I just bought it, guys. I now own this hotel. Wow. Okay, I actually think we're gonna spend our money now. I genuinely do. <laughs> I just bought the most luxury hotel in Los Santos. Now I got $200 million left. What else can we buy? It's gotta be a big business. It's gotta be 
be something big. It's gotta be something nice, something good, something expensive, like the Eclipse Towers apartment block. Oh my days, imagine if I could buy all of those. The tower is literally right over there, guys. I gotta find out for myself. <laughs> Hey, if I can, how much money do you think it's gonna cost? I guess there's only one way to find out. The Eclipse Towers. Wow. I can buy this as well for $50 million? Whoa. Yeah, count me in. I have just purchased the Eclipse Towers for 50 million bucks. All of the apartments are now mine. I don't have much left to spend. Just $150 million, which I reckon we can do quite easily. Let's go into Los Santos. There's gotta be something expensive over there. The shopping mall. No way. I can buy this as well. All right, I purchased the shopping mall for thought that's a weird price. Wait a second. How much do I have left? I'm left with $9,423. No, 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 no. Why couldn't I have just bought this for like a, a, a nice 150 million? Oh my days, guys. I think the shopping mall was a bad idea because I just bought all of the stock inside. Well, that's okay. I may have just screwed myself over. I'll pay for 9,000 sodas if I have to. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Not to worry, Franklin. I know just the place to go. I know we're running out of time, but this man will take money from you no matter what. All the way to to the last penny. Simon's got a BMX, a quad bike, and a tiny car. Yo, I gotta buy these. I think I have just enough money. Hey, uh, Simeon, can I buy these rides? What are you doing, Simeon? Yes, I've made my lunch. Yes, I know. Uh, stop it. You're embarrassing me. I love you too. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. That's really strange. Hey, uh, Simeon, can I buy some cars? What are you doing in my office? I was in a very important business meeting. The only business meeting you were involved in, Simeon, was lunch. Now, don't I, I got some money to spend. I really want to buy those cars outside. Please, can we just, you know, put that down and let me buy some rides? I got nothing good for you. Nothing! Well, that's strange, Simeon, because I can see some rides out there which I would really, really like to buy. You know, those bikes, the quad bikes, the cars, all of those things. Why would you want to buy those? Simeon, listen, buddy. I just, I can't explain. Can you just please sell me them? Well, sure. The car costs $5,000. Uh, the quad bike, $4,000. And the BMX, $500. How much have you got? I have 9,423, which means I can buy that one, that one, but I'm, oh no, I'm $77 away from the BMX. Can you cut me a deal, Simeon, if I buy all three of them now? No! Oh, you're really stubborn. Okay, you know what? I'll just buy these two, and I'll figure out a way to spend the $423 somehow. How am I gonna do this now? I have $423, and I don't know what to do with that money. I, I could buy 423 sodas, but I think we've run out of time. Okay, get in the car, Franklin. We'll figure this out. There's gotta be something else we can do around here. Hang on a second, guys. Lamar's giving me a phone call. Hey, Lamar, what's up? Help me! Help me! Uh, uh, okay. All right, all right, I'm on my way. Uh, what, 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 what's happened with Lamar, dude? It doesn't sound like he's in a good situation right now. I wonder what he's done. Oh, no. I think Lamar's stuck in the water. Hey, Lamar, are you out there? Oh, guys, I forgot. He can't swim very well. I can see him. I can see him. Let me just double check. That's definitely him. Hey, Lamar, talk to me if that's you. Help me. Help. Oh, boy, it is, guys. It is. He's right in the ocean. And it looks like he's come off his jet ski over there. Don't worry, Lamar. Hold on. I'm going to get you. There's a jet ski right here. Once I save his life. I'm just gonna ask for $77 and then I can buy the BMX with Simeon and officially say I spent a billion dollars in 24 hours. Hey, Lamar! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to save you! Get on my jet ski! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, thanks, Franklin. You're the best. Hey, don't mention it, Lamar. You would do the same for me. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, bro, I would. Well, since I saved you and you appreciate your life, uh, can you pay me some money? I really need $77. Sure thing. It's the least I could do. Thanks, Lamar. You're a legend. Now I have $500. And you know what that means. Oh, seriously, Simeon? You're still pointing a gun at me now? I don't trust you at all. Whatever, Simeon. Can I just buy the BMX, okay? I saved Lamar's life. I'm a good guy and now I have $500. Yes, of course. I am a salesman after all. Buy the BMX. Go on. I dare you. Yep. Well, I just bought the BMX. Something really strange is up with Simeon right now. But I'm off. I got my BMX. <laughs> and I just went from a billion dollars to zero dollars in GTA 5. Check it out. I never thought I would see the day, guys. Zero dollars. <laughs> Lester's going to be so annoyed when he finds out I spent so much money. All of it, for that matter. And I bought some pretty nice places, including a military base. Well, since I spent that money, Let's go and live in my really nice house. And then we'll meet Lester and see what he has to say. Total luxury. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, did you spend all of your money? <laughs> uh, yeah, Lester, I did. I Look, I got zero dollars. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs>
I beat the challenge, which means you can't take anything from me. What? Uh, no, uh, this can't be true. You must have cheated. Where are you hiding it? Lester, I'm not hiding it anywhere, man. <laughs> you can watch the video back. I spent it on so many things. I have luxury yachts. I have a really nice car. Actually, that's it coming up the driveway now. See what I say? It's beautiful. <laughs> I'll have to show you the yacht eventually. Oh, I even have a military base. So don't even think about trying to get me, all right, Lester? Trust me, I'm well prepared. And I got a bunch of nice cars in my house. Wow, we bought so many things. I even have a party place. Dude, I have a party place. Well, it's been fun. I spent a billion dollars in GTA 5, and I never thought I would see the day where we actually hit zero bucks. But this is kind of awkward. I can't exactly afford food, electricity, or anything else like that. I wonder what we're gonna do. Maybe there's, like, something hidden around this house, like a secret stash of of money. <laughs> Who knows, guys? Let's take a little look around. Maybe we'll find something. Like, what could be through this door? I haven't even explored this place yet, but man, it is nice. Look at that bath. Ooh, I found an office. Now, if there's gonna be money anywhere, it's gonna be here. Yes! I found some money on the side. <laughs> and there's a computer. Is there anything on here? <gasps> no way! I just found a ton of Bitcoin! <laughs> Amazing! Well, I now have a secret stash of cash, which Lester doesn't know about. Shh. <laughs> and we are gonna live a very nice life after all. We have a problem, because this morning, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin disappeared. They straight up vanished. I have no idea where they've gone, and whenever I try and play as them, the game won't let me. Their characters are blacked out. But there's a lifeline, because I'm still allowed to play GTA 5, but this time, I have to play it with a side character. I can either choose Lamar, Wade, or Michael's mate, who I didn't even realize was a side character. Whoa, cool! Lamar, good to see you, my guy. So, does he know anything about what's going on? Let me take a look. Yeah, literally nothing. Nothing's coming up. No clues? No anything? Alright, Lamar, this is really strange. We better go and find these characters. And the place I'm gonna start off first is Franklin's house. There's gotta be a clue there, right? I've never experienced anything like this. Like, literally last week, Franklin disappeared, and that was fine. We found him. But to have every single character disappear, something really bad could have happened. Maybe they've been kidnapped. Where do you think they've gone? If I find out they're all in McDonald's getting a side of fries or something, I'm gonna be really annoyed because these people literally have got me so worried. I've arrived at Franklin's house. I mean, there's always a chance he could have slept in, you know, but his car isn't outside. Oh, no, that's not a good sign. All right, it looks like Franklin might actually have gone. But hey, he could be inside. Maybe he's tied up or maybe he's being interrogated. Yeah, that's always a possibility. All right, let's just head in and see what's happening. Franklin! Hey, Frank! His house seems pretty neat. No tables, no chairs chairs thrown around, sofas, etc. I wonder if Chop's down here. Uh, no one in the kitchen. All right, let me just go and check downstairs. Uh, do you reckon Chop's outside? Frank, are you in? Anyone? Yeah, no one in the bedroom. Okay, may as well check out downstairs as well. Anyone in the corridor? Okay, Franklin definitely isn't in this house. He has definitely vanished. Yeah, dude, Chop's gone too. This is so weird. What? Okay, let's go and see if there's any clues lying around. There's got to be something around here. Oh, wait a second. There is. There's a note on this table. What does this say? I'm leaving. Franklin, where are you leaving to? Why would you leave? Seriously? Why would he even leave that note? That doesn't make any sense. Let's just go and check out Michael's house because Franklin has clearly left and gone. M.I.A. I mean, what if each character has disappeared and gone their own ways? That would be such a big coincidence, but no, they've got to be connected, right? Uh, let's presume Franklin maybe went to Michael's house, or maybe Michael's got even more clues. All I know is Franklin has left. That's literally all he told us. Michael D. Santa and his gate is locked. Surprise, surprise. Well, it looks like we better go and find another way in. Let's just jump over the gate and... Oh, it was open anyway. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Michael, Michael, Michael. I don't see any cars outside. Yeah, cars have vanished. What do we have in here? Michael, it's... Whoa, look at that, dude. The wall has literally been blown up. What? Okay, this is crazy. Oh, my days. Wait a second. Have you seen the chairs and the table? That's been destroyed too. Okay, something really bad has happened. I got a feeling about this. Hello? Is anyone in? Dude, so many things are destroyed. What? Even the sofa's torn up. What are they doing? Wait, do you guys hear that? I think that's Chop. Something's barking in the garage. Hello, is there anyone? Oh, my days, it's Chop. No way. All right, we found Chop. That's good news. But why would Chop be here and... <gasps> what if Franklin's upstairs? All right, we better go and check upstairs, dude. I think Franklin might be in this house. Franklin! Franklin! Oh, my days, dude. Why is Chop in this house? Why is he here? It's even more destroyed up here. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, let's take a look in this room. Frank? Frank? 
Nope. All right, Franklin isn't here. What about in uh, in the toilet? Of course, maybe the toilet. Franklin. What? This is so weird, dude. I have no idea where he is. The bedrooms are empty. Wait, why is Jimmy's chair on the floor and his guitars on the? Jimmy loves his bedroom. He wouldn't throw his chair on the floor. What about Michael's bedroom? Michael, are you here? Michael. No, no one in the bed. Hey, wait a second. What are these? Blueprints? Wait a second. This is the prison. If I had to guess where they are, it's got to be the prison. But maybe we can find some more clues. Okay, come on. There's got to be another clue around here. What if we check? Oh, I got a great idea. The laptop. Of course. Maybe they've done some searching on there. Wait a minute, guys. They searched Trevor Phillips arrested. I think he's in prison. That would make sense. Let's go and find them. If only they told me before. Job, I'll be back in a second, all right? I'm going to go and rescue your owner and his friends. Oh, man, this gate is still locked. If only they told me. I would have loved to have helped them. But Trevor's got himself in prison, and that's why they're going to save him. That makes so much sense. Let's go and help him. I can't believe disappearing was the only way they thought to deal with this. I mean, come on. This is me we're talking about. I'm a pro. I wonder what he did to get himself arrested. I mean, it could literally be a million different things. This is Trevor we're talking about. <laughs> now, let's take a look. Where's a good vantage point? I need to look into the entire yard. And right now, this building is blocking my view. Not exactly very convenient. Come on, Lamar. Maybe there's a high vantage point. What about up here? Maybe this will do the trick. Oh, there we go. Now I'm seeing more of the yard. All right, this has to be the best spot to view it. Now, can we see Trevor? Let's take a look. Hang on a minute. Is that Trevor Phillips? It is. No way, dude. I'm literally looking at him, and I still can't play as him. I would happily break him out of prison if it was up to me. Hey, what's that noise? Let me take a look around. I think I can hear a helicopter. I can. What? That's literally right above the prison. Oh, my days. There's two of them. There's two of them, dude. All right, who's flying that one? Frank? That's him. They're breaking him out literally right now. Why do they need the blueprints when they're in helicopters? I mean, come on. Oh, yo. They're dropping grenades down. Okay, that's actually pretty crazy. They're causing a huge distraction. Okay. I have a feeling this is the escape plan. These guys have caused so much havoc. They're dropping grenades in, dude. Whilst Trevor just walks away. Trevor, oh my days. I've lost sight of him. I don't even know where he is. This is insane. They're doing an escape literally right in front of me. Where on earth did Trevor go to? Trevor, is he gonna come out next to the gate or something? He was walking towards the entrance. Maybe he's just gonna walk straight through the front gate. I can already hear the sirens in the distance too. They're literally on their way. Hey, wait, that was a gunshot. I think something's going on. Wait a second. Something's happening behind me. Oh my days, dude. A car literally just started driving. What is going on? Unless, no, no, this is a distraction. Trevor jumped into a tunnel and headed straight to this ranch. Oh my days, wait a second, there's a car, there's a car, there's a car. Is that Trevor's car? It's driving away. Do you reckon that's Trevor? There is only one way to find out. Oh man, they were driving way too quickly. There is no way I can catch up with them. But oh my days, dude, whoever it was just took out two of these guys. I have a feeling that might have been Trevor, but I don't know for sure. Let me just take a look around this place and see if he definitely did escape. What's behind these hay bales? Let's take a look. Anything? Ooh, okay. Something's hiding behind here. There's a hole here. Oh my days, there is, dude. There's a tunnel. This goes underground. Okay, Lamar, we better go and check this out. Do you reckon this leads us to the prison? No way. It does. This is an underground tunnel. Trevor must have used this to escape. And Franklin and Michael did the distraction. That's such a genius idea. I don't exactly fancy going back to prison, but now we know Trevor escapes that way. He's definitely in that car. I need to get that right, and I need to follow him. Don't lose that car. Oh, how am I going to find that car? There's literally nothing around. There's got to be something I can drive. Yes, there is. There is. There is. Okay, grab that. Where could he have gone? Right or left? Hey, wait a second. I think that's his car. I think I saw it on the road. Okay, he definitely went right. I was about to go left then for a second, but now I found his car. Let's go and stop him. Trevor, come on, stop. I really hope that was his car. I'm going to feel so dumb if it wasn't. It looked like his car. It was silver. It was an SUV. That's exactly what he was driving. Oh, have I lost it again? No, it's not this car. Oh, man. I've oh, my days. Wait a second. The police are here too. Oh, sorry, officers. Wait, why have I got a wanted level? Just because I crashed into them? Not my fault you put roadblocks out in the silliest places ever. This isn't good. Now he's got police on him, and now I've got the police too. Is that him over there? Oh, my days. I don't even know where to go anymore. Where would Trevor have gone? Has he really lost me? No, 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 no. I am refusing this. I think that might be his car. Or did he go on the highway? I don't even know anymore, dude. This is not fair. Okay, I'm just gonna drive after this car and keep my fingers crossed. It's not him. Come on, dude. I thought it was. Oh, they got my tire. They got my tire. Watch out. Lamar, watch out, dude. Da! Lamar? Lamar? Oh, no. Come on, Lamar. Oh, man. Well, I'm not in jail. That's a good sign. Oh, gee. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to go into me, dude. All right, we're still alive. That's all that matters. And the police have given up on me. I have no idea. Wait, 
forever is why are the police calling me? Uh, yes? An inmate wants to speak to you. Do you accept? Uh, yes, I do. Is it Trevor? Lamar, I'm in trouble. Um, can, can you help me? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be on my way. Well, once I get my hands on him, maybe I'll be able to find some answers on where the other two characters went. Let's go to the police station and break him out. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Looks like I'm gonna have to borrow your car after all. I can't exactly use my rights if I'm doing this kind of work. I mean, they'll track me down. All right, do you want to leave the car as well? Or am I gonna have to take... Oh, there we go. I left him. Good. <laughs> right, let's go and break out Trevor. This is gonna be fun. Looks like they caught him and gave up on me. After all, the police probably knew I was small fry. All right. Right, Lamar, let's do this. Nice and smooth. How many officers have we got? One, two, three, four, five. All right, maybe we can do this on the slide. Hey, I'm here to meet uh, an inmate. I'm his lawyer. All right, sign in. That's amazing. All right, Lamar, sign your name down and, and su subscribe. Okay, you guys have got to subscribe to my channel if you want to find Trevor again. He won't let me through otherwise, uh, or else we're going to have to fight through all of these guys. None exactly want to do that, so please subscribe to my channel so we can get Trevor and find Michael and Franklin once and for all. Hey, mister, I'm pretty sure my fans have subscribed now. R really? Not enough? How many people need to subscribe? Well, clearly we need a few more of you guys guys to press that button so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it's not my rules it's this guy's rules but i promise you're never gonna regret it we post videos like this every day mister i'm pretty sure they subscribe now all right amazing we can go through awesome <laughs> hassle free that's what i like to see all right let's go through downstairs and go and rescue trevor oh this is gonna be fun so since i'm pretending to be his lawyer they have to let me see him except getting him out of here is gonna be another story it's gonna be quite a mess. Wait a second. That's not Trevor. That's Wade. Wait, what? Yeah, I got your phone call. Oh, my days. Please tell me Trevor's in here. Come on. I thought it was... Oh, no. No, dude, it was way too phone me. How did you have my number? I've never, ever spoken to this guy in my life. Like, come on. <sighs> okay, why are you in prison? You were helping Trevor. Okay, well, I guess he does know something. Oh, I don't believe this. All right, wait, let's get you out of here. Hey, uh, officers. <laughs> Sorry for doing this, but I need to get my friend. Oh, my days, Lamar, stop using. Why are you using a sniper, Lamar? Get no scope, buddy. Anyone else? All right, come on, we ain't got much time. Let's get you out of here, Wade. All right, what have we got around here? Any sort of vehicles? Oh, yes, my getaway vehicle is around the front. Why don't we do that, Lamar? Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just borrow someone else's. Like, uh, this one. It's an actual police car. That's actually perfect. I'll use that and hide in disguise. Hey, uh, wait. Now would be a fantastic time to get in the car, buddy. Now would be a great time, actually. Are you in? <laughs> Good, let's go, 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 go. What are you doing in prison? I was helping Trevor out. I told you. Yeah, what, what were you doing with Trevor? Were you in the car with him? Yes, I dug the tunnel. Oh, he dug the tunnel. Well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, where are they going to? They're going to the docks. They're evacuating on a cargo boat. A cargo boat, you say? Okay, let's lose the water level, go straight to the docks, and jump on this cargo boat. Or even better, stop them from getting on. I need to play as them again. I am not letting them leave. But first, we gotta blend in. These guys should protect us from any officers. Nope. All right, they're running. They don't want the police either. All right, well, looks like we're gonna have to hide in this submarine. That's actually a great hiding spot. Come on, Wade, we're jumping in. I mean, we should be fine in here, right? It's only a four-star. I want level. Yes. All right, this will have to do. The police are already coming in. And there's helicopters above. Quick, wait. We gotta hide in here. We'll be fine in here for now. This is the only way in, and they don't dare to come into this submarine. Believe me. This is actually really cool. I got all these buttons, so many screens, sonar, radar, and Wade's chilling here as well. I just realized if I chose Wade at the start, we would have had a storyline where we would have helped Trevor. That would have been so much better. We could have stopped him in his tracks. All right, you know what? It's too late for what ifs, and you know, if we go back in time, let's just go and stop them now. I'm at the docks, and that's gotta be them. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They've already left. Come on. Not to worry. I'll just find a dinghy. We'll jump on the boat and hijack the entire thing. Take it back to land and say hello to our friends again. What could they possibly be doing on a cargo boat? This is making less and less sense as we go on through this video. All right, nice. I got a dinghy, and wait, is that the aircraft carrier? Are they going... Th no, I don't want to believe they're going to the aircraft carrier. You know what? Let's just grab this boat, hijack the entire thing, and spin it around. Then we can ask them afterwards. But they're going somewhere, and I have no idea where. Part of me is super duper curious, and the other part of me just wants to find these guys and make sure they're a-okay. Because this is really suspicious, and they've never done anything like this to me before. I mean, I can't make my videos with Lamar 
Rob Wade and Michael's maid. I mean, there's, there's a terrible trio. We need the three guys back again. Oh, this is a really big boat, though. How on earth am I going to get on? Is there a ladder I can use? I don't think there is. Okay, maybe we can try and jump up onto this boat. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to climb the anchor, which is going to be super duper dangerous. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, and head up. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to be really hard. I think we're going to have to climb up via the anchor, which is going to be seriously dangerous. But I haven't got much of a choice. That's the only way up, and I know it. Lamar, I believe in you, buddy. We all believe in you. Don't screw this up. The hell, my days is literally coming towards us. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Oh, oh, yes. Amazing. Okay, I'm on. <laughs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> this is terrifying. I am literally at the front of the boat. All right, let's climb this anchor and get on. I am glad to be up here. This is crazy. All right, jump down, Lamar. Let's go and find the characters. Where are they? I mean, if they're going to be anywhere, they're going to be controlling this boat, right? All right, check every single alley. Make sure they're not, like, hiding in any of these. This is crazy. I really hope they're not in a container. No, no, no. I know these three. They're going to be sailing this boat. Hands down. Hello? Are they in here? The door's open. This must be where you control it. Hey, wait a second. This isn't Michael or Trevor or Franklin. This is a uh, random dude sailing the boat. Are they hiding around? Okay, that's it. I am losing my patience, dude. I've lost my friends, and I want to find them again before they disappear. Can you please help me? <laughs> Uh, 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 no. no? Seriously? You got the balls to say no? Right, that's it. I got an idea. I'm gonna take out the captain, grab his gun. This is not an ordinary captain. He had a machine gun. They're definitely on this boat. And I have a feeling they're hiding in one of these containers. Hello? Is there anyone in the container? I know you're in there, dude. You can hear me. Come on. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm sailing this to land, and I'm gonna go through every single one of these containers. I don't care how long it takes me. I will find them. Okay, I've got every single container of the boats, and now it's time to start searching. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to open every single one of them. That's crazy. That, that, that would take forever. I'm going to do something even crueler. I am going to set fire to every single container so they heat up. <laughs> every single one of them. And if they want to survive, they're going to have to come out. I know you're in one of these. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I am causing so much damage. There's got to be like millions of pounds of stuff in here. <laughs> and I am setting I do all of it. Da, da, da. I know you guys are in here. Come on. You gotta open up at some point. All right, come on, guys. Just open the doors. I know you're in one of these. Hey, wait a second. Now, now, Lamar. No, oh, come on. Trevor shot me. Seriously, guys, come on. Switch to wait. Are you kidding me? I gotta play. Okay, looks like we're playing as wait then. No, no, no. They did take him out. Okay, Lamar is definitely dead. I actually don't believe it. And they've gone. Oh, man. Where could they have gone to? Oh, wait a second. I've got a dot over Trevor. Trevor's house. Alright, maybe Wade's got like a secret mission. Maybe he knows something? Okay, maybe we should have played it from him at the start. Let's go to Trevor's house and check it out. Alright, Lamar. Uh, it's been a pleasure, buddy. I'll go and sort this. Let's go and do this, Wade. I've never played as this guy. All I know is he's Trevor's right-hand man. So he's got to know a thing or two about what's going on. Whoa, then again, looks like something's happened to Trevor's house. It's on fire. There's a fire engine outside. Paramedics? Sheriff as well? Hey, Sheriff, what happened out here? House burned down? Are you kidding me, dude? How did it burn down? They, they don't even live here. There's a sheriff on the ground. Wow, okay, something big went down. There is no way I'm getting in that house now. Well, whatever clue was inside, we're not going to find it. But it's telling me to go to the airfield now. Well, I suppose Trevor does own the airfield as well. Come on, wait, let's go check that out too. This is the airfield. Trevor owns this place as well. He keeps submarines, helicopters here. And it's telling me to go check it. Oh, Wait a second, that's a gang! And it looks like they've got some business at the airfield. What are they doing? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna take these guys out. Oh my days, they weren't too happy about that. Alright, come on, wait, let's get into some cover quickly. Maybe they've got some business with Trevor and the other people. Maybe that's why they tried to escape. Okay, there's only one way to find out, and that's by getting every single one of these guys. Hey, you missed a spot. Oh my days, how many of them are there? Alright, don't let them get past you, Wade. You can do this. Oh boy, oh my days, they're getting too close. They're getting too close. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him! Alright, we need another spot. We need another spot quick because these guys are soon closing in. Be right, careful, careful, careful. Saw him out on the ground. I think they're coming around the other side of the caravan. Right, quick, 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 quick. Headshot. Nice. Get him too. Jeez. This is crazy. Alright, thank you. Beautiful. Nice. I got three stars. Oh no, now the police are here. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Hey, 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 hey run. Run. What are you, what's going on? Oh my days, dude. Look at that. There's so much money in the bank. Right. Oh, jeez. Okay, quite an explosion that was. Let me just sort out the sheriff and, uh, Okay, we gotta hide in something. Quick, hide in this box, now! They'll never find us in here. I can see them. They're rushing into the warehouse. Please, go away. I don't want any trouble. 
four. All right, we just about lost the police. I'm gonna let them disperse and get out of here. And then I'm gonna talk to Ron and find out what the business is. Somehow there's a pile of cash in the corner and Ron was on his knees. So what's going on, Ron? Yeah, we'll skip the thank yous afterwards, all right? I just wanna find my friends. Well, what happened to Michael, Trevor, and Frank? And exactly where did that money come from? They took it. Oh, okay, all right, so that makes sense. That makes sense why they're here. But where are they going to? Any idea? No, they just left him as well. All right, looks like we're in the same boat then, Ron. But clearly they annoyed those guys. They took all of their money and they came back for revenge. Okay, I'm gonna look around for clues. Maybe they've left something around here, but uh, Ron's just as much in the dark as I am. But now we know they took some money for some people. That sort of helps the situation. Now we know there's some enemies out there. Now let's see, where would there be clues? What about in the control tower? I'll literally take anything at this point. I just wanna find some information which might help us. Anything, any clues? Ooh, a laptop. All right, check this out. <sighs> All right, this kind of makes sense. The cargo boat schedule makes sense for the boat they jumped on. The lost MC must be the people coming after them for the money they stole. But Lester Cress, what are they using him for? I mean, he can do almost anything. Like remove your wanted level, he can change your identity, he can get you out of some pretty tricky situations. Okay, it looks like we gotta pay Lester a visit. Not the place I wanna go to, but I don't think we got a choice. Why is there a note on his door? I'm on holiday. Really? Now? Of, of all times, Lester's gone on holiday. Great. <laughs> All right, let's go and find out where he's gone to then. Hey, Lester, I'm coming in, buddy. Where have you gone on holiday? Hmm, left everything on. Not very energy efficient. All right, let's see. Lots and lots of machines. Where is he gone? All right, you know what? Let's just check his laptop. Easiest thing to do, find out where they've been searching. Why, are you like a five-year-old, Lester? Big boat. <laughs> All right, looks like Lester's got the bully to obey. And I think he's rented out a very big boat. Yeah, Doc Tease. All right, fantastic. This is where you can buy and rent boats. All right, Lester's definitely gone there. This is the only place they could be. And it sounds like there's a party on there too. What kind of music is that, Lester? Duh, man, this is gonna be awkward. I've never seen him throw a party before, but we're gonna see him for the first time. Oh, Lester, where are you, buddy? Hey, where are your guests? I hear the music, but there's literally no one here. Does he even have any friends? <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they haven't arrived here. I'll give him benefit of the doubt. Seriously, there's like no one up here either. Lester, where are your friends, dude? You got this massive boat and no one to fill it. Oh, hang on a second. Here they are. Two people. Two. Are you kidding me? All right, Lester, I'm gonna make this easy for you. Oh, sorry. Wrong person. You can get out of here. Lester, I want you. I'm... Seriously? Okay, give it. Just push her away, Wade. This is the wrong person. <laughs> I want Lester. Now listen to me, Lester, and listen very carefully. I know you know something, and unless you want your brains to be blown across this yacht, you better tell me what that is. <laughs> He stole money and got payback. What do you expect? What kind of payback? Are you talking about the people on the airfield? No, they took his family. Whose family? Wait, whose family did they take? Michael's, come on. Michael's? They took Michael's family? Oh, that explains why they disappeared so suddenly. They're all going after them to get his family back. Where did they take the family? Do, do you know? Do you know where they went to? They got an address. Now leave me alone. Thanks, Lester. All right, you've actually been really helpful. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of your party. <laughs> okay, she doesn't think this is much of a party. Well, I'll leave that to you. <laughs> it looks like I ruined the party for him. But I've got an address, and it sounds like they stole some money, and they got payback by taking Michael's family. That's crazy. But it does make sense. So I got an address, and it tells me it's on a tropical island 3,000 miles away. I, I need to find a plane to get there. These are the closest planes for miles around. He better let me borrow one. Hey, boys, it's my lucky day. Another customer. Another customer? What, what are you talking about? Has someone else been here? Yeah. Uh, three guys, one in an orange uh, prison suit. Oh, dude, that's Trevor. Yeah, so you gave them a plane. Hey, I really need one now. Now you've told me you've given one away. I really need one. Hey, hold on a second. They paid me five million bucks. I'll give you a plane if you give me a nice supercar. It's gotta be worth a million dollars. Really? Really? I gotta get this guy a super... Oh, my dear. Oh, okay, fine, fine. I'll get you a supercar. I promise. Does it have to be a supercar? Can't I give you some money? No needs to be a car. He wants a car? All right, it's got to be at least a million dollars. That's fine. I'll find you a car. We got to do this quickly or else we're going to be too late. They've already set their way over to the island to rescue their family. And if I don't get there in time, they might all die. This could be a death wish for them. If anywhere's going to have a nice car, it's going to be Simeon's store. But I don't have time to play games for Simeon. I know he's going to ask me to do some jobs for him or even worse, buy a car. I'm not doing that. Not giving Simeon any trade today. So instead... 
has some nice rides instead. We're not going to mess this up. Looks like Simeon's doing some cleaning. He's sweeping the floor. All right, wait, we got this. Don't alert him. I'm going to steal a car, but first we're going to quickly knock him out. Bam! <laughs> Screw you, Simeon. Oh, how's it going, customers? Uh, yep, you just enjoy the rest of your day. You want a car? Go grab one. Uh, uh, uh. He's like twice the weight as me. He's dense. All right, let's get him in the adder. All right, perfect. Simeon, you're going in there. Okay, well, no one's going to find Simeon anytime soon. <laughs> and I don't think anyone's going to care anytime soon. Now, which car do I take? I could literally take any car, but I think I'll go with this one. It's gold, it's beautiful, and it's a Lamborghini. There is no way this isn't $1 million. It's insane. The windscreen is massive. There's the Lamborghini logo painted on this three different times, and it's super duper fast and can I just say, it's gold. Guys, it's gold. It, come on. <laughs> it's got a holographic display. It's a really rare car. What's going on here, guys? What's the holdup? Come on. I'm literally on a time frame right now. I don't want to lose my friends. All right, wait. You know the drill. Let's get this back to the guys at the airfield and grab one of those planes. Is this the car you wanted? If it isn't, I'm going to be gobsmacked. And I will try and fight all of your men. <laughs> now, please tell me this is. Please, please, please. I just want a plane. This will do nicely. Grab yourself a plane. Thanks, man. You're the best. All right, looks like I finally have permission to borrow a plane. I think I'll go with the orange one. I've got the address. It's a 3,000 mile flight. This is gonna take quite some time, but I'm determined to beat them to it. Come on, Wade. Let's go. This plane better have enough fuel or else I'm coming down in the middle of the ocean. All right, this is so scary. I'm so nervous, but we're gonna find them. Let's do this. I made it. We actually made it. Wait, we did it. This is the tropical island, and this is a 3,000-mile trip. I can't believe we had enough fuel for that. All right, come on, land the plane. Is there signs of anyone else here? I think they took Michael's family as collateral for the money they stole from them. I mean, that's insane. I I'm not surprised they went after them. And this? This is the exact same plane as what I saw in the airfield. This has to be them. And hang on a second. I think that's them. I recognize the orange. Okay, let's go and uh, follow that car. We must just be like 30 seconds away. I gotta get a bit closer to find out, but I saw three people in that vehicle and one of them was wearing an orange jumpsuit. That's gotta be Trevor. All right, keep your distance. Don't wanna get too close. I made a turning around here. No way. It is them. That's the three of them. Guys, they parked their vehicle like right on the edge of a cliff. Wait, they're right there. What are they doing? This isn't making much sense. What are they doing? They keep swimming in the water and then back to this cliff. Okay, you know what? I'm jumping. In, I'm gonna find some answers because clearly there's something down there and it might have something to do with that house You reckon that's where they're keeping Michael's family if they had told me this in the first place I would have helped them rescue them and maybe they would have been saved by now. Whoa. Hang on a second There's a tunnel. I think they went through this tunnel. All right, let's go and check this out. Yep They went through this tunnel. All right. Okay. Let's find out where this takes us to it's pretty dark in here I can't even see anything world. Oh my days. Did you guys hear that? There was an explosion. Okay, they're definitely down here and uh, I'm not gonna lose them. All right, careful. Wait, don't screw this up. Hello, guys. Whoa, oh my days. Okay, something's going on down there. Trevor's on the ground. Wait a second. Is that Franklin? No way. Franklin's been shot. Trevor's on the ground and Michael is completely pinned. Looks like we got no choice. Let's do this. Trevor, get down, buddy. This might hurt a little bit. Three, two, one. Get him, get him, get him. And this guy, ah, nice. Whoa, oh, oh my days. Trevor, are you good? I think he's fine. I mean, it just went through him. I think it was only one, though. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. All right, thanks, Trevor. <laughs> Come on, let's go and get Michael's family. And Michael, I am playing as you. I am not letting you run away again. Oh, yes! <laughs> Finally, we get to play as one of the characters. All right, well, Franklin is seriously injured. So is Trevor, but at least I know my family's here. Come on, Michael, let's go and save them. Hey, this is a pretty cool office. Check it out. They got a fireplace, desk. No family, though. Where would they be? Right, let's take a look down here. Whoa, this is a pretty big complex. Okay, they've got to be around here somewhere. Let's go and find them. I know my family is here. I hear them. I hear them. Someone just screamed. Amanda, I'm coming to save you, Amanda. Come on, Michael, let's go and get them. Sounds like the screams came from right over here. Yeah, this one. Oh my days, there's people there. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. Okay, guards are down, and it looks like I found them. Amazing. I can't believe it. They put them in these jail cells. These are animal cells, dude. Come on, guys, get out of here. Let me shoot the lock for you. And where's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, amazing. I'm so glad he's still alive. Thanks, guys.
guys. You're the best. But now we rescued our family. I think it's about time we go home. And you three are never leaving me again. And by the way, Wade, you're a legend. And can we please get a round of applause for Lamar for literally putting his life on the line? There's a billionaire living in Los Santos, and he's really annoying. Everybody hates him, and he drives around in his super fast cars, crashes into people, and blames them. Get out the way! This is your fault! Get off the road, peasants! Every summer, he moves to Los Santos, and once a year, he throws the biggest and the wildest party ever. Celebrities, businessmen, and even presidents show up. But my goal is to totally embarrass him in front of everyone at the party. <laughs> I have the best prank ever. And you might be wondering, why are we wearing a red janitor costume? Well, <laughs> we have signed up to do some work at his house just before the party. You know, oh my days, dude, these cars are so annoying. Hey, off the cars. Oh, geez, seriously, man, how am I supposed to get to you when your cars are in the way? You have too many of them. See what I mean? He's really annoying. Hey, watch out. You're scratching my cars. Listen, man, there was no other way to you. Anyway, I'm here to clean your house. <laughs> I know you got a big party tonight, and I am going to help you set that up. Wink, this is a secret between me and you. Oh, you smell. Well, come on in, but don't stay too long. Thanks, you're the best. I really don't like this guy. Don't worry, Franklin, you don't smell at all. The only thing you smell of is genuine personality. <laughs> I'm supposed to be cleaning his house. Let's uh, actually look like we're doing some work. Gotta get this window good. Okay, what have we got here? A spotless balcony. See, man, look, I I'm cleaning it. <laughs> okay, this is so boring. I really want him to go away so I can finally do the prank. Oh, this is so boring. I'm going to watch Netflix. Yes, he's gone. That means I can finally prank him. So, I have a trick up my sleeve. <laughs> this is gonna be the best prank ever. And when this party happens, oh, everyone's gonna laugh at him. Trust me. <laughs> so, I need to find his speaker system. Speaker system. No, this is the bathroom. Whoa. I mean, this is a billionaire bathroom, guys. Look at this place. Wow. I can't believe he actually owns this. How can someone this rude own a place like this? Maybe it's upstairs. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, Franklin. Get moving. We haven't got long. <laughs> He's in the movie theater right now, and I can't step foot in there. He thinks I'm cleaning the house. But hold on a second, guys. I found the speaker system. <laughs> right, watch and learn. I've just got to replace the disc in this, too. <laughs> Pingu's latest hits. Oh, this is going to be fun. When he plays that CD, oh my days, everyone's going to laugh at him. I mean, who plays Pingu? <laughs> Wow, this is gonna be hilarious. All right, so let's just get out of this house and uh, wait for this party, which is only in a few hours. <laughs> wait a second. Why is it playing now? Oh, no. Who changed the CD? Does it make sense? Oh, he must have wanted to listen to music and he found my CD already. Well, that prank didn't quite work, but we still got him. <laughs> he must be really confused. What are we gonna do now, Franklin? We're back to square one and the party starts in just a few hours. I need to find a way to embarrass him. Right now, he's sunbathing outside, probably taking a little break before the crazy party begins. Can someone get me some grapes? I'm really hungry. Dan, and he's still kind of annoying. He's just treating everyone like rubbish. But I found a way to sneak up onto his roof, and I'm gonna prank him good this time. <laughs> when I was inside, I found his phone number, and I'm gonna phone that number now <laughs> and prank him real good. Hello! I wonder if this will actually work. He's got so many guests arriving tonight, I might just be able to pretend to be one. One. <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's me. Dwayne Johnson? No way. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's me. Hey, can we meet somewhere private? Yeah, you're Dwayne Johnson. Of course. Thanks. See you there. No way. I can't believe we got that working. All right, I'm going to meet him in the location now, and we're going to prank him so good. Since I'm on the rooftop, I can actually spy on him. Do you reckon he's getting ready? <laughs> Whoa, he's, he's already flexing. No way. Ugh, I'm meeting the rock. I gotta show him how buff I am. <laughs> oh boy, watch out, Franklin. He literally looked right up at us. But I don't think he saw us. Hey, was someone there? I thought I saw. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go and meet the rock. Okay, now we're gonna run really quickly. And I don't think he'll notice one of these cars disappearing. <laughs> Let's take this one and meet him there now. If I hide the car here, he shouldn't see it. Now get on this rooftop, Franklin. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We haven't got long. Is this really where Dwayne the Rock Johnson wanted to meet? It's not exactly extravagant. I mean, do I need to say much more? This is just a warehouse. Hmm, maybe he's filming a movie here. Maybe I'll be a movie star. Oh, yes, that's what he's doing. Uh, let's go over to the location. The exact place he said to meet. He told me to stand exactly in front of this white garage door. Wayne? Hello? 
Hello? Yes, he's actually arrived, and he's right down there! <laughs> Now's my chance to really prank him good! I have a bucket of oil, and when this lands on him, oh boy, he's gonna get the surprise of his life! He's gonna be sticky! Whoa, oh, 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 oh boy, okay, okay, all right, Franklin, this is prank number two! <laughs> We don't want to die on this one, buddy. That would be terrible. Let's knock this thing off. Oh, there it goes. Yes. The oil spilled, and now he's slipping over. Uh, 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 what? Who did this? Who did this? Oh, no. Now the oil's setting fire. No. <laughs> oh, boy. This isn't exactly how I planned it to go. I, I'm really sorry about that, mister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to prank him. Well, I think we pranked him a bit too much there. But at least the party won't go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. He's back at the house and he's chilling in the swimming pool. I thought we had him good and he would be injured for a long time. But he's back in the pool and the party's going ahead. So I've made a few adjustments to Franklin and I got a police uniform. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to arrest him. This is going to be the best prank ever. <laughs> he can't argue with me. I'm a police officer. So now, oh no, there's so many cars in the driveway. Do you reckon I can just squeeze past? Ah, oh, perfect. It's like you wanted me to do this. <laughs> Excuse me. I know you're in there. You're under arrest. Arrest? For what exactly? Um, you know, just for being annoying to everyone. Listen, buddy, I'm not going to explain anymore. Get in the car or else you're going downtown. I'll get the sheriff out here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you better spend time reflecting on what you've done and why are you covered in dirt and mud. Somebody set me on fire. You should be going after them. Oh, no. No. <laughs> This is great. I think we're actually getting on his nerves now. And he has no idea it's me. Oh, can you be careful? These are my cars and my house. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry, man. <laughs> Oh, guys, you're gonna love this next bit of the prank. What's the best way to cancel a party? Well, in my books, it's to make sure the host can't even host it. <laughs> I am gonna take him somewhere where he will never get out of. <laughs> Isn't the police station the other way? Yeah, there, there is a police station the other way, but we're going somewhere else. So to another police station. Okay, but you're driving really fast. Can you slow down? You're scaring me. Hey, listen, buddy. I know you drive crazy too, so you're not pulling that one on me. <laughs> yeah. Let me just do a call to everyone. Hey, guys, can everyone move out the way, please? I'm a police officer. Since I'm playing as a police officer, I can send him to prison. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, I got an inmate for you. Needs to be processed. Yes, they let me in. And once I'm through here, there is no way he's getting out. Hey, uh, this is the prison. I haven't done anything. Yeah, you tell that to the judge. Actually, no, save it, because the judge ain't gonna see you. <laughs> You're joining new inmates G3. Good luck. And don't expect to be out anytime soon. What are you doing? You can't do this! Uh, don't leave me here! Sorry, man. I just did. Thanks, officers. He's done a lot of bad things. Make sure he goes to the dirtier cell. <laughs> right, I think I'll just get out of here since I'm not actually a, a police officer. I wouldn't want to get stuck in here myself. Uh, I'm innocent! Uh, what are you doing? Join the crew. Every prisoner says they're innocent. Maybe they are. That's not our job. All right, let's get out of here quickly. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, officers. I can't believe I actually managed to take him to prison. That was the best prank ever. Now this party really can't go ahead. And when people find out why, <laughs> he's gonna be so embarrassed. And by the time he's out of there, it's gonna be too late. He'll be leaving Los Santos. <laughs> and hopefully, he'll never come back. Wait a second. I'm getting a phone call from the prison. Do you reckon that's him? How does he have my number? Listen to me, prankster. Dwayne Johnson, whoever you are, I will not let you get away with this. I'm leaving the prison now. They've let me go, and I'm coming for you. Oh, no, guys. They let him out of the prison already? What? And he's got my number. Oh, that makes sense. I did phone him pretending to be Dwayne Johnson, and he's catching on that I'm beginning to prank him. Okay, whatever prank we do next, Franklin, can't afford to fail. How is he already back at the house? Listen to me, you two idiots. This needs to be the biggest firework display anyone's ever seen. Nah, don't worry. This is gonna be big, I promise. You better not be pranking me. They're doing a firework display. This is perfect. If I want to prank him good, <laughs> we gotta do something with the fireworks. <laughs> oh, get this, guys. I'm gonna replace every single firework for a sticky. No way, this is gonna be a great idea. Let's replace every single one of them. But whatever you do, Franklin, don't get caught. There's so many more of them. Alright, another one there. <laughs> <laughs> when this is set off, every single guest is gonna be completely surprised. <laughs>
and the house might actually fall down. Better hide in this bush. Make sure he can't see us do this, of course. <laughs> okay, another one down there. Perfect. Let's keep moving, Franklin. Stay in the bush. Stay in the bush, buddy. Stay in the bush. Okay, I think we're well hidden around the side. There we go. There's a bunch of stickies down, but th they keep going on. No way! He's got fireworks all the way in his driveway, too. Well, I suppose we may as well leave a trail of these stickies. <laughs> this is gonna really annoy him. He's gonna be so angry when this happens, guys. Let's just mix this up a bit, actually. He does have too many cars, doesn't he? I think he would agree. What if we explode every single one of them? Amazing. Right, Franklin? I think that's good enough. <laughs> now it's time to wait for the firework display, which should happen in just a few hours. I want to test the fireworks. Make sure I'm not being pranked. You want to test them? How rich are you? Oh, you just spent a million dollars on these. Money isn't my problem. Being pranked is. Wait a minute, guys. He wants to set off the fireworks now? Is that safe with us around here, Franklin? This house could literally be destroyed. Oh, my days. He's done it. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No way, dude. He just set off all of the fireworks. And now look at those cars. <laughs> What? You're fired! Oh, oh, guys, guys, I think he's angry now. Yeah, I would be angry too. <laughs> What's going on down there? Oh, my days, guys, he's shooting. <gasps> he just took them out. No way. I won't be pranked. Serves you right for pranking me. Guys, I've ruined him. Oh, no, no, don't, don't fall down, Franklin. Please don't fall down. I don't want to die. <laughs> he's really angry now. He thought it was them. Oh, guys, uh, I think we're just going to run now. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dude. I blew up every single one of his cars, and I don't think he was too happy about that. But at least the party can't go ahead. With this much mess, there's no way he'll throw a party now. <laughs> no way. He moved house. I didn't realize he had another place. Listen to me, you two. No fireworks. No Dwayne Johnson. And no pranksters. Do I make myself clear? You got it, boss. Good. <gasps> Guys, he's meeting with some security guards. The party's gonna happen literally in just an hour. What are we gonna do next, Franklin? Think, think, there's gotta be something we can do. The girl of my dreams is coming tonight, and I'm gonna impress her with a really, really nice car. The car's in my garage. I need to make sure it's safe. And when she sees this, she's going to fall in love with me. I'm gonna buy my angel's dreams. That's how you do it, right? Okay, I need a light out. There's a car in the garage, huh? <laughs> and he seems to really care about this girl. Well, since there's two security guards at the front door, I can't exactly sneak into the garage that way. I gotta find another way in. And to do this, we're gonna go through the house. Oh, one second. I can see him, dude. He's literally standing right there. Nobody can prank me in bed. Ugh. Yes, he's gone upstairs, guys. Now the coast is clear. I don't see anyone else in that house, so let's go and switch that car. <laughs> Before he comes down. Oh, this is a serious nice place. Look at that photo. Okay, right, let's get moving. Just go through the door. Nice, there's the ride. <laughs> now I gotta find a way to make this magically disappear. Got an idea, guys. If I leave the garage with the car, the guards are gonna see me. So I am gonna have to put them to sleep. Sorry, guys. Bah! And the other one, quickly. And da! Nice. Nice. They should be asleep now. <laughs> that gives me just about an hour to switch the car. And when she's surprised with this ride, oh my day, she's gonna get the surprise of her life. <laughs> Are you ready for this? He definitely won't be expecting this prank. I mean, this one's so close to his heart. And when I do this, it's gonna really ruin him. I know it is. Right, this car, I don't really need this car. It can go over here. <laughs> Bye. Oh my days, that was a bad idea. Ow, 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 my neck. Why do we do that, Franklin? The car came out better than us. Oh, that was a terrible idea, but at least the car's, you know, gone. <laughs> now let's replace him with something better. She's gonna be so annoyed when she sees this. <laughs> Do you want to make a guess on what's inside the garage? Go on, make a guess. It can literally be anything. <laughs> Wait a second. The guards are coming around. Do you reckon they'll check the garage? Let's not tell boss about this. Good idea. Nothing to see here. Just two very strong and mean guards. Hello. Is my boyfriend in? Yes, ma'am. He'll be out in a second. Ah, uh, hello, and my angel. I have a surprise for you. I specifically invited you just before everyone else arrives. Speaking of which, uh, there's two guests now. Hey, guys, I'll be with you in a second. Hey, hey, check out this gift I got for my girlfriend. Oh, she's gonna love this. I can't wait. This is gonna be the best surprise of your life. Trust me, I put lots of planning into this. I know exactly what you like. I have got you. A lovely, amazing... Ah! Oh, 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 
What's that? What? This is the worst gift ever! Uh, this wasn't me! Who did this? Close the door! I'm leaving you! I'm never coming back here again! You're terrible! N no, this wasn't me! Uh, this was someone else! This was the prankster! Did you notice anything happen recently? In the past hour? You guys were on guard! What happened? Nothing, boss. Nothing. You know what? You better be on your best behavior tonight. I need you both to make sure Dwayne the Johnson, the Rock, whatever the guy is, does not come in, okay? Okay, boss. Okay. That was gold. I put so much poo inside that garage. <laughs> it stinks so much, I can smell it from here. Oh. <laughs> well, he's not going to get the girl of his dreams anymore. And does he really think Dwayne the Rock Johnson is the guy who's pranking him? That's quite a twist. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet, guys, because I am going to do the ultimate prank next. <laughs> this one is going to totally ruin him. I've lost his girlfriend. I've blown up his first house, and it's not over yet. <laughs> the party has already begun, and people are arriving. There's people dancing outside. Wow, this is quite the event. And others queuing to get in. Wait a second. Is that The Rock? I'm his best friend. What do you mean I can't come in? I'm his best friend. You ask him. Sorry. I'm a big fan, but we can't make exceptions. What do you mean? I'm The Rock! Wow, he's getting really annoyed about this. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose it's time for the next prank. I would love to find a bucket of oil, loads of paint, maybe an embarrassing CD track, who knows? <laughs> I just gotta find something to embarrass him in front of all of his special guests. And some of these might even be presidents. That's what I heard. I know a lot of them are celebrities, so he's gonna get really embarrassed if he messes up this one. <laughs> gotta find something to embarrass him with. Let's see. Fruit? Nope, can't embarrass Embarrassing with that. I'm sure there's something upstairs. And snooker table. Okay, what's through these double doors? Da -da -da. <gasps> Walk in a wardrobe. No way. Anything embarrassing in here? Gotta find something embarrassing, remember, Franklin? It's gotta be embarrassing. Let's think. There's gotta be something around here we can use. What's through this door? Hang on a second. Is there something on the desk? What's this? Vault password. Wait a second. I think he's got a vault in this house, which has to be full of cash. <laughs> Franklin, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's go and find that vault. I have no idea where that could be. I haven't seen anything that resembles a vault around here. Is there like something I'm missing about this place? Wait a second. Guys, I found an underground basement. I had no idea this existed. Oh, wow. There's loads of wine. There's a TV. <gasps> and there's the vault. Amazing. <laughs> now let's use the password on this. Give it an open and bam. I've made it inside. And there's so much money in here. <laughs> wow. There's got to be at least a billion dollars on the floor. Well, Franklin, gather up all this cash and let's make an announcement. Excuse me, everyone. It's raining cash. <laughs> the host of this party has decided to give money to everyone here. It's downstairs. The vault's open. It's all yours. Well, that got them moving. Everyone's gone. You won't get away with this. Oh, but I just did. You might want to check up on those guests down there. Wait. Uh, you're right. Hey, hey, hey. No one take my money. Uh, my money is mine. Uh, 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 you didn't actually. Oh, you opened the vault. No way. Hey, guys. This money's mine. It's not yours. Get out of the way. What? It's all gone? That was my money. That was all of it. Everybody, listen very carefully. Give me my money now. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you leave with my money? Come back here now. Oh, seriously? You gonna run up a cliff now? Oh, that's really annoying. What am I going to do now? Hey, you think you're funny? Oh, you come down here and let's see how funny you really are. No, I think I'm gonna stay up here, mister. I'm quite good up here now. <laughs> hey, how'd it go with the money? I'll be okay. I always am. But you are dead. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to come up on the roof first because uh, last time I checked, you can't even climb a cliff. <laughs> I think I'll be safe up here for now. But I haven't broken him yet, guys. I have one more prank up my sleeve. The seventh prank, the ultimate one. Are you ready for this? There's still a couple of guests at the party and every single one of them has at least a billion dollars. If I can prank them, they're gonna be so angry at him. <laughs> to the point where he's going to have to break. Hey, Dwayne Johnson, trust me, you don't wanna be involved in this party, man. <laughs> You're gonna wanna go home. Why? I love this guy. Well, I'm gonna do a really big prank. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, let's just see you say something about that. Did I even make... Oh, sorry, Dwayne. <laughs> sorry, guys. I did tell you to go home. Sorry, Dwayne. Really didn't mean to do that. By the way, I'm trying to overtake him in subscribers. Subscribe to the channel now. Help us overtake him. <laughs> okay, let's do the prank. Or should I say, let's do the plank. <laughs> I am barricading them in their house and then unleashing a ton of rats inside. Good luck, guys. Have fun. <laughs> just better close that door so they don't leave. Oh, watch out. There's a rat under the door. There's a... Oh. 
boy, I think he's okay. <laughs> now on to the second phase of the prank. I bet you're thinking, what am I doing with a cargo bob? Well, <laughs> these are the guest cars. And that one right next to the gate is the most expensive at a million dollars. But let's just play a lucky dip, shall we? Whoopsie, I got the most expensive. <laughs> now I am going to fly this over the guests. Hey, guests, I'm taking your cars. <laughs> one by one, and I'm dropping them off this cliff. Oh, they're going to be so annoyed. They're going to be really annoyed. Now they're really beginning to panic. They have no idea where to go. <laughs> oh, dear. I would hate to be you guys. Well, I'm just going to keep picking up these cars then. Wow, this is a really nice one. This is my favorite one in the collection. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> this guy's going to be so embarrassed. Someone is just destroying all of his guest cars. Wait a second, guys. I think that was the president's car. You see this? It's super long. And they decided to bypass the party. Oh, no. How embarrassing. Don't worry, buddy. I got a plan for you. I'm going to make sure this guy gets what's coming to him. <laughs> and get ready, get ready, get ready. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. All right, get it, get it. Okay, now I've got the president's car. It's a super long car. I'm going to drop it in the garden of the house. You know, make sure they can say hello. <laughs> I would be so embarrassed if I was the host of this party. He's going to be broken. Seriously. This is the best prank ever. In fact, I'm glad the party went ahead because now no one is going to go to the next one. Ah, problem solved. Here's the president trying to ditch your party. <laughs> well, I don't think I need the cargo bob anymore. Everyone's already running away. Look at them. <laughs> Come back here. I don't think I'm going to show myself. I'll leave this to the police. Hey, officers, this guy's gone rogue. You better go and sort him out. Sir, you have three seconds before we fire. One, two, three. And finally, I've broken him. Yes. Well, I'm glad he gave himself in. What a wild party that was. Hey, man, do you reckon you'll do one next year? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not talking to you. Hey, this person's been really mean to everyone all day. You know, you should have seen some of the things he's done. I think you should. Lock him away for a long, long time. What? I've done nothing! You tell that to the judge. You're going in. What? Somebody get me out of here! Well, my job here is done. He's in jail. I pranked him real good and I've basically broken him. And since he's not coming out anytime soon, <laughs> I am gonna move in to his brand new house. Wow, this is a lovely place. Anyway, guys, that's all we got time for today. This is seven ways to prank billionaires in GTA 5, and I think we got them good. I have to escape from a $1, $100, $1,000, $10,000, 100000 and $1 million dollar prison in GTA 5. So this is the $1 prison. I mean, this is a nice view, guys. I, I wouldn't complain if I had this. Kind of feels like a wooden shack on an island looking at the sea. Oh, I can hear the birds. I can hear the waves. I can hear it all. <laughs> now, how am I going to escape from this room? It's a $1 prison. Hmm, I mean, I I'm kind of suspicious of this. I've literally got my own, like, cupboard chest of drawer thingamabob in my own prison. But I don't see anything in there. What about in the burger box? I mean, I just realized, guys, there is literally no door. So how do I even get out of this place? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run, like, straight into this. Oh, jeez, that literally did nothing, Franklin. Okay, what if we try it even harder? Three, two, one, hey! <laughs> Jeez, Franklin. We almost came out, though, just a little bit lower, and we could have, like, dived straight through the prison. Maybe that's how we get out of here. Let's just try this again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Franklin, I don't think this is how we escaped the prison. Wait, hang on, guys. Do you see that? There's something under my... <gasps> No way, dude. There is a Molotov under my bed. Franklin, where did you get that from, buddy? Pick it up. I've just found a Molotov under my bed. And because this prison is made out of wood, I think I can literally burn it down. <laughs> this is so dangerous, Franklin, but let's just see if this works. What? That didn't set fire to anything? What about this? Oh, my days. I'm going to run out of Molotovs at this rate. Come on. we got to set this thing on. There we go. <laughs> All right. Come on. Set the whole thing on fire, Franklin. Hang on. It's working. It's working. It's destroying the prison. Yes. All right. Quick. Go, 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 go. Oh, my days. I've made it out of there, guys. I've done it. Now we just got to get off this island. Yeah, I'm just going to jump in. And then just a nice casual swim to the other side. Any sharks around here? Please tell me there's no sharks. There can't be any sharks. Please, no sharks, dude. I hate sharks. Whoa. Okie dokie. This is the $100 prison then. What is up with all these paintings? Let's be honest. I've escaped prisons so many times. There's always something behind the paintings. This one, nothing. No, no, no. Dude, there's going to be like something, like a hole. Believe me, there's always something behind these paintings. Oh my days, there is literally nothing behind these. This doesn't make any sense. What? Ooh, what if I have to climb on here and then knock down some of these? Anything, 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 anything? Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, guys, I got a really interesting idea here. Maybe I just gotta like jump at them. Really? Dude, there's nothing behind any of 
these. It's got to be this one. There, I can't reach any other paintings anymore. It's got to be this. Come on, please. Anything. Seriously. There's not... Oh, my days. There's nothing behind that one as well. <gasps> What? Yo, there was a secret hole underneath the rug. <laughs> That's awesome. Guys, I have just found the sewers. This is the sewers underneath the prison. All right, swim down here, Franklin. Where does this take me to? This is so cool. <laughs> I found. How do we escape? Wait, I think we're going to a dead end. What, what's at the end of this room? Franklin, is this a... Oh, it's a ladder. Okay, we can do this, buddy. You just got to go on the ladder, climb up. What is that down there, dude? It looks like some sort of pipe or something. This is so cool. <laughs> If you're enjoying the video so far, consider subscribing. We're trying to get to 6 million subscribers and hopefully beat Dwayne Johnson the Rock. I'm already training to be stronger than him. I think we can get there. <laughs> All right, let's go through the drains and uh, see where this takes me to. I do have a knife. Wait, no, Franklin, hold the knife. Anybody? Hello? Guys, I think I found the exit of the sewage system. Come on, Franklin, get out. Get out, buddy. Come on, this is not where... <laughs> Franklin, you gotta leave. Come on. Get out of here, dude. What? Why can't he get out of here? I think we've eaten a bit too much in that prison. Getting through this bit is, like, so difficult. Come on. Franklin, we can do it. Right, let's try this again. I'm just gonna dive through. Oh, nice one. I've made it out of there. This must be the $1,000 prison. And hold on a second. Am I in the sky? Oh, my days. Franklin, we're, like, in the... Uh, how? <laughs> How is this possible? I am in the sky, dude. The only problem is there's a lot of guards, and they will definitely kill me if I escape. Oh, but there's some guards in here. How many guards are in? One, two, three. Okay, there's three guards in here, so I can't even do anything in the prison, or else they're gonna kill me. Oh, we got the toilets. Okie dokie. At least we have, like, cubicles. That's kind of cool. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, I'll leave you to do your thing. <laughs> What about in here? Seriously, why is this so busy, dude? I'm looking in the cubicles for, like, keys or guns, you know? Has anyone got something? I'm looking for a pistol. Oh, my days, guys. Come on. <laughs> Anything? Oh, nothing, dude. Nothing. What about in here? Nothing. I'm gonna check out maybe the corners. Hey, guys, has anyone got a gun? Or, like, you know, a plane that I can use? I'm pretty convinced we need to get a gun. I mean, I have to somehow dodge all of those guards. I need a gun to do that. Hold on, there's another guard here. I didn't see him. He's kind of out of sight. Right, I've got it, guys. The only way out of here is by taking taking out one of the guards, getting their gun, and escaping. Franklin, it's time. Three, two, one. Is he down? You better be down. Yes, I got him. Grab the gun. Did anyone see that? No one saw that, dude. No one saw me do that. Amazing. Okay, now I've got a gun. Oh, you see me? You see me? Oh, boy. Oh, my days. And jeez. <laughs> okay, guys, it is on. Now the guards know what I'm doing. They're gonna kill me. I'll be out here, Franklin. Steady, steady, steady. And the other guy. I've only got five bullets, dude. Okay, run, 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 run. Before the other guys arrive, run. <laughs> run, Franklin. Are there any other guards around here? Oh, my days. I'm literally outside. No, there's, a, there's another guy there. Are you kidding me? What were you doing? I think I've just killed all the guards. Have I escaped the $1,000 prison? Come on, get to the plane. Get to the plane. Get to the plane, Franklin. Get to the plane. That was so tense. There was so much room for failure there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in the plane, dude. Get in the plane. And we're going. That was too easy. I wonder when these prisons get hard, man. I mean, that was so easy. Ten $10,000 prison. Is it me or is it a bit empty? Hello? Hello? <laughs> How do I get out of this place? I literally don't even know where I am. Okay, guys, I have a feeling I just need to find a way out of this prison. Why is there a car there? There's got to be someone here then if there's a car there. What? All right, this is really confusing. What if I just walk against this? Maybe there's a secret room. Could you imagine? Secret room? What about on the ground? I mean, that happened before. Maybe there's like a secret hole we just got to find. I'm really confused. How do I escape from this prison? This is the $10,000 prison, and I don't understand. This is so strange. The only thing here is that car. I have a feeling it's got to have something to do with my escape. Wait. No way. You can just get into the car? Is that seriously how we do it? We just jump in the car and I'm out of the... <laughs> Are you kidding me? This was too... What? All right, guys. Now I'm really confused. Um, there is just a giant drop. Oh, no. No. Are you kidding me? It's like, oh, if you survive this, you deserve to escape. I have to jump across glass. Literally glass panels. Is there anything to catch me? Oh, no. There is nothing to catch us, Franklin. <laughs> Seriously, I gotta jump across six different glass panels to get to the helicopter and escape. This is crazy. Is there really no other way? There's gotta be another way. There's gotta be something else I can do. There's no other way. There is no other way. <laughs> <laughs> it is this way or no way. Careful, buddy. Please don't screw this up, man. Please. Three, two, one. Eight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is so tense. One wrong mistake and we are dead. <gasps> oh, 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 jeez. <laughs> My heart came out of my chest. All right, three, two, one. A nice one. All right, let's just move back a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit back. A little bit more. A <laughs> this is 
is so tense. I never want to do this again. Whoever designed this, GG, my guy. GG, you've done great. This is a good $10,000 prison. Don't mess it up. Three, two, one. Eight. <gasps> oh, jeez, I thought I was going off the side there. All right, this is it. The final jump. The final one, Franklin. The final one. We're just going to go for it. Three, two, one. Eight. Oh, boy, I did it. Screw you, Glass Bridge. Screw you. Grab the helicopter and let's go, Franklin. That was amazing. I can't believe I actually survived that. This looks like an actual cell. Check it out. Am I even in the prison? Oh, I'm in the prison, dude. Check this out. Wow, for the first time, I'm actually in the prison in GTA 5. I got a TV in here, though, guys. I mean, for $100,000, at least they want me to feel good. Think about all the stuff we could watch, Franklin. I mean, do I even want to escape from this place? I could literally watch my videos all day. I don't think there's anything in my cell unless there's something behind the TV. No, there is nothing in my cell which can help me escape. But luckily for us, I don't need to worry about that because I can just leave my cell whenever I want to. Wow, this guy's got a bunk bed twice the space as my cell. Dude, this is so nice in here. This is one of the nicest prisons I've ever seen. So let's take a look at this place. There's like some picnic benches here. Very nice. Soda machines. Beautiful. I could literally have soda, chocolate bars, coffee in the morning. We could have a solid routine here, Franklin. There's a few cameras up, but uh, I'm not going to worry about them too much. Now, how am I going to escape from this place? What if I climb on this bench and then climb over this? Nope. There's barbed wire. Franklin does not want to climb over that. I don't blame you, buddy. I am literally in the prison, dude. Once I escape from this place, do I have to escape the prison as well? Wow. They even have an orange tree in here. What if I can climb the trees? That sounds like a pretty good idea, dude. I think that's how we get out of here. We gotta climb the tree. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, maybe maybe that's not how we do it, Franklin. Maybe we gotta climb on the fountain. Hang on a second. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? There's a blue yoga ball. If I can move this, <gasps> I can move it. I'm gonna move it to the wooden fence. And if I can climb on top of the ball, I might just be able to climb over the wooden fence. All right, push this against the fence. No, 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 no. Stay against the fence. Stay against the fence, Mr. Ball. <laughs> what are you doing? Get back to the fence. Come on. Come on. Get back to the fence. You're my ticket out of here. Oh, 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 my days, this works. It seriously worked. Was this how we do it? Right, I'm out of the prison. Now I'm in the actual, like, prison area, the yard and whatnot. No one knows I've escaped. Yo, this is the back of the cells. Check this out. That was my cell. That's my neighbor's cell. Now, how do we get out of this place? Okay, hide here for a second, Franklin. Oh, I'm gonna try and take out that guard and grab a gun. All right, let's do this, Franklin. Do, 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 Oh, jeez, the prisoners have seen me. They've seen me. <laughs> Quick, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. What are you doing? I'm trying to escape. Okay, the prisoners don't like me doing that, guys. And the guard didn't even have a gun. He did. He had two guns. Carbine rifle and this. All right, that's pretty good, actually. I, I got a carbine rifle now. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy. Uh, probably not a good idea. But since I haven't found any cars at all, I'm gonna jump off one of those towers. Three, two, one. Eight. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 I did it. I did it. I did it, dude. <laughs> I'm out of the prison. Let's go. Oh, man, the $100,000 escape was actually really, really tricky. Hey, buddy. <laughs> What are you looking at? This is the one million dollar prison, and it is so dark in here. This is way darker than any other prison I've been in. What's in this cell then, Franklin? Uh, table, bed, toilet, sink, and this must be my cell door. Oh, no. Dude, the door is locked. <gasps> Do you guys see that down there? There's a bunch of, like, red lasers. That doesn't look very good. I mean, I'm no expert, but I, I don't think we should be going over those lasers. <laughs> All right, guys, my door is locked, so I need to find a way to open this door. Anything? Uh, nothing. There's nothing under my bed. Okay, and there's nothing under there either. That doesn't make any sense. What about behind my pillows? Nothing behind the pillows. I found something in the toilet. There's a pen in there. Grab the pen. Just give it a second. Give it a second. Yes! Jail door unlocked. No way, dude. I've unlocked the door. Okay, now we're just gonna go downstairs, but this doesn't look very reassuring, dude. There's a bunch of red lasers everywhere, and if I tread on any of them, then that's either gonna kill kill me or it's gonna set the alarm off. Either way, it can't be good. Instead of going down the steps, what if I just jump down from here? Maybe I can dodge a bunch of those lasers doing that. Oh, perfect idea, Franklin. Let's jump down here. Three, two, one, jump. Oh, jeez, that was so close. Almost trod in one of them. All right, let's just go through this door. Beautiful. I'm out of the prison. I'm out of the cell. <laughs> one million dollars. Screw you. This is too easy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my, oh my days. There's... Oh, jeez. No. no. <laughs> go back through this door, please. Do not take me in here. There is a guard literally around this corner. I think I've got to take him out. Three, two, one. Eight. Gah! Got him. Nice. Is he down? No, he's not. No, get him. Get him, Franklin. Keep him down. Keep him down on the... <laughs> Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Don't shoot. Please. I've got his pistol. That's amazing. I have like 30... 
seven bullets. I can't get through there. There is no way I can get through there. That's so not fair. Uh, all right, guys. I've got to figure out a way to turn off the power. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no way, dude. I gotta use the keys on the box. And this box is electric. It should take off these lights. That sucks. That seriously sucks. And I can't even climb back up. I gotta dodge these lights now. <laughs> this is so tense. Alright, climb on this. No, 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 no. Stay on the bench, Franklin. Stay there. Stay there, buddy. Keep walking. Don't touch. Don't touch one of the lasers, please. And again. And again, onto the bench and off the bench and then through here. And we've done it. Amazing. All right, use the key on the box. Yes, it's worked. I've turned off all of the lasers. Now we can run across the floor. Easy peasy. Beautiful. All right, that wasn't too bad. I have a feeling that's the exit. Let's see, guys. Three, two, one, go. Oh, boy. Oh, my days. We've got a lot of guards out here. <laughs> I'm not going out there again, guys. There's a lot of guards waiting to get me. There's a couple more in there, too. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get them, Franklin. Get them, buddy. I've only got 13 bullets. Be careful. Oh boy, this guy. Is that everyone? No, one guy left. I think that's all of them. Then a few more bullets. The armory. Amazing. All right, this must be where I pick up all the guns. Oh my days. Franklin, get them. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Run, run, Franklin. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Guys, chill, chill. Okay, just chill. Give me a second here. <laughs> There's too many of them, Franklin. Another one's coming around. Watch out for them, Franklin. They're gonna sneak around if you're not careful. Now that's everybody. Everyone's down. Screw you guys. Screw you. That's what you get for trying to take me out. <laughs> now I'm gonna find a way to escape the prison. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be tricky. I think this has potential, you know, guys. This is a proper police car. Who is gonna deny a police car from leaving the prison, huh? Oh my days. It's working. It's working. Working. They opened the gate for me. And this one, please. No way. It worked. It actually worked. I'm out of the prison. We've done it. <laughs> the $1 million prison escape has been done. 5,000 years ago, an emperor ruled the world. He first discovered gold and buried it somewhere in the GTA 5 universe. I've been searching every single map in Los Santos, all of the history archives, been to the library. I've been everywhere. And I've come across this clue, which, believe me, might seem very far-fetched, except it is signed by Emperor Grey. And if you've done any research, he's the emperor from 5,000 years ago. Emperor Greg told us that the treasure lies in a bog right next to the sunken rock. All right, I've got this. This will pick up anything around, including gold. Can we find anything, Franklin? Come on, you can do this, buddy. We need to find this treasure. I mean, think about how rich we're going to be. Right now, I'm playing broke, by the way. I've only got $3 in my bank account. Hang on just a second. It's picking up a signal. Is it coming from this deer? No, it's not coming from him. Guys, I'm picking up something. I think we're getting closer to something. No way. This is the rock he was talking about. Hang on a second. This is a sunken rock in a bog. This is amazing. Franklin, we gotta dig this up. I got gold. Amazing. Franklin, keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Wait, what's this? Oh, man. You're not finding the treasure this easily. What? Seriously? I thought it was gonna be easy peasy. I spent all day looking through those archives. Oh, man. There's nothing else on this uh, except on the other side. Hang on a minute, guys. The drawing. Oh, my days, guys. That drawing is the same thing as the island over there. Right, we better go over to the island. Sorry, buddy. Just gotta take your boat. Right, guys. The island is literally right over here. I am so close. And this is a perfect place to bury some gold. I mean, who goes to these islands? Literally nobody. I rarely go here. Get out and let's check this place out. I'm gonna bring out my metal detector again. And let's start scanning this island. Come on, Franklin. We can find something. I know we can. Anything, anything. <laughs> there is a signal, guys, but it's getting weaker over here. I think it might be on the other side of the island. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, here we go. Now it's getting louder. Getting quite loud here, guys. I have a feeling the treasure must be down there. I mean, that explains why the ground's broken up a little bit. Let's start digging. Even more gold. Amazing. <laughs> There's another note. What does this say? Here's a taste of what's to come. And he's drawn another island by the looks of it. Oh, man. All right, let's go to the next location. It's, it's, uh, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, it looks like that island. Literally at the other side of the map. This guy wants me to walk. He wants me to do exercise. I could just take this money and go, Franklin. We would be fine. We would be like a millionaire. No, maybe even a billionaire. But, I mean, if he's leaving this stuff around the map, then it's got to be even more gold to find. I'm so excited. This has to be the right place, guys. See, this is kind of cool. We get to go through, like, cool archways like this. This is a really fun adventure, dude. <laughs> and 
Wait, Lester, what do you want, buddy? Lester's calling me. Does he know something I don't? Show your viewers to subscribe. Seriously. Lester, what do you mean? Well, why do they have to subscribe to my channel? Just do it. I'm not willing to explain. Well, you heard the man. Press the subscribe button. Lester tells me that something happens when you do. I'm interested. I want to know. Guys, press subscribe. Uh, Lester, I think they've done it. Nah, they haven't. We're trying to get to six million, remember? We're not going to get there at this rate. Whoa, Lester, okay. I think he's invested in my channel as well. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, subscribe. Clearly, you haven't done it yet. Lester, I think they have now. Are you going to tell me what happens when they do? Nah, you'll have to find that out yourself. See ya. This feels really strange. Has something happened to me? <laughs> if you want to fix it, you need to tell them to like the video. Oh, my days. Lester, you can't be serious. Guys, smash like on the video. 20,000 likes, and we fixed it. 20,000? Oh, my days. 20,000 likes? Can you help fix this problem, please? Just smash like on the video. Lester has literally cursed the episode. <laughs> I'm just trying to find this gold. Thanks, guys. You're legends. Can't believe Lester did that to me. I've made it to the island, and there is something really strange happening on there. I'm beginning to get a bit scared right now. This doesn't seem normal. Check this out. There's people on there. What are they doing on the island? That doesn't make sense. All right, guys. I'm just gonna dock safely. You know, just like a tourist would. I don't really want to go through the middle, though. I mean, they're just standing there in a circle. Cool. That's really strange. I'm getting really nervous now, and I don't really know what to do other than just get out of this boat and try and talk to them. Maybe they're having some sort of party. Who knows? It could be just be a party. It could be something like that. Oh, my days. Guys, do you see that? They're not even partying. They're just standing there, and they're holding a pistol. All right, I'm just gonna go and, like, talk to them. Maybe they want to be my friend. Fingers crossed they do. Do you think they know about the gold? Hey, guys, what's up? How we doing? I've come here to, uh, to do an exhibition. <laughs> I'm an archaeologist, you see, and I think there's a dinosaur on this island. This island is sacred, boy. Get off the island. Sacred? What do you mean, sacred? I'm here to do an archaeologist dig, you know? <laughs> right in the center. You step a foot in the circle, and you're not making it off the island, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, buddy. Whatever. What are you gonna do, huh? Come after me? Uh-oh, guys, they are coming after me. Jeez, Franklin, we're gonna get into some cover. Get into some cover, buddy. Oh, boy, they're shooting me. They're shooting me. This was such a stupid idea. Wait, is he almost at me? He almost at me. <gasps> Franklin? Oh, no. No, no, no. This is really bad. Franklin, this is really bad. Did they? They did. They locked me up. They didn't even throw me off the island. No way. Guys, I don't think we're in a good situation right now. They took my bag. They took my belongings. I have no guns left on me. I just want to find this treasure. No, no. Oh, I can see outside. They got a fire going. Okay, we gotta get out of this place, guys. We need to get out of this place. And I need to sort them out. I took most of them out. Hang on. He's trying to talk to me. Uh, yes. You gotta pay for what you did, boy. My friends, they're dead because of you. Oh, I'm so sorry, mister. I mean, you did try and get me first. If that's how it works. You know, you shot me first, so I get you. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry right now. I just came here to dig up some gold and become the richest person in the world. Hey, listen to me, man. How about we, we put this all behind us, call it a day, I take the gold, and I go home. Who do you think I am, boy? You're dying tonight, and you're gonna go slowly. Let me think. Is there anything around here I can use? I mean, he has planked up this pretty good. I can break through the planks. Amazing. Yes! Come on, Franklin. We can do this. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Can we get through now? Almost. Come on. We've almost done it, Franklin. Just keep breaking the planks. Maybe I can throw this. And come on. Oh, my days. It's working. Oh, my days. This is so tricky. Yes. I think I've finally broken the planks. Yes. I've made it out, guys. That was so easy. Where is this guy, anyway? Oh, he's over there. What are you doing? This gold is a curse. Bring back my friends and take the gold. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, buddy. It's not going to happen, but at least the gold will go away. Come here. <laughs> This is what you get for locking me up. Ha, ah, screw you, buddy. I'll be taking your gun. Thank you very much. Now that's everybody dealt with. Now let's take a look. Where is this gold, huh? I have a feeling it was somewhere in the center where they were guarding. If we find this gold, Franklin, we're gonna be rich beyond our wildest dreams. Keep digging, buddy. Keep digging, keep digging. I found something. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was here. We got the gold. Franklin, this is incredible. Check this out. They were guarding this all this time. There is so much gold here. Like, more than I even know what to do with. How am I even gonna take this gold home? Thanks, Emperor Greg. You're a legend. Wherever you are, are you up there, Greg? Yes, yes, I'm up here. Enjoy the gold. Greg? Was I? Okay. Hey, that's confusing. Franklin, let's just get this home, shall we? Seven trucks later, I have now deposited all of the gold into the bank. No questions asked. It was quite an eventful thing. But now, check this out, guys. My bank account is wild. <laughs> 
That is so much money up there, dude. Like, literally so much money. All right, so we're going to figure out some things to spend it on. And there's only one place I can think of right now where we need to go to. We're going to Simeon's and we're going to see what he has. Simeon always has good cars. Every single time I go there, he's got something amazing to sell. He's got to have something good this time. Oh, that looks promising. That looks really promising. <laughs> I can see so many nice cars in there. All right, Franklin, let's take a look inside and start car shopping. I can't be driving that around. Not with the amount of money I have in my account. What does he have here? Lamborghini. Whoa, that's a solid gold car. Even the windows are gold. How do you drive that? I'll ask questions later. <laughs> Another Lamborghini. Check this out, guys. This looks insane. That's a Ferrari. Hey, Simeon. Simeon, where are you, man? I got money to spend and I'm willing to buy anything from you. Anything? Follow me. I got something in the back for you. It's my exclusive car. Only for the rich, you know? What do you think? Solid gold? Not to 500 in three seconds. One of the rarest Lamborghinis out there. Only two of them in the northern hemisphere. It could be yours. For a pretty penny of 50 million dollars, of course. 50 million dollars just for this? Simeon, that's a penny in my pocket. Count me in. He has an exclusive super rare car, which is just for me. I finally have my luxury car. And it's a Lamborghini? You would have never thought that, guys. It doesn't even have a name. Thanks, Simeon. Pleasure doing business with you. That's giving me an idea, though. What if I go into another store like the Ammunition, tell them I got money to spend, and maybe they have some secret stuff in the back as well. Before I drive this car around, let's see if this guy has anything secret which I can buy. Hey, mister, I got money to spend. Lots of it. I want to buy your most exclusive items, not this stuff on the wall. I do have something. Been working on it for two years. Come check it out. So what is this? This looks very familiar to like something I've seen before. Watch where you put those hands. This bad boy can shoot a hundred times more than the last one. Oh my days, guys. This actually looks insane. I, I, I Okay, I, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, a hundred million dollars. There you go, my friend. I also got something else. Cost 50 million bucks, though. You want it? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, maybe not test them here, Franklin. You know, we might be really rich, but we're not above the law. Whoa, for just as much as my Lamborghini, you could get something like this. Look Looks like it belongs in some sort of fallout, but let's test this. <gasps> oh my days, this is so sick, dude. I have a flamethrower. What? This is a flamethrower? <laughs> this is the coolest gun ever. Now, what about the rail gun, huh? Oh my days, that is crazy. He wasn't lying, guys. This is so powerful. I can do miniature nukes with my rail gun. That is so insane. Wait, who's calling me? President? Hang on, guys. I'm getting a phone call from the president. Hey, I'm in town. Wanna meet up? Um... Uh, yes, Mr. President, I would love to meet up. Great! Meet me here! What just happened? The President wants to meet me all of a sudden. How does he know how rich I am? Does he even know I own this gun? This calls shockwaves. This is the craziest gun ever. I can literally blow up every car. So this is where he wants to meet, and there's a lot of guards around here. Like, a lot of them. There's military, there's fire brigade. Alright, let's park this up, Franklin. Hey, guys, I got a meeting with the President. I wanna know where he is? This is crazy. There's so many people here. Hello? I'm looking for the president. Hey, Franklin, over here. You're the richest man on the planet. Here, you're part of the Secret Service. And here's the key to the town. You own the place. Every bit of land, every house, every building, you own it. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Um, wait, you, you just you just gave me, like, everything? This, this pier? This plank down here? That guy's coffee? Of course. You're the richest man in the world. Oh, why wouldn't I? No, sir, but thank you very much. I don't know what to say. He just gave me everything. Wait, hang on a second. Do I also own the police force? Yes, you do, sir. You own everything and everyone. Thank you so much. I am really impressed. But what's in it for you, buddy? This doesn't make any sense to me. Just give me all this stuff for free. Just, uh, you know, be my friend and don't cause too much trouble. Of course. I'll be your friend, Mr. President. I was just given the entire city. I've never been this rich before. I haven't been gifted everything. That building there is mine. That reminds me. I don't even have a house yet. I better find somewhere to build one because I'm not buying anything in Los Santos. Okay, team, thanks for meeting me up on uh, such short notice. Here, here's what I want to do. I want to build the best house ever. It's got to have a view of Los Santos and make sure it's the biggest, bestest house anyone has ever seen. I want them to be gobsmacked when they see this, okay? And I will give you crazy bonuses if you actually make it happen. We're going to build the best house in GTA 5. It's going to be 
Awesome. What does the president want with me? I forgot to tell you. Now you're part of the secret service. You've got a safe house. Go check it out. A safe house, you say? All right, let's go and check out the safe house. We've got time to kill. Well, I've arrived at the secret service house. Number 2000. I can't show you the location. It's classified. But if you do find it in GTA 5, feel free to ring the doorbell. I might just be in. Whoa. Okay, we've got a sliding door. These slide open. And I got another workshop garage. Ooh, I like that, guys. A little glass screen. And it looks like we're building a car here. Wow. I gotta make sure I can trust you guys. You can't be telling anyone about this place. There's even cameras of the police station here. This is the lounge space where the Secret Service agents hang out. And then this is the kitchen. Lovely stuff. And a bar. Wow. They even like to party up here. This is an office. Probably my office now. There is a bathroom attached to the office. And even an empty wardrobe. This is definitely mine. I'm yet to move in. And there is a swimming pool here. Beautiful. And even a conversation fire pit. This is luxury. I mean, I don't care if this is the Secret Service. They know what they're doing. Right. Let's get out of here, Franklin. There's so many more things I want to do. Like, buy everything in the game. That's so difficult to do, but now I have the money to finally do that. Wait, have I discovered a secret website? Buy a cruise liner company, $10 billion. I have just discovered a secret website. Hang on a second. Are you seeing this? This is like the longest bike I've ever seen, and it's so fast. They're gonna be really annoyed when they realize I've just taken it. I haven't stolen it because it's technically mine. Someone parked here, though. No way. No way. I, I I own a Queen Mary 2. This is a cruise boat. Hold on a second. That's huge. That, did I really just buy this? <laughs> Are you crazy? What? Guys, I didn't realize these were in GTA 5. And that must be the other two boats I purchased. Oh, yeah. Some casual luxury yachts over there. Yeah, yeah. Guys, don't mind me. Just bought a cruise liner and, like, two luxury yachts over there. They look tiny compared to this. Playing as an octillionaire brings so many crazy surprises. But now I own one of these. If you want to be invited, subscribe to my channel. I am sailing a cruise liner in GTA 5. That is so so loud. Oh my days. This can sleep like 5,000 people. It is a floating city. This is crazy. And check this out. First person view. You would have never thought you're sailing something as big as this. I am literally sailing a city. I want to check out the other two boats. So this is one of them. And there's the other one. Let's check out one of these first. Nice balcony. This is the king bedroom. Yeah, it's pretty luxury. I mean, for a boat, this is pretty nice. This is as nice as it gets. I mean, who needs a cruise liner when you have these? Oh, there's a little indoor gym. All right, beautiful. And then what's through here? Another gym. All right, nice, nice. All right, this is a pretty nice boat. So I own cruise liners. I own every car in GTA 5, and uh, I'm building a massive house on the hills. The president did tell me I own the city. And since I own the police force and I'm also part of the Secret Service, I'm going to go to the police station and see what happens. No one is doing anything. This is amazing. Like, uh, take out this officer. No one is doing anything. This is amazing. <laughs> this is some crazy power, guys. Like, serious crazy power. Hey, you. Follow me. I need to show you something. Me? Me? Uh, all right, guys. It looks like we found a friend. I was waiting for someone to show up. In this garage is a secret car we've been working on. It's yours if you want it. In this garage, you say? <laughs> yes, I'll take this car. Thank you very much. I want you to have the craziest party ever. Tonight, throw the biggest one. In fact, no, right now. Tell everyone, get here now and have some fun. Hey, what are you doing standing there? I said arrange the party. This is going to be the best party ever. I've never had a party at the police station. Where do I want to drive this. I'm gonna join this Ready to strike, party. boss. Tell us where. Hello? Who is this? Airstrike Team 50. Tell us where to strike, boss. We're on you. Airstrike Team 50? Oh, my days. Uh, do I really have access to an airstrike company? Uh, guys, can you just, like, strike in front of me? <laughs> I need to know if this is real. No way, they're actually... <laughs> This is so crazy! Oh my days, I just destroyed the entire road. All right, guys, I have just discovered an even crazier feature. I'm so glad the president gave me this power. I own the city, I can do whatever I want. This guy, screw him! That's given me an idea, though. There's someone who I don't like. You know, he tried to prank me at the start of the video. Strike Team 50, here! <laughs> All right, go, 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 go! <laughs> All right, I've called in the strike. Are they really gonna drop stuff on Lester's house? Get ready, guys. Brace for impact. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> Screw you, Lester! Well, that's his house dealt with. They better be throwing the best party ever, guys. And I think they are. Everyone's back. returned back. No way, no way, no way, guys. I gotta check out the inside. Check it out in there, guys. They're going wild. This is why being rich is fun. You can just party every single day. Wow, they stocked up. Well, guys, this is gonna be a week-long party. This is gonna be the craziest thing ever. Oh, manager's office? No one's in the office. Screw them. <laughs> Check out the table. I'll take a drink. Thank you very much. This is crazy. Everyone's just having a blast. I could get 
use for this, guys, but I just got a text that my house is ready. I'm about to check out the best house you're ever gonna see in GTA 5. There is no house better than this. I don't care if you've seen a bigger one, because you haven't. I don't care if you've seen a better one, because you haven't. Wow! No way, guys, this is it. This is the house. I love the wall. Really done well here. All right, let's go and take a look inside. Up the driveway we go, and wow, I love the brickwork. All right, leave the police car here, Franklin. We can bring all of our luxury cars here. First of all, let's check out the helipad. This is my lovely helipad. Pat. What do you guys think? And there is my house, and that's the view. There's a surprise for you in the garage. Consider it on the house. You better tip as well, though. I'll decide the tip when I see the surprise. What have you left for me in here? What? You left me a supercar? What kind of car is this, buddy? This is such a nice car. Better than my Lamborghini, that's for sure. Are there any clues on this? Like, anything? Nothing. I don't even have a name. Hey, bro, you gotta tell me what car this is. Dude, this is such a nice car. It, it's a Lamborghini. Alright, it, it's a Lamborghini. Somehow that is a Lamborghini. This is here is a Lamborghini Celestial. It flies, too. Oh, and check out the other garage. There's another car waiting for you. Not as exciting as this one, though. Hang on a second. This is a Bugatti. This is, this is a Bugatti. This is seriously a Bugatti. What? How old is this car, buddy? This is the first ever Bugatti, mate. And it's all yours. Enjoy. Thanks, man. It's the first ever Bugatti. Whoa, the chandelier. <laughs> This is so crazy. Guys, I am dreaming right now. There is a chandelier going all the way down to the bottom. This must be the upstairs. Amazing view of the skyline. Bookshelf, paintings. Wow, they have done well. They have done so well. It even comes with random friends. Hello, guys. Good to see you. Here's a bedroom. Very, very nice. And then through here is a private balcony. In this bedroom is an office. Lovely stuff. There's an elevator in here. It's not even an elevator. This is a vault. This is... <laughs> This is the best vault ever. There's gold, there's cash, everything I need to defend myself. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, let's keep moving. What's through these double doors? Another bedroom. Beautiful. A walk-in wardrobe, and I guess this is the bathroom. Wow, this is the biggest bathroom ever. This is so big. Playing as an octillionaire really isn't too bad. I have a gym, which is bigger than my entire flat. And then right next to the gym is a basketball court. What's through these double doors, though? Hello, is there anyone in here? Hmm, movie Hang on a second, guys. I think there's a movie theater. Some Avatar, Tom Cruise posters. Wow, sliding doors, vending machines. There's a bedroom down here. Are you crazy? Where does it end? Amazing walk-in wardrobe. Through here is, let me guess, the bathroom. Oh, my days. But let's go through this door because I have a feeling there's a movie theater through here. And I was right. There is a movie theater right next to a bedroom. When I know where I'm sleeping, there's a games room down here with a granite snooker table and a granite bar. This is my kind of vibe. This is seriously my kind of vibe. But before I say Settle in. I want to check out my brand new flying car. The Lamborghini Celestial. The lights are on. Amazing. Whoa. The way it just shimmers in the sun. Now, how does this thing even fly? I'm sure there's a way to do it. I've done it. All right. Beautiful. The tires are up. Now, let's take off in my brand new flying supercar machine. <laughs> This is crazy. I've built billion dollar bunkers for Michael and Franklin in GTA 5. They're huge and inside are luxury, fast, expensive cars and so many more things. And as a result, Trevor is a little bit jealous. I mean, I would understand it. You know, being forgotten over in the desert, sandy shores, yada, yada, yada. Which is why today I am building Trevor the best bunker ever. This isn't a billion dollar bunker. This is a trillion dollar bunker. It's gonna go all the way down to the Earth's core where Trevor can harvest lava and throw it over all of his enemies and people he doesn't like. Speaking of people he doesn't like, we do actually have a problem because Trevor has no money. I mean, he's not exactly made of money, guys. That's exactly why we don't play as him. Trevor has zero dollars in his bank account. If he had any money in there, I promise Trevor I would have built you this bunker first. But luckily for us, you guys are here because everyone who subscribes to the channel in the next 10 seconds will give Trevor 10 billion dollars, which means we just need a hundred of you to press the subscribe button, which is super easy. So please get subscribing now. The time is ticking. If you don't subscribe, Trevor is not going to be able to build this bunker. I just need a hundred of you to subscribe. Come on, you can do it. Yes, it's working. 30 billion, 70 billion. Nice, this is going up. This is amazing. <laughs> yes, loads of you guys are subscribing. Yes, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. Oh no, it stopped at 400 billion dollars. Oh, we got to 40% of the way. I think that's the 10 seconds up, Trevor. I'm sorry, we made 400 billion. That's not bad. We'll figure this 
out. I'm sure we will. There's always something we can do around here to make some money. Like, what if I fix up some houses or become a window cleaner or mow people's lawns? No, who am I kidding? I'm not going to make $600 billion doing that. Do you have any ideas? I mean, it can't be that tricky. Oh, not now, Ron. Not now. What do you... Hey, Ron, what do you want? It's always bad news when Ron calls me. Would you like to visit the land of money with me? The land of money? Ron! Ugh. Are we going to make some money there? Yes, I think so. Like a trillion dollars? Trillion dollars? Wow, oh my days. Ron, you're amazing! Am yes, Ron, you are! I'm going to meet you now. Amazing. Ron has literally got a plan to make a trillion dollars. I really hope it's an easy plan. If it's not, Trevor's going to have to whack out some contacts of people who owe him some money. All right, let's go and see what Ron wants me to do. I'm excited. This could literally answer all of our questions and we can build this bunker like right away. We have to build this bunker. I will literally do everything I can to make sure this bunker is built. There he is, my guy Ron. Hey, Ron, what's up? What are we doing? And where are we flying to? Where's the land of money? Are we going to go to Europe? Are we going to go to Russia? Like, where are we going to, Ron? This is uh, exciting. I want to make some money. We're going to Los Santos, Trevor. Los Santos. Okay, let's go to Los Santos. <laughs> let's go. I suppose flying is always quicker than, uh, you know, driving. So, oh, Ron, watch out for the propellers. Do not want you to get hurt. <laughs> Maybe we'll pay Michael a visit. And frankly, either way, I'm excited to see what Ron has in mind for us today. We're going to Los Santos and we're making a trillion dollars. That doesn't come lightly. And check it out, guys. I'm flying the plane with Ron. <laughs> it's literally too person's flying. This is so cool. And here we go. To Los Santos, we go. Hey, Ron, we're going a little bit too vertical right now. Can we can we lift this up a little bit, Ron? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta scare me. Los Santos, this is awesome. Check it out. There's the Eclipse Towers. I'm pretty sure I can see Michael's house from over here, but it looks like we're going in to land pretty soon. Hey, Ron, where are we landing? There's no airport here. Ron, Ron what are we doing? What are we doing? Ron, Ron, watch out for the tree. Oh, my days. He literally wants to kill me. Ron, this is Ron's attempt to take out Trevor. I'm not even kidding. Ron, where are we going? This is not even funny anymore. Ron, this is a junction. This is a junction. Ron, you almost had me killed. We landed. Well done for staying the obvious, Ron. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. We've landed and Ron is taking me over to the here. We're going down this road. This is the wrong side of the road, Ron. Wait, we're here? Are you serious? Oh my days. Wait a second. I think Ron wants me to rob the jewelry store. Are you crazy, Ron? The world's most expensive jewel is in there and you're going to steal it. Steal the world's most expensive jewel? And that's how I get my trillion dollars. Yes. Well, in that case, Ron, <laughs> count me in. Let's do this, Trevor. Are you coming inside as well, Ron? I can really do another hand on this. You know, keep an eye on my back. I think I'll stay out here and, you know, protect you from the uh, people outside. Mm, yeah. All right, Ron, I see how it is. Let's just do this, Trevor. <laughs> hey, guys, this is a hold up. I'm sorry, but I need the jewels. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. All right, get the cameras. Security cameras. Come on. Why? Why is it taking so long? And then this one. You know what, guys? I'm just going to step this up a little bit. Let's use this, Trevor. <laughs> this is a hold up, everybody. I need all the jewels you got. All right. Ba -ba -de -ba -ba -de -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. How much? Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's, that's a lot of money. Are you looking at that? Oh, 345. Is that million or billion? I really hope it's billion. That's crazy. No, okay. Now I've made my first billion. We've only got one and a half minutes. Let's just clear out the, the store, you know, like this. I'm making so much money right now. Ron, you might just be right. But this is not a trillion dollars yet. I've made two billion. If I want to make a trillion, that jewel in the cabinet has to do it. Hey, Ron, at this rate, we're not going to make a trillion dollars. How expensive is that jewel? That's the biggest diamond in history. Come on, Trevor, keep looting, keep looting. Oh, jeez, just, just loot, Trevor, loot. Right, now's my chance. Get the jewel. Don't waste time. Start cutting the case. That is literally beautiful. Right, start cutting the glass. Don't put on too much heat, remember. Keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady. Stop for a second and keep cutting. Come on, boys, so close. I gotta get that diamond. That has to be the world's biggest diamond. <laughs> oh, please, please. Yes, I mean. All right, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh my goodness. That has literally gone off the chart. <laughs> All right, get that. Get more jewels. You know, may as well, Trevor. We still got some time. You know what? Just to annoy Ron, and we've got a plane outside as well. I might just wait until the police show up. Hey, police, come on. I dare you. <laughs> hey, guys, can I just keep uh, looting this? Thank you. My money has literally gone off the charts. That's how much we've made. I have a four star wonder level, and I'm still robbing the place. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Once we get out of here, we'll count the money, spend our trillion dollars, and, you know, just have a blast. Hang on a second. I missed a few more counters around here. Just bear with me, please. Bear with me. Just gonna rob the jewels here as well. I think I missed two more cabinets around here. All right, let's just get these two as well. How are the police not here? They're literally the worst police 
this ever. Amazing. I have robbed every single cabinet. Hey, run. Hey, run. I think the coast is clear. Let's go. Let's get our plane. Let's get out of here. I have made so much money. Run, Trevor. Run, run, run. They're chasing us. They're coming down. <laughs> Quick run, Trevor. Run. This is awesome. Hey, Ron, are you coming with me or what? Ron, I can see him. He's standing next to the store. He's pretending he's not even with me. Oh, that's it, Ron. I'm getting out of here then. I'm taking the money for myself. See you, police officers. It's been a pleasure. This is amazing, Trevor. We have just stolen so much cash. The biggest diamond in the world. Did you see the diamond? It was huge. I have not seen a diamond bigger than that one. That has to be the biggest one we've ever seen. And it's literally in my plane right now. Trevor, that was a pretty successful heist. And now I'm in a plane. There's no way the police will catch me now. And just like that, I've lost the wanted level. Deliver the jewelry to the buyer. Easy peasy. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. The buyer is just over here. And you know what, guys? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Lester Crest. We're basically going over to where he lives. So, you know, wouldn't surprise me. Now, let's see. We gotta keep our eyes peeled here, Trevor. This person could try and steal from us. He could try and be a little bit sketchy. This is gonna be a simple transaction. You know, a simple trillion dollar transaction. Once I get this money, this bunker will be mine. I'll be able to throw lava over everyone and maybe, just maybe, I might even go back to that guy and, you know, steal my jewels back. I mean, nothing's off the table right now. Just don't tell him. Where is he? Uh, hello? Excuse me? I got your... Are you the buyer? I don't think that guy's the buyer. Where, who's buying the stuff? Who has a trillion dollars? I know someone does around here. Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Sorry, cows. Sorry for scaring you guys. Sorry, buddy. The buyer's actually over this way. This is awkward. Just, uh, ran into some random place. Hey, excuse me. Uh, oh, there we go. He's over here. All right, get into the circle. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, there you are. Hey, have you got your trillion dollars? That, that's a very small suitcase for a trillion dollars. All right, yeah, just, just handshake. Yeah, don't even check the case. Uh, okay, just hand away the biggest diamond. If this guy has screwed me over, I will not be very happy. Let's see, how much have we made? How much was in that? A hundred billion? A hun no, no, not a hundred billion. Come on. I thought there was at least a trillion. Right, I've made 500 billion dollars. That's all right. I'll figure something out, guys. Luckily for us, Trevor has a note of tons of people who owe him some money. These are people who he just doesn't like, people who actually owe him money, and people who just looked at him funny. Some of these people have a lot of money. In fact, so much that they might actually be the richest people in GTA 5. So we're gonna pay them a visit, steal everything they have, and hopefully that will get us across the line to a trillion dollars. Jeez, Trevor, you couldn't have exactly asked for a normal bunker. You know, like Michael and Franklin over there. Why are we gonna go for a trillion dollar bunker, Trevor? This is just complicated. Anyway, it's Trevor's rules. I don't wanna get on the wrong side of him. He might throw lava over me, and I don't want that to happen. So let's go and pay this guy a visit and see how much money we can make from him. The first person is on the golf course. He always hangs around here, and I think think I can see him already, hanging out with his friends. This guy is basically fully retired. He left work years ago. He made some businesses, sold them all, made a ton of money, and now I'm gonna put him straight back out of retirement. <laughs> Hey, mister! Do you remember me? I'm sure you do, because you owe me some money! <laughs> oh, you could run! There goes your mate, there goes your other friend. Oh no, look at him run, he's really trying to get away from me! Sorry, mister, but no one gets away from Trevor! <laughs> Let's go and get my money back! This person really thought he could outrun Trevor? Oh, that's the last time he gives me evil looks on the street. I mean, what were we doing back then, Trevor? What were we doing? Oh yeah, I remember, we were stamping on rats, and this guy was like, Ugh, why you stamp on rats? Don't underestimate Trevor. Now, mister, take me back to your house house immediately. If you don't, things are gonna get even more complicated for you, okay? Now follow me and get in a car. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in the car. Get in the car. I'm not screwing around. Okay. Take me to your house and don't try any funny business, all right? Okay. Just... <sighs> Please! Please don't hurt me again! Nothing's gonna happen to you, as long as you give me all the money you got. Alright, what is that guy saying? Jeez, dude, another person, another witness. One second, there we go. My house is here! It's this one! This one? Well, that would explain why you're always at the golf club. Alright, that was super easy. Whoa! Nice ride you got here, mister! And who is that? Please, don't hurt her! That's my wife! Oh, sorry, she's seen too much. This is why I don't play as Trevor, guys. He's too crazy! Give me all the money you got, alright? I'm burning down your house. Okay, alright, okay, okay. I'm transferring my money to you right now. Every single a penny of it. And done. Wait, t ten, 10 billion? You really, you've only got 10 billion dollars? Come on, I, I thought you had more than that. That's everything I have. Please go away. Are you sure about that? I'm not screwing around. Give me everything. Everything. Come on, come on. I will literally take you out right here, right now. That's all I have. Please. The place is all I got. I think he's telling the truth. Well, fine. I'm taking your car then. I only got 10 billion dollars from him. That puts me at 510 billion. Well, that guy clearly had less money than I thought. Maybe another person on the list can help me 
out. Let's go, Trevor. This person lives in the biggest house in GTA 5. This one. This house alone has got to be worth more than 10 billion bucks. It's the biggest one in Los Santos. And I am here to steal it from its owner. And there he is right there. Just chilling outside. Hey, mister, how are we doing today? Mr. Trevor Phillips has arrived and I am your worst nightmare. Oh, he's seen me. He's seen me. <laughs> come here now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a good boy. Now give me all the money you got. Please, please don't do this. Sorry, man. It's too late. Give me the money now. I've got his phone. I've got his wallet. I'm just going to transfer everything through. Bibbidi babbidi bibbidi bop. And there we go. 60 billion bucks. Amazing. And since I took out the owner, I may as well sell this house as well. How much can we get for this? From this amazing masterpiece, 30 billion dollars. That was a pretty successful run, Trevor. We made 90 billion from that guy, which means I have 600 billion dollars, but not quite a trillion. Now, the next person on my list, who I think might be able to help us, actually lives near Franklin. So we're going to go up there now and uh, pay him a visit. Vinewood Estates, the most expensive estates there is. <laughs> just around the corner. Well, I can hear Franklin. What's he talking about? Wow, we just made 550 billion dollars. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I can't wait to build this bunker. Wait a second. Hear him. He just made 550 billion. That would answer all of my questions. If I can take that money from Franklin, Trevor, I, th I think I think we better do this. Let's ring the doorbell. And now we wait. Uh, no, don't use the pistol. We're going to use something a little bit better. Let oh, this is good. This will intimidate him. He's made 550 billion dollars. Looks like he's building a bunker for, for chop. No, no, no. Trevor's got to get this bunker first. Come on, Franklin. Open the door. Open the door. I really want to make this money. Hello. Are you here to build the bunker? 550 billion, hey? Can I have all that money, Franklin. I need it. I can't believe it. My best friend has all this money and he doesn't think to share any of it with Trevor. Come on. Give me the money, Franklin. Yes, I have to do this. I have to do this. I, I can't explain. I just need your money now. Come on. <laughs> this is amazing. I just got 550 billion, which throws me across the line. I have more than a trillion dollars. Thanks, Franklin. Really appreciate it. I'm going to go and build this amazing bunker now. Let's go, Trevor. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe this. I have just stolen so much money from Franklin. Trevor, it is time to build your trillion dollar bunker. You know what? I'm just gonna buy it right now whilst I'm driving. That's right, guys. Buy it, Trevor. Buy it. Yes. Oh, jeez. And that's why you don't uh, go on your phone and drive. <laughs> Okay, keep your eyes on the road now, Trevor. Let's try and survive the journey home so we can actually experience this bunker. They're already here. No way. They're literally here. Hey, guys, pleasure to meet every single one of you. I honestly can't wait to build this bunker. It's going to be epic. So since everyone is here, let me just mark out the spot. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere down. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking somewhere down here, maybe there. I mean, I'll accept it somewhere in this garden. But basically, I want the bunker here and I want it to look amazing. Better than any other bunker you've ever built, okay? And it's got to go really deep down, you know, Make sure this can get to the Earth's core. I hope you got the right machinery for that. We know what we're doing. Just let us work. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, Mr. Attitude. Looks like someone doesn't like me. Well, I know who. I'll be throwing lava over first. What? Uh, uh, sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, mister. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. What do you want, Franklin? Listen, I needed this money so I could build myself a bunker. And it's going to be way better than anything you guys do. Wait, what have you done? What? You haven't just... You put stickies on every single one of these vehicles. He's done what? Tell him to remove. Them. Franklin, listen, you gotta remove them. Remove them now. You can't do that. That, that, that. Come on, I need this bunker built. If I want to remove those stickies, I need to give him $25 billion. Oh, my days. Franklin, I don't just give money away. You know what? Let's play a game of golf, Franklin. If I win, then I get to keep the money and you remove the stickies. If you win, you get $25 billion and you go home and do whatever you want with that money. All right, but that's it. You're out of my life and those stickies go away. Deal. All right, it's on. You better win the game of golf. Oh, trust me. I will. I will, mister. Don't worry. It's on, Franklin, and I am going to win this. And you can leave my life forever. <laughs> Come on, Trevor. Don't screw this up now, okay? I know you're terrible at golf. Franklin is secretly really good. But we're going to win this. I just know we are. Come on, let's do this. Guys, who do you want to win? Do you want Trevor to win or do you want Franklin to win? Like, let me know in the comments. I really want Trevor to win. I just want Franklin to go away. And I know I could give him this $25 billion, But, you know, he doesn't deserve it right now, okay? He, he should have just let me know he had that money and given me a little small donation. Right, let's see. I think that's pretty good, T. Let's whack this one. Oh, boom! 
perfect. We literally couldn't have got a better shot. That's amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. It's in the sandpit. Come on. Oh, jeez. That was a perfect shot. And he missed the sandpit. He's still on the runway. That's painful. That's really painful. Franklin. Oh, yeah. You won now. But believe me, I'm going to win. I'm going to win the game. Okay. I'm going to win. No, no, no. I'm going to win. I'm winning. I'm so winning. Don't screw this up, Trevor. We might be in the sandpit, but we can still do this. There we go. All right. Now we're getting some serious distance. 65 yards. That's what I'm talking about. All right. This one looks like the right one to me. I think we'll go with this. Give it a go, Trevor. Get it out the sandpit. Bam! Nice. Is it out? Is it out? Is it? Oh, seriously? You hit the tree? Come on, Trevor. Come on. Oh, we're not going to win this. Unplayable? Don't tell me that. And Franklin got a perfect shot again. Oh, my goodness. This is really, really bad. Trevor is so bad at golf. Come on. Don't screw this up, team. Don't screw this up. All right. We're on the runaway. We'll be fine. We just got to hit the ball. Damn. That's going in. I just know it is. I know it. Oh, my days. That might go in. Hey, Franklin. Look who's good now, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. All right. He's also got it near the hole. Okay. It all relies on this, Trevor. It all counts on this. And our wind's going that way. So I'm thinking if we go there. And then... That was too... That was too powerful. That was too powerful. And it didn't even go near the hole. Come on. Our balls are literally right on top of each other. And Franklin got in on par. I think that's five shots. What do, I don't even know what I'm on right now. I don't even know who's winning. But let's, let's just do this. Get it in. Oh, are you kidding me? Trevor, that was on the edge of the hole. Come on. Double bogey. I lost this. No, I can't. I can't afford to lose this. I can't afford to lose this. Fine. I lost the game of golf. You know what, Franklin? Whatever. You get the $25 billion. Just take the stickies away. It's yours, Franklin. It, all the money. It's yours. Just take it. Take the $25 billion. I don't want to see you again. So you know what, Franklin? It's been a pleasure, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to find your other way home. Uh, find another ride. I don't care. So I did lose my game of golf, but that's all right, guys. I still have plenty of money to build this bunker. Everything's fine. In fact, I'm going to go there right now because they should have built the bunker already. They have plenty of money, plenty of time. Let's go and check it out. Who needs to win a game of golf anyways? It's just a it's just a game of golf. The moment of truth. Please cheer me up. Has it been built? I don't see any construction workers around here. <gasps> I can see the entrance to the bunker. Ron, it's built. This is crazy. Ron, first rule to the bunker. You're not allowed inside. Second rule to the bunker. This is mine. Whoa. That is seriously deep. That goes really far down. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready to check this out? Let's go, Trevor. Let's go. This is awesome. I'm going down into the deepest, furthest bunker ever created in GTA 5. For one trillion dollars, this could be yours. There's going to be lava down here. In fact, I can feel it getting warmer. It's getting really warm now. How far down? Does this even go, Trevor? This is crazy. Look at this. Can I, can I Can I? see that? I can't even look up right now, but that's fine. You know what? I don't, need, I don't even need to look up. I'm just going to slide down this ladder. Check it out. I've made it down to the bottom. Right up there. I, I still can't see the top. We're that far down. I can't see the top. There's Trevor Phillips. There's the guy who uh, directed the whole thing. Trevor's secret base. Dangerous area. All right. Very dangerous area. Danger. No trespassing. Thank you. Yo, guys. Chop has a slide. Franklin has a slide. But those slides ain't got nothing on this. This is like a full-on dangerous slide. Let's go, Trevor. We're taking the dangerous slide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, this is awesome. That is the coolest way down. All right, so I found the lava. That's pretty cool. There's a house down here. That's interesting. There's some cars over there. There's a bank. What? 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 Hang on a second. Is this a boxing ring? There's a boxing ring? <laughs> Whoa, check this out. There's a boxing ring and cheerleaders. That's awesome. Hey, guys, thanks for turning out. Did you come with the bunker? I think they live in the bunker. Hey, do you reckon I can box this guy? I'm jumping in the ring. Here we go. WWE, let's do this. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Hey, look at me. Look at me. I know you're super buff, but the element of surprise is here. Bam! <laughs> and we win. Full on knockout. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for turning out. That, that was amazing. That was impressive. I know. If you want to box me, who wants to challenge Trevor? Come on. If anyone wants to challenge Trevor, I'm up for it. In a second, I want to check out the rest of this place. I can't believe there is lava everywhere. Whatever you do, T, do not fall in the lava. Anyway, what else has this place got? Because there's like so many other things I have not seen. So going with the simple things, as you can see, this is Trevor's garage. There's there's some sort of track down there, and there is also a hoop. I think I get to drive cars through that. All right, you know what, guys? I'm just gonna take this one. I have a really cool feeling. There is a course. Uh, guys, we gotta use this. There is a super dangerous course down in Trevor's bunker, and we are about to attempt the course. Oh my days. This is gonna be insane. All right, let's do this, T. So take it around the lava. Whatever you do, don't fall in the lava. I'm in a super duper. 
super fast ride. And we're about to jump straight through the hoop. Here we go. And jump, 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 jump. Too far, too far, too far, Trevor. Too far, too far. <laughs> oh, jeez. Quick, get out the lava. Oh, my days. It's exploding. It's exploding. Get out the lava. Get out the lava. I'm out the lava, but the car is on fire, which isn't exactly ideal. I think I'll leave the car here. Just let it explode, you know. Just uh, let's go, Trevor. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so I'll be attempting that once I've checked out the rest of this base. I wonder where that goes to. The garage door. All right, let's, let's figure this out. I'm just going to go here. Okay, this takes me to Trevor's garage. Hey, Ron, this is a pretty epic bunker. You're going to love this. Actually, you're not because you're not allowed down. Come on, Trevor, let's go back down. So, Trevor, let's go and check out the bank. So, as you can see, this is where Trevor's keeping all of his money. Now, he's got billions and billions to his name. There is a lot of money in here, and it's surrounded by fire. That probably isn't the best idea, but at least it keeps everything safe, and that's all that matters. Isn't that right, Trevor? Right, let's get moving. So, here's Trevor's brand new house. If he needs to lose the one to level. He's gonna move into this. Wow, there's a swimming pool. Check it out, guys. Splashdown. Oh, my days. Trevor has his own swimming pool. Check it out. And this is his house. It's on wheels. There's a washing machine in here, a dishwasher. Through here is like a spare room for nothing. Over here is a ladder, which takes me up to my bed. Fridge, kitchen area, even a lounge space. Wow, this is actually a pretty good house. I like it. It's cozy. And there's even a skylight where I sleep. Well, now I've checked out the house. I've checked out the cars. I've checked out the safe. I want to see the cool things like the tightrope. And also, Death Watch and the bridge. The bridge looks pretty crazy. But what's the tightrope like? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, what do you think? Do you reckon I'll survive this? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's do this, T. But take it carefully. We don't want to fool. Use the gun as well. Just, you know, stay around the corners. Keep it steady. Everything's going to be fine. I got to jump over the tightrope. I didn't see the jump bits. All right, guys. Uh, wish me luck. Trevor might die here. What if I just run? Run. Run for your life. Run for your life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We ran straight across it. Oh, yeah. That's how we do it in here. So Trevor's actually doing a pretty good job. I'm proud of him. And I'm approaching some even scarier parts of this round. Like that jump. As long as we focus ahead of us, we should be okay. And roll back down. Trevor, you're smashing this, buddy. You're, you're smashing this. You're doing so good. Now, let's see. What else have we got? Oh, my goodness. But before we get to the wall, I gotta somehow scale these. Can I just jump over them? Nice. And then again. And then stay. And then again. <laughs> This is so scary. Why am I doing this in Trevor's bunker? This, this does not make sense. This is what our enemies should be doing. If they don't want lava over them, this is what they're going to be doing. Right. I'm sure we can do this. If we plan ahead. We can do this. All right, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Oh, stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> Just run. Run, Trevor. Run, run. <laughs> This is so scary. Oh, my goodness. All right, I've made it. I've made it. I've done it. That's incredible. I basically survived the, the, the tightrope. I'm never doing that again. That was too crazy. Right, let's try out the bridge next. What's this? Oh, jeez. Glass bridge. This is Squid Game now? <laughs> Trevor's literally trying to test out Squid Game under his house. Right, this should be fine anyway. It's only a bridge. We'll just run. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. It's not fine. The, the pains, they're actually falling. They're falling. They're falling. But I made it. I'm pretty sure I cheated at that, but I still survived. So I'm the ultimate winner. Well, I've I've tested out the bridge. I've tested out the tightrope. And there's only one thing left to test. Can I go through the middle? Oh, yeah, I can. Perfect. Perfect. That, that, they should have thought of this. Ha! <laughs> Death Watch. What is this? This sounds so exciting. Hello? This was not on the blueprint. I don't recognize this, Trevor. This was not on the blueprint. What is going on at your house, Trevor? What have you done? Hello? Guys? Why are there just random people here? Hello? I'm so confused. Guys? So whenever Trevor's got enemies, he just throws them in here and uh, wishes them the best. Trevor, you are the most most insane person I know out of all the characters. No one has anything like this. Well, we've officially built Trevor's underground bunker, and let me tell you, it is terrifying. I hope I never end up down here as anyone else other than Trevor. There's lava down here, a boxing ring, a tightrope, supercars, so many crazy things, and even a portable house for Trevor to live inside. I rate this bunker a 10 out of 10. It's exactly what Trevor wants. Franklin's a decillionaire. He has more money than me, you, and the universe combined. With so much cash, he could buy every supercar that's ever existed, or every ounce of gold on this planet. But instead, he's done something even crazier, because Franklin here spent every single penny on his house. Ah, that must be them now. I've done a few house upgrades in the past, but nothing is gonna be as good as this one. <laughs> There's a lot of builders outside. Hey guys, are you here to do the upgrade? Yes, sir. Have you got the money? Why, yes, of course I've got the money. Who do you think you're talking to? This is the richest man who's ever lived on this planet. Here's your money, a Silly and tallest. Oh my days, I can't even count it. It's that much. Thanks, sir. 
Come back in three weeks. No, your website said 12 hours. Stick to what you said. Oh, uh, do you have any idea how difficult this will be? That's why I'm paying you a decillion dollars. Like I said, I want a tunnel. I, I want a tennis court. I want an airport. I want a penthouse. And I want a secret bunker underground. Bro, uh, I'll tell you what. Tell them to subscribe and I'll get it done today. Oh, it's one of these guys. Well, you heard the man. If you don't subscribe to my channel, he's gonna take three weeks. Hey, mister, I'm pretty sure they subscribe. I trust you guys to subscribe, right? If you haven't subscribed, yeah, you can subscribe. So you see, are only 20% there. You're missing out on a few more. Right, you heard the man. Not enough of you guys subscribe to the channel, which means it's gonna take three weeks. It'll take two now. We're all getting there. Oh, my days, dude. This guy's literally having a joke. I got ripped off by him. I should have just gone with someone else. You're almost there, sir. Just a few more subscribers. You guys are being legends, by the way. And if you're watching and you aren't subscribed to the channel, then you are holding this video back. We need this house upgrade. We got there. Well done. Oh, we did it. Amazing. Thank you so much. Honestly, you're not gonna regret subscribing. <laughs> so, I'll be back in 12 hours. Yes, sir. See you there. Have fun. Now, I am gonna hit Los Santos and I'm gonna buy the fanciest suit money can buy. Hey, what, what's going on here? Frank, put the gun down. I'm, I'm not even holding a gun. What, what's going on? Oh my days, he's shooting me. Go, 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 go. Oh, Franklin, Franklin. Oh no, no, no. They were waiting for me. You get the legs. Start dragging. Dragging? Where are we going? Oh man, I was really excited for my house too. Oh. Hey, hey guys. What are you doing? Oh no, Franklin, this isn't good. We're surrounded. I don't even know where I am. Where's the money, Frank? The, the money? Oh no, they're after the money. We know you're the richest. Are you gonna die for it or what? I was the richest, but these guys don't know about that. Let me see, how much money do we have, Frank? Um, oh boy, I got no money. I spent every single dollar on the house upgrade. Okay, this is really bad. Guys, I, 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 I'm, I'm bankrupt. That's impossible. How do you spend so much money? I upgraded my house. For a decillion dollars? You got ripped off, son. Yeah, well, um, it's gonna be the best house ever. Well, I suppose we don't need you. I'll kill you and take the house. Oh, no. No, no, no. Guys, you don't want to do that. Franklin, get up, get up, get up, get up. He's not getting up at all. Oh, this is really... Bad way, switch to Simeon. What? Hey, Simeon, what's up? Whoa. Oh, my days. Someone's trying to shoot us. Okay, he's, he's messed with the wrong people and someone's here to take a car. Right, get behind the glass. So glad this is bulletproof. There's one guy coming into the store. All right, let's get him. Come on, bam, he's down. All right, beautiful. There's two of them down. How many more are left? Hey, guys, give it up. You're dealing with Simeon. There goes nothing. I'm gonna run through on the reload. Three, two, one. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, <laughs> target down. Oh, my days, there's another guy literally at the front door. Go on, I dare you. I dare you. No one messes with Simeon. Even that's bulletproof. What? <laughs> Who sent you, mister? You stole a car. What do you expect? Ugh. Oh, I, I stole that car. That would make sense. Mm, yeah, Simeon, you can't just go around stealing anyone's car. <laughs> but it, it says rescue Franklin. Ooh, that's smart. I, I gotta go to where he was taken. All right, that's not too far away. That's just at the other side of Los Santos. We do have a two-star wonder level, so we could do with moving, like, now. Have you got a nice car, Simeon? Like, something we can drive? Oh, hang on a second. There's one here. Oh, 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 beautiful. Jump in, buddy. We're driving this, and we're rescuing Franklin. I have never saved Franklin with Simeon. This is a first for everything right now. Simeon actually seems to care. Why does he care? Has anything happened to his house yet? I can hear a lot of construction but I can't see too much. Anyway, the Franklin was taken, like, right around here. This is one of the guys who took him. Looks like he's waiting around in case he's needed. Right, this is actually really good. I'm gonna find out where they took him. Hey, mister! You mess with the wrong people! Now go on, put the phone away, and get on the floor, and tell me, where have they taken my friend Franklin? I'll never tell you! Never! Oh, yeah? What if I, uh, you know, try and make this a bit easier for you? Oh, there goes your knee! Tell me, where's Franklin? Oh! Oh, you monster! Fine, he's in the apartment down Vinewood. Where's that? Oh, oh, just, just right there. All right, thanks, 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 game. Thanks for letting me know. I'm gonna have to get him out the road. Don't want anyone to see this. Simeon's prints are all over him. What if I hide him in Franklin's neighbor's bush? Yeah, fantastic idea, Simeon. And you are now Franklin's neighbor's problem. <laughs> yeah. Right, let's get moving. I got Franklin's location. I'm gonna storm in there, and we are going to get him good. And there it is, that green building. So Franklin is in there, apparently. There is only one way to find out. Jump out, Simeon, and let's rescue him. Oh, Franklin. Franklin's gonna have to owe Simeon after this. I mean, let's be honest. Why else would Simeon want to rescue him? Give us the money. Yep, he's in there. He's definitely in there. All right, guys, gentlemen, let's just put everything away for a second. Franklin, you're safe. Everything's fine. Oh, jeez. Franklin, help me. Help me out for a second. <laughs> 
Franklin? Wow, that was crazy. You're okay, though. Come on, Franklin. We gotta get out of here. The police are on their way. Is this a two-seater? Is It's a one-seater. Are you serious? Well, this is awkward. Franklin, we need another car. Oh, yes, a taxi. That's perfect. Franklin, we're taking the taxi. They will never suspect a thing. It's me and Franklin getting away from the scene. Quick, Franklin. Quick, quick, quick. Get in, get in. Go, 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 go. All right, it looks like we just managed to escape. I'm gonna hide in here, and I don't want you to draw any attention to us. Yay! We're back as Franklin. I can't believe it. Simeon actually saved me. You owe me, Frank. Oh, here we go. I knew it was coming. And what do I have to do for you, Simeon? I need you to find a car. It was taken from me this morning. That would explain why there were people in his store. And what if I say no, Simeon? You die. Oh, well, that's not much of a choice. Well, you know what, Simeon? I'm feeling generous today. I will happily do this job for you. Let's go and retrieve this car. I can't believe I'm doing this. Franklin, you do realize we could just, you know, not do this mission. We could deal with Simeon another time. Oh, boy. That's where the car is. So, you know those guys in the store? I have a feeling they have something to do with this car. Maybe that's why they were there. You know what? I'm doing it. Simeon, say Franklin. I'm gonna do him a favor. I'm a little bit nervous. Not gonna lie. Is there anyone there? Careful. Oh, my days. Yeah, there's a lot of people. I wonder if they're friendly. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hey, gentlemen. Can I take a car from you guys? Okay, they're definitely... Okay, they're not friendly. They are now shooting me. All right, you know the drill, Frank. Let's spray and pray <laughs> like we have never done before. Quickly, more. Oh my days, there's so many of them. Give me a break. Right, that's it. I'm gonna have to throw some uh, stickies. They will do. Yep, Franklin, just reload. Yep, that's cool. It's not like this guy's approaching on us. Right, three, two, one, lob it, and boom. <laughs> Suckers, screw you. Boom. Oh, I missed him. One second, and that's on his feet. All right, this is actually going pretty well. We got basically three of them down. There's another guy over there. Fantastic. Anyone else want to try and say hello? Oh, no, the police are coming. All right, frankly, quick, get in. All right, hide in one of these boxes. I'll wait for the police to pass. Okay, I've lost the one to level. Time to begin exploring. Put the gun away. There's an officer outside. All right. <laughs> hey, officer, how crazy was this, right? Okay, can I go inside here? Okay, that room is locked officially. What about in here, then? Hello? Anything? Okay, just some foods and supplies. What about in this one? There's so many garages. Which one has the car. Not that one. That is totally empty. All right, let's go with this one then. Second on the left. I think oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I got it. This has to be the car which Simeon was after. Oh, no. It's locked. It's locked. I got I got to find the key. Not this again. Okay, the key has to be in one of these garages. Let's check out this one first. Franklin, anything? No, no key in there. What about in this one? Anything? Oh, jeez. Nothing in here. Just a bunch of vehicle parts. What about in here? Still just a workshop. I wonder what they're making in this one. This is pretty interesting. They even have like a bandsaw. All right, what about in here then? Hello? Oh, beautiful. The key. Amazing. All right, grab the key, Frank. So this is where they're sleeping, I suppose. Yep, pretty cold place to sleep. This is crazy, though. There's so many different garages. I'm going to have to come back here another time and just loot up the whole place. But right now, I got the car, and that's all I need. The question is, was this the right key? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on, please, please. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. So this, believe it or not, is the Apollo Arrow. It's a one of a kind. No wonder why Simeon wants it back. The value of this car is probably the most valuable he's ever had in his store. I'm not even kidding. It's gold. It's got a solid spoiler on the back. Look at those wheels as well. They are high-tech, high-performance wheels. Very low-frame bumper. I mean, the whole vehicle is kind of shaped like an arrow, too. And believe it or not, a vehicle of this caliber is actually electric. That explains why you can go so fast. And the control on it is really good. The exhaust spit out double flames. Check that out. No, quad flames. There's four different exhausts. <laughs> Top speed of 300 miles an hour. Ventilation everywhere. This entire vehicle was meant for aerodynamics. You know who's gonna love this ride? Simeon. And maybe on another day, I might just visit his store and buy it back. But for now, this will have to do. Simeon, this is even Stevens, and this is a way of me saying thank you for saving me earlier. Well, that was fun. I found a brand new car, which I didn't even realize exists. Oh, wait, why is the prison calling me? Do I accept this call? Hello? You are receiving a call from the Los Santos prison. Do you wish to accept? Yes? Ah, uh, Frank, there you are. Can you get me out? T, is that you? Hey, I'm sorry, man, but I'm busy today. I can't help you out. Well, that's a shame. Watch your back. You're going to need to. Watch my back? What does he mean? What in the world is going... Oh, Franklin, run, 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 run! Oh, jeez, they're chasing me! Okay, Trevor has sent, like, an army of people after me. Hey, guys, chill out! Are you kidding me, Trevor? All right, I, I literally don't even think I got a choice right now. I think I gotta help him get out of prison. They got guns! All right, that's it. I'm gonna shoot them. Oh, jeez, they're going after me. Okay, run, run! <laughs> 
<laughs> this is no good. All right, maybe I can like hide on these containers. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, we just jump down here. Jump down here, Frank. Quick, get down, get down this crack. Come on, this is crazy, dude. Okay, I'll be safe in here for now. Jeez, please don't come down here. Please. You see me? He's shooting. Okay, this place isn't safe either. I'm gonna have to keep running. Down into the construction site we go. Hey, guys, can you give me a break for a second? I'm gonna phone Trevor, okay? <laughs> How many people did he send after me? Why didn't he send them after the prison to get him out? His logic goes way beyond my thinking. Right, I think we're safe here for now. Just to make at least one quick phone call. I didn't like that at all. All right, let's phone up the prison and get in touch with T. Hey, Trevor, I'll get you out. Just tell them to go away. Thanks. Wasn't that hard? Yeah, guys, I'm gonna save your friend. All right, I'll see you later. Can you, can you stop following me? They're just gonna follow me to the prison now. I've got an idea, and if we can pull this off, the prison break will be so easy. If I can take the police helicopter from the station, we'll be able to fly into the prison undetected and unnoticed. The hard part, however, is getting the helicopter. But maybe if we charm our way into the police station... Wait, there, there's, there's no one here. Well, that was the easiest plan ever. Come on, Franklin. Let's go into the helicopter. <laughs> Must be something really bad happening in Los Santos. Roof access? Where's the... Oh, there it is. Attention! Oh, What's going on? Oh, police training. Oh, my days. Okay. <laughs> Don't move a muscle, Frank. I'm going to have to take them all out. Three, two, one. Hey, officers. Sorry about this. You gotta go. Oh, my days. Get the helicopter. Get the helicopter. Get the helicopter, Franklin. Go. Really sorry for the inconvenience. Can, I, can you let me go, please? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Well, it's smoking a little bit, but that's all right. I got the helicopter and we're getting out of here. Okay. It doesn't sound too good. Admittingly, there is a beeping noise going on inside, but I think we got just enough power to get to the prison. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna pretend I'm just a simple police helicopter. Oh my days. Okay, they're shooting me. They're shooting me. Uh, apparently, it doesn't matter if it's a police helicopter or not. All right, Trevor, uh, I'm guessing that's you. Land it. Land it, Franklin. <laughs> land the helicopter quickly. Trevor, get in. Mom, we haven't got all day to you. Get in the helicopter. No, no, no. Come on, get in. Get in, get in. They're closing in. Okay, go, 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 go. Ay, that was crazy. But we're out of there. Fantastic. Wait, wait, Trevor, what are you doing? Get out of the heli. No, Trevor. No, no, <laughs> Trevor, what are you? Oh my days. Franklin, I got kicked out of the helicopter. No, they shot my parachute. Ah! Franklin? Franklin? No, 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 no. Come on, let me out of here. Ah, oh, my days. Guys, Trevor did the unthinkable. I rescued him and he kicked me out of the helicopter, leaving me no choice but to land in the prison. My legs really hurt too. That was quite the landing. Come on, let me out, mister. Let me out. You got a lot of nerve kicking that door. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm getting out of this prison, whether it's the last thing I do. Good luck with that. You're surrounded. I don't need luck. I need likes. Do you guys see that too? Is this really how it works? Um, well, guys, can you press like on this video? I want to see what happens when you do. Hey, man, I will escape. I, I, I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll, I'll jump onto the ceiling. I'll climb up the wall. Quick, guys, like. I'm trying to buy his time. I don't know how much time we got. Oh, come on. I'm getting hungry too. Hey, what's for dinner? None of your business. You don't get dinner. Wait, these guys are going to starve me as well. Keep liking. It's not going away. This is really making me feel a bit tense. Hey, okay, what about, what about breakfast, huh? What have I got for breakfast? For breakfast, you got banana skins. What? How, you can't even eat them. Yes, you can. Now you take one step closer and you're dead. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, stop moving. I'll stay like this, mister. What do you want? Wait, it's, it's, it's get him. I can get him. No way. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys, we got him. Thank you so much for liking the video. Right, I've got his gun. Let's get his keys, too. I'll be taking those keys. Thank you. And I'll be breaking out of prison. What are you looking at, eh? Yeah, don't tell the officers anything. Right, quick, Franklin, get up these steps. Get up these steps. High ground is good ground. Remember, you see any officers, you take them out on sight, Franklin. I'm not dealing with any luck or chances. What's this? Oh, beautiful. Another gun. All right, this is going to come in handy. <laughs> oh, no, the sirens are going off. Officers are looking for me. Well, you're gonna have to look a bit harder, guys, because <laughs> you just got completely old. Okay, let me go over here. Nice. The front gate is just down here. All right, Franklin, jump down. Ow! Jeez, not on your head, Franklin. Okay, through here. Nice. Grab the officer, and I'll be stealing your car. Thank you. I'll be driving straight out of here. And the gate is open. <laughs> they left the gate open for me. Thank you very much, officers. That was hands down the easiest escape ever. And now I'm in a police car. We will remain undetectable. Oh, Trevor, better watch his back now. How dare he? I got him out of prison and he kicked me out of the helicopter. Never has anyone been so rude to me in the GTA universe. Oh, speak of the devil. You got a lot of nerve calling me, T. Let me make it up to you. Win a game of golf. I'll give you a million bucks. 
Lose. And it's even. Game of golf, eh? I reckon I can do that. I'm not exactly risking anything. After all, I could do with the money. Franklin's still got zero dollars. How am I gonna buy some supercars or, even better, a new suit? I'm prepared this time, T. If you try and stitch me up again, it'll be the last thing you do. Relax. It'll be fine. Let's go play some golf. Yeah, let's go play some golf. I don't even know how good Trevor is at golf. All I know is that this is an opportunity to get a free million dollars, which we could really do with since we still have no money. After everything he did, I still don't know if I can trust him. Which way is the wind blowing, Franklin? If we win this hole, we get a million bucks. All right, spin it to the right. Okay, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, give it a whack. Perfect shot there, Frank. Avoid the sand, avoid the sand. Don't go in the... Oh, I couldn't get any closer than that. 248 yards. Franklin, we'll take it. That's not bad. How's T gonna do? Right, send it, send it, send it. And not bad from Trevor. That's basically in line with mine. I think it's in a better spot as well. Okay, this is tense. Okay, I think maybe if we send it there. Is that gonna get stuck in the tree? Okay, I'm just gonna risk it. Three, two, one. Another perfect shot. Not stuck in the tree. Beautiful. Stay out of the sand. Everything's fine. We're one shot away from the green. How's Trevor gonna do? Okay, that's actually a perfect shot. That is really close. It's in a better spot than mine. Trevor is giving me a good run for my money. What was that? What was that, T? What was that? What was that? Oh, my days. Okay, he's getting it in on the next one. 100%. Franklin, we need to get a good shot on this. All right, that's going a little bit forward. I think maybe if we whack it like that. Practice swing. Practice swing. Happens to the pros all the time. Over the sand on the green. There's the flag. What do you know? Well done. Thank you. I need that. <laughs> Go on, Trevor. Let's see what you can do. Oh, is that, buddy? That was literally over the hole. I actually think I've got this in the bag. I don't know. Oh, that was too That was too powerful. Ah, oh, my days. Come on. You know what? I think we're fine. I think everything's fine. Sure, I got it in on par. What's T going to do? Is this par as well? Please don't be par. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah. We have 100% beaten Trevor by one shot. If you didn't miss that, we would be going on to the second hole. But T, a deal's a deal. Give me my million bucks. Everything will be forgiven from then on. Fine, take your money. Thanks, Trevor. Now get out of my sight. I got a million dollars in the bank, and that's the builders. Hey, guys, is it ready? It's ready, all right. Swing by the house when you're free. Why, I will. I'm so excited. Ow! <laughs> As I was saying, I can't wait to see what they've done to the place. A decillion dollar house upgrade. Are you ready? Well, I'm not surprised that my house looks the same. They've done this for the past two upgrades. The Octillionaire and the non Octillionaire upgrade. Well, we're looking for clues because these guys are terrible at telling me what they've done. Maybe they've done something to this place. What about around here? No, these upgrades, I think they're just too big for this house, which kind of makes sense. I am asking for a lot. Now, last time at the end of this corridor, they dug a huge hole, which isn't there now. What about in my bedroom? Okay, my bedroom's fine. What about my back garden, eh? The one that nobody goes to and still no one's going there. Yep, still empty. There is nothing going on here. Oh, my days. This is so tricky. Where do they put the upgrade? I need to make sure they tell me what they've done before they leave. What about next to Chop's kennel? Nope, nothing. Literally nothing there. <sighs> my garage? Maybe there's something going on in here. Please, please, please. Okay, the garage door is locked. Oh, for good reason too. I found it. Okay, that's quite the hole down there. I don't even know what's down there, but we ain't got a choice. Let's see where this goes to. Well, this is by far the tightest tunnel I've been in. Jeez, look at this. And oh my days, there's so much rubbish down here. Oh, wait a second. What's this? Why is there poop in my tunnel? This is going to be a decillionaire luxury upgrade. Wait, there's, there's a turning. There's two. Which way do I go? This way or... Okay, I'm going to go this way first. Oh, wait a second. Okay, it says go up. Amazing. Okay, let's see where this is. Whoa, I'm in an elevator. This is quite a big lift. Where is this taking me to? Uh, oh, hang on a second. <gasps> wait a minute, dude. I got a penthouse. This is the penthouse I asked for. <laughs> And it comes with a supercar. Okay, that's actually insane. Okay, let's check out the rest of this penthouse. So I got a swimming pool with the downtown Los Santos views. I got my own fireplace. I even got friends in here with a huge sofa and an even bigger photo. That is massive. Oh, my days. Hey, what's through this door, though? I want to check out what we got through here. Oh, my own gym. This is awesome. A huge TV screen and my own basketball court. So this is another games room with a cinema room next door. That's crazy. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is isn't the whole thing. This is just the penthouse. Do you remember at the start when I told them, make me the penthouse and the upgrade? Yeah, there's another thing. That probably explains multiple tunnels, but this is, uh, this is my bar. All right, dining table. Cool. Another kitchen. Wow. And out here is my helipad. But believe it or not, there's even more to this penthouse. That's insane. Such as even more friends. What's up, guys? I love the green. A mezzanine floor to look over. Anyone down there? Or a master bedroom right next to the office where they're, oh, they're actually playing GTA. That's 
that's pretty cool. Got a PlayStation 5 down there. Franklin, we're gonna kick back and relax later, but first, we need to see the whole picture. And the whole picture can be seen in this bedroom. King size, maybe even a California bed. Wait, is that a glass floor? It is? Oh, no way. Glass floor to the swimming pool. That's crazy. And there's another glass floor connecting this to that. Is this another bedroom? I think it is. Yeah, it's another bedroom, dude. Okay, this is an awesome penthouse, but I want to see the rest of this upgrade. So, Franklin, get back in that tunnel and let's go and check out the house. So, that was the penthouse. Really interesting. But where will this tunnel system take us to next? Whoa, mystery door with enjoy. I like that. Now, that sounds interesting. All right, let's go in. Wait a minute. I think I recognize this place. Oh, no. No, it is. Do you remember the Octillionaire house? I think they've done some upgrades to it. <laughs> they have. I did not have this many cars last time. Remember, guys, that's the door which I came through, and then I went straight to the waterfall. Oh, this is literally so weird. Have they given me the same thing? Okay, I gotta check out what else they've done. There's an airport, different planes. This time, okay, that's interesting. Oh my days, a tennis court. They gave me a tennis court. We didn't have this last time. Okay, this is awesome. This kind of makes up for the fact it's kind of the same house. I wanna check out what planes are on my runway, actually, before we uh, do anything else. These planes look way better. <laughs> Check these out, dude. They got missiles and turrets underneath the wings. Right, okay, this is not your ordinary plane. Thank you very much, guys. You know exactly what I want. Just from down here, this house looks incredible. Give me two hours, I'll be on that lilo, drinking my hand, swimming around, resting, and enjoying the view of Los Santos, all whilst getting a tan. Did I even go inside this house last time? I don't think I did, actually. There's a grand piano, amazing spot staircase and the bathrooms don't even get me started on them these are insane so this is actually really cool i'm really happy with this upgrade wait can i see the penthouse from here i think it was like was it on that tower is that where it is no it's not on that one where did they put the penthouse is it there yeah there it is that's the penthouse there's the helipad over there there's the decoration awesome i can see the penthouse from here so i don't just get one i get two properties for this upgrade i get my own airport my own supercars and my own penthouse and secret tunnel system to escape from the police whenever I need to, which will actually come in quite handy. But if the police are too much of a problem, I also have these. B-11 Strike Force. <laughs> I love the sound of that. Alright, can we set off and not go in my neighbor's house? Here we go. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Alright, nice! We took off successfully. Bring the wheels up. Fantastic. Okay, that's awesome. That's officially amazing. I have a machine gun turret. I have barrage missiles, which means I can send like a million of them. <laughs> And wait a second, explosive MG rounds. All right, this plane is officially the king. I'm in a zombie apocalypse, and I'm the richest person in the world. This is my mansion. It did look nice, but I've been here for 30 days waiting for somebody to pick me up. And guess what? No one's coming. Check this out. There's nothing on the radio. Nothing. Usually there's like an SOS or a broadcast signal, but no one is saying anything. My garden is littered with zombies, and a week ago, a plane crashed into my swimming pool. I have to go down there because... Because my car key was annoyingly left in the fire pit. But I got a car in my garage. If I can get my hands on the key, I can drive myself to safety in my luxury supercar stored in my garage outside. I'm running out of food and supplies, so I haven't got a choice right now. Otherwise, I would spend another week and keep my fingers crossed that someone will come to save me. We have a pretty good supply of weapons, just enough to get ourselves through the apocalypse. And being the richest man has its perks. I got fast cars, luxury helicopters, and really far away is my own luxury yacht. But I'm gonna try and get a helicopter first, and if we can, fly to my private island. How's it looking out here? It looks pretty good to me. All right, keep moving, Frank. Keep moving. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna use a shotgun. This thing is gonna do some more damage close up. Whoa, this is crazy. This is the first time I've actually come face to face to a zombie. And they don't know I'm here. They can't hear me. That's so weird. I think they might be blind. What? They're just going around in circles. Okay, do I shoot them? I'm gonna see if I can sneak past them. I mean, the last thing I wanna do is make some noise and disturb them. Oh, stay away from me. Stay away from me. I'm just gonna go out this way, thank you. Into my garden. Oh, no. No, they can hear me. They're coming over. All right, Franklin, we got this. Just don't let them bite you, buddy. You know the rules in a zombie apocalypse. If they bite you, then you might just become a zombie, too. All right, they're stuck behind the glass. That's good. They're in the swimming pool. I can't believe it. There's zombies in my swimming pool. All right, get to that key. You know what sucks? Is my own helicopter got destroyed, too. I don't exactly know how. It just exploded one night. Yes, there it it's beautiful. Grab it, Frank. Now I got the car key. I can get to the garage, but I gotta go through these guys first. Ugh, they're in my kitchen. Come on. I shouldn't have left the windows open. I've been locked in my bedroom for 30 days. I haven't even dared.
scared to go downstairs. I took my supplies to get everything I needed, even a pile of cash. Really hoping somebody would come. Okay, I'm not going through the kitchen. There's even more zombies coming that way. I'm gonna go through the sides. Come on, run, run, run. Oh, my days, explosions. There's explosions happening in my swimming pool. I have no idea what caused them. Come on, go, 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 go. How does it look around there? Oh, no, there's even more of them. They must be drawn to the noise. All right, Franklin, what else have we got? Oh, MG, this ought to do the trick. Come on, zombies. Give me all your guts. Come on, Franklin, come on. We're not turning into a zombie today. I'm getting to my helicopter, and we're getting out of here. Perfect, clear the way to the garage. Oh, my days, they're getting closer. They're getting closer. Reload, reload. Come on. All right, get the guy with the afro. Him. There's a few more left. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, now there's this guy. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place, but is my car still here? Yes, it is. All right, I'll just be getting out of here. And believe it or not, my helicopter is on Maze Bank. If this is what my house looks like, what on earth is the rest of the world gonna look like? At least there's still electricity. I mean, it can't be that bad, right? There's gotta be survivors somewhere. There's an ambulance on the road, overturned cars. This is insane. This is right next to Michael's house. It probably explains why he didn't pick up. Not exactly looking nice around here, right? Hope he's okay. Oh my days. Can you imagine what it's like in the underground? There is no way. You can't pay me enough to go down there. <laughs> no way. Not in a million years. No way. This is the richest street in GTA 5. I buy my clothes from here, my necklaces, my bracelets. And oh no, 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 no. There's a couple of zombies on this street too. All right, let me just run this guy over quickly. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> really sorry. I think might just take a quick shortcut. There is no way I'm going through them. If I crash my car and it gets destroyed, I'm screwed. Supercars are not meant to go through zombies. Hey, hang on. Is that the jewelry store? No, I've got plenty of money. I'm not going in there. We could technically rob the jewelry store, though. <laughs> this place is so ruined. Okay, careful now. Down the steps. Down the steps. Careful. Careful. I don't want to get stuck. Don't want... Oh, no. 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 Come on. How have I done this? Guys, we got a bit of a problem. I'm stuck on the steps. This is why you don't take supercars off road. It's not exactly the best one for an apocalypse. Get away from my car. Come on. Come on. We gotta move the car off the. Seriously? This is so hard. There's more and more of them. Hey, stay back. Stay back. I got guns. I'm not afraid to use them. Can't even. Oh no, they're pushing the car up. Leave me alone. Franklin, um, this is not ideal. I can't even throw a bracelet at them either. They don't understand what gold is. Okay, go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm off the step. Now let's just get out of here. I don't want to be on the street anymore. Now I gotta find the front door, get into the tower, and go to the roof. Once we get the helicopter, we'll jump in, fly to my luxury island. It's gonna be a blast. Hey, if you survive the apocalypse, I might even invite you along as well. There's plenty of supplies. Looks pretty empty, though. This is great, actually. And there's the stairs. Okay, well, uh, I think I'll just leave the car here for now and head up to Maze Bank. Wow, this is mental. I hope it's not too bad inside the tower. I mean, they would have locked the doors. It would have been fine. There's no way zombies would be in there. Just keep your eyes peeled, Frank. You never know. There could be a zombie behind you, in front of you. You never know, buddy. There it is, Mace Bank, the entrance. We're going in. How on earth did a tree grow outside? Oh, easy. Easy. Only three of them. Two, three. Easy. Whew, that wasn't too bad. Check it out. Even the electricity is on in Maze Bank. That's great. Now we can take the lift or the stairs. I'm not stupid. I'm taking the stairs in the apocalypse. Come on. Maybe I won't take the stairs. There's a lot of zombies. It sounded like a lot of them. I think we'll take the elevator for now. I'll take my chances. I mean, the electricity's been on for a month, so it's not likely it's going to cut out when I'm in the lift. Oh, this is so scary. Two, three... Four. Is it gonna be this slow? Oh no, it's speeding up. It's speeding up. Come on, just get me there. Jeez, this is the most stressful elevator ride I've ever. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Oh no, no, no! The power just went off. Okay, I gotta climb up the shaft. That's a long way down. I am not taking my chances. How on earth am I gonna get to that door? Come on, there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. Come on, Frank. We got this. Whew. All right, I made it up to somebody's office. There's a stairway we can take from here. I'm sure of it, but I just want to take a look inside, see if I can find any survivors. Oh, wait, hang on. There's a tent. There's a tent. Yo, someone was in here. Maybe there are survivors. And any anything I can take, like any food? There's some glasses over there, too. Hang on. Do you hear that? It sounds like knocking. Let's try this out. Hello? Is there anyone in there? Hello? Anybody? Looks empty to me. I don't see anyone. How about in this room? Oh, my days. He's in the shower. There's someone in the shower. I gotta be careful, dude. Okay, don't do any exploring, Franklin. All right, let's get to the roof. Okay, I want to get the helicopter and get out of here. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can still hear them and they're above me. All right, we're gonna be fine. 
We're gonna be fine. I got luck on my side. I'm the richest man. No one screws with us. Oh, my days. I can see one, two. I can see three of them. I can see three of them. I would throw a grenade up there, but I don't even know if that's gonna stick. Oh, oh my days. Okay, there's way more than I thought. There's way more. Right, stay here. Stay no, come down here. These zombies are smart. They got good IQ. I'm not gonna come down these stairs. Come on, guys. Make it easy for me. Jeez. Right, go for that. Go over the head. Go over the head. Whatever you do, Franklin, make sure they don't bite you. Is he dead? Is that guy dead? I don't even know. I don't want them sliding down the stairs and biting me. There's even more of them. Okay, I am going to throw one sticky, and I'm going to put it right underneath them. That has to do something, right? Get down, get down, Franklin. Get down, get down. Get out of here, Franklin. Get out of here, dude. They're going to blow. All right, that's good. That's good. Three, two, one. That's got to have done something. It's got to have taken them out, please. Oh, yes, they're on fire. They're on fire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And now there's only one of them left. Oof. Well, that did a pretty good job of toasting them all. <laughs> hey, surprise! I've made it to the roof. I've done it! All right, come on. Get to the roof, Frank. And let's get the helicopter. Sunlight. Oh, I'm so glad to be back outside. Luckily, the door was locked, so I don't think there's going to be any zombies here. But you know what, guys? Once I get my helicopter, I'm going to do a flyover of Los Santos, see what's going on. And... Get to my luxury island. Where is... That's not right. It was... I, I left it here. I stole my helicopter here. There's even a little helicopter light. Did it fall off th this side or something? Did the wind blow it off? Oh, no. Somebody stole my helicopter. Don't worry. I have another one somewhere. It's not too far from... Oh, my days. I didn't lock the door. I didn't lock the door. There's a lot of them. Don't use that, Franklin. Use this. Come on. Bring it, zombies. Bring it. Well, I probably should have locked the door. How bad is it? Is it just these guys? I need to check this out. Please tell me. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, there's so many of them. I can shoot them through this. Great. Or I could parachute off. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna run around this side, parachute off. I have another helicopter. It's somewhere over there. See you later, suckers. You can't get me. You know what that means, though? My car, my beloved car. Do I take it or do I fly? I'm gonna fly over the city. You know, I'll take my chances. There'll be some other cars I can find. And this ought to get me pretty far anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming in, guys. Coming in. Duh. Check it out. This is a crash landing. Wait, I think I saw zombies. There is, but they don't see me. <laughs> what are they doing? Just walking into that? Oh, a car. Don't mind if I do. Frank, we may as well take a car. I mean, I don't have my supercar anymore, and this one's actually pretty nice. It's a Chevel Fugitive, and no, the engine doesn't work. And where did you guys suddenly come from? I didn't see you. Okay, not to worry. I can sort them out. There's only a couple of them. I do have guns. So, if only I knew this car didn't work before I got inside of it. Hey, where are you going to? Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I'm the richest man. You guys can't get me. All right, two more. Last guy, last guy. That's all of them, right? Okay, since I now don't trust these guys, I'm taking them out too. And that got them moving. It looks like they found more interesting food than just that door. My accuracy is terrible with that. I think we'll go back to using one of these, to be honest. All right, another lady over there. Perfect. Okay, so I can't cross over that, which means I need to find a way around here because my helicopter is at the other side. And wait, why are there containers? Hang on, is this a survivor's base? Someone put those containers there. Okay, I'm going inside. If there are, maybe we can team up with a few people. It might help us get that helicopter. Okay, I've got this. It's got a torch. It'll come in handy. Oh, this doesn't look like a survival base, but this is the only way around. I gotta go through here to get to the other side. Look at all these butterflies and, like, insects. That's crazy. Oh, no, I can already hear zombies in here, dude. Okay, I just want to get to my helicopter. Friendly passerby here. Friendly passerby. Dude, I know what this is. This is the factory. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. So much food! Franklin, grab everything you can. So I got a bag of dog food now. That's actually great. I don't care what it is. I can eat it and it's gonna keep us alone. Oh, my days. Okay, we got some some zombies. That's more than just some. It's a whole horde of them. That's the military. But that would explain why no one came to save me. Oh my days, they're actually getting pretty close. You guys just not for a second. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, Frank, go back up here for a minute. We got a bit of company. Yeah, just a little bit of company. Ooh. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back, I tell you. Stay back. Wait, hang on. Oh my days, they're behind me. They're behind me too. This was a death trap. This was a death trap, Franklin. Uh, uh, okay. Oh my days, they're literally next to me. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Hey, can you guys just back off for a second? Oh my goodness. How are you not dead? How is that guy not dead? You're still alive? Get on the ground and stay on the ground. Yo, these guys are wearing gas masks and they still became zombies. They must have been bitten. Oh, oh my days. Okay, he came out of nowhere. I just realized there's a bunch of like animals just hanging here like this. This is a meat factory. It's so overgrown. I could walk through a bush and then encounter another zombie. This is still running. They still have the conveyor belt. And I can see a truck. Yes, a truck. Please work, please. Oh, yo, there's a zombie in the back of this truck too. I am so driving this with the zombie. I don't 
I see smoke coming out the front. I think we might be all right. Come on. Yes, it works. All right, me and you, Mr. Zombie, we're going for a little ride together. I got a zombie in the back of my truck. That actually looks pretty nice around here. It's not abandoned. It's not overgrown. There's no containers or random smashed vehicles. It's like the apocalypse never happened around here. My helicopter's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Speaking of which, I can see my helicopter. It's there. It's there. <laughs> we're getting out of here. I was getting quite fond of this zombie as well. I thought we'd be friends. It's gonna be sad to leave this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been such a crazy adventure. And there it is, my helicopter. Okay, bear with me, zombie. It's gonna be a bumpy ride up here. Over the pipes. Wow, he's still in. This guy's got crazy balance. <laughs> I didn't think it would still be in the truck. Can we get a comment for the zombie right now? This guy's literally carrying the show. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get the helicopter and get out of here to my luxury island. Do -do 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 let's just keep moving, shall we? Don't look down, Franklin. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it on fire? No, 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 no. Come on, come on, Franklin. I can't get in. I can't get in. It's on fire. How did this thing go on fire? Come on. Okay, we better stand back. I don't know if it's going to explode or not. I don't know how long it's been on fire for. But guys, um, now I'm basically surrounded by a couple of zombies. So this isn't exactly ideal. Both of my helicopters are destroyed. Which means I have no choice but to go across the entire world to get to my luxury yacht. You know what? I'm actually kind of excited for that. Because I got a, a friend right now. This guy, I'm going to call him Gareth. And we are going to traverse the world of zombies. With a zombie by my side. Alright, how's it looking down there? Yeah, we got one guy. I think we can just about dodge him. That was risky. And that's the lot of them. All right, buddy, you're with me. We are going to have such a crazy adventure together. And I really hope my yacht is there because if it's not, we are going to be so screwed. At least my luxury yacht has its own defense system. So if anyone tries to steal that thing, they will literally be incinerated. I can't even get through this though. Come on, can we? Jeez, oh, this truck's too big. I don't want to say goodbye to this truck. I've made a friend. It's not happening. Come on. Okay, what if we just go really fast? These cars, they're like blue to the ground. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Really fast, really fast. Oh, seriously? Sorry, buddy. I'm just trying to get through here. Just bear with me. Get me out of the city. Yes! Whew, wow. It goes on. It goes... The whole world's like this. Okay, that bridge, I got a really bad feeling that that bridge might even fall down. So just all oh, these buses. I will do whatever I can to get this truck out of here. I'm not kidding, I will. This is where Trevor lives. He's definitely not alive. No way. The whole place is, is ruined. Hey, man, I, there's only space for one in the back. You can't get in, all right? It's just this guy. <laughs> now, there's a lot of cars over here. I could go over something a bit nicer. Let's just keep moving, all right? I'm going to ignore these rides, even though there's like... Oh, no, no, come on! No, he came out! Okay, well, I can't get him back in. <laughs> there's no way I can. He... <sighs> Fine, I'll get a better car. Let's go over this 4x4 four four thing over here. It looks way better. I don't even know if I can drive this through this tunnel. There's, there's too many things. It's not like one or two cars I gotta dodge. I gotta dodge an entire traffic jam. I'm gonna try it out anyway. This is a 4x4. Four four. Some of these cars have been crushed. Come on. Come on. It's not It's not happening. I'm gonna... Okay, one last attempt. Let's go over this guy. Perfect and... Oh, great. Okay, that's a perfect wedge. I, I gotta leave... The, I gotta leave it. This is a nice ride too, but I gotta leave it. Well, at least we know that... Yeah, if I kept the truck, there is no way I could have carried on with that zombie. But this place is a mess. There's drips coming from the ceiling. There's a ton of cars. There's got to be at least 100 of them in this tunnel. Oh, no, we're not alone. Of course we're not. In a tunnel like this, there's bound to be zombies anywhere. But these guys are from the military base too. You know what I'm thinking? I think to this, I might break into the military base. They might have a tank, which I might be able to take. And something tells me these guys aren't gonna stop me going in. Well, they've got the gates closed, which is a bad sign or a good sign. Can I get through the gates? Are they gonna open for me? No, these gates are locked shut. I need to find another way in. Managed to find a way in, and now we're in the military base. If they do exist, then we could die right here, right now. I haven't even found any survivors, so I really don't think they do exist. I'm kind of glad they did have the gates closed. There's no zombies. This is beautiful. Please work. Please work. Please work. If this tank works, we're going to survive. 100% guarantee. Oh, yes, baby. It works. <laughs> I got a tank and a zombie apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is actually too crazy now. This is too overpowered. Let's go to police obey and grab my yacht. Hey. <laughs> Another nice little sound effect there. You're alive? Are you kidding? I just ran him over. Let me do that again. I'm going to run him over with the track over the tank. Like, there is no way anyone would survive that. You see this thing? Straight over him. Straight over. This is a 10-ton vehicle. And he's still walking. Okay, these zombies are something else. There's something else. 
You gotta survive that. Oh my days, this helicopter, the first survivor, and they crashed into the base. Right, we're just not meant to find people. <laughs> Sucks to be you guys. Check it out. I got the plan right. <laughs> you guys did. All right, let's go to Polito Bay. I want to get my yacht and get out of here. Yo, this is mad. Like, what happened in the middle of this? Is that a monster truck? Okay, that guy had, had the best idea. A monster truck and a zombie apocalypse. Whoop, got a couple of zombies in the alleyway. <laughs> you guys got to go. Eesh. All right, that's pretty bad. Eesh, wouldn't want to be them. What in the world is going on here? Oh, they were building something. I'm pretty sure it was new flats. No, no flats anymore. No more flats. Now, my yacht should be just over this hill. Please be there. Please, please, please. I want to get out of here. I have traveled the entire world. There it is. There it is. It's still there. <laughs> yes. All right, let me deal with these guys first. I will be straight on board. I missed that boss. And that was so much easier using a tank. If, why didn't I get one of these sooner, buddy? You're the richest man. And I am leaving this place for good. And there's nobody in here. Fantastic. All right, set the location to my luxury island. See you later, Los Santos. It's been a pleasure. And can you blame me when you have a private island? There's enough supplies on here to last me for two years. We can spend a lifetime on this island and never have to leave. Home at last. We're going to be fine here, Franklin. I got a golden jet, my own soccer field, and a luxury mansion. Even the weather's nicer. This place is amazing. Franklin's dead. We were hanging out. He went to the toilet, and bang, somebody took him out. So I ran upstairs and went into the bathroom, and oh, Franklin, someone took him out. It was a mess inside, but immediately, Michael ran straight onto the roof to find out who did it. Looks like they fled through the bathroom window. And to my surprise, I saw three people. Simeon Lester, who is hiding behind a tree, and Trevor, who was running away. But before I could do something, Franklin started talking to me. Mike, can you hear me? Yes, Frank, I can. Tell me who did this. I'll catch them for you and take him out. It was... Yes, yes, Franklin, tell me, tell me. It was... No, wake up. Tell me, Franklin, tell me. But he died before he could tell me who did this. So I ran back outside to catch those three people and Trevor's gone. So's Lester. And believe it or not, Simeon left as well. It looks like they ran away the moment they had a chance. So I dragged him out of the bathroom before Jimmy and Tracy came home and buried Franklin in my garden. But before I buried him, I looked in his pockets and found this note. It's a to-do list. I have one. I'm sure many of you guys do, but it Interestingly, Franklin owed Lester some money. And if there's anything I know about Lester, is that he can't be trusted. And it's the only task he hasn't yet done. So I gave Franklin the burial he deserved and jumped straight into my car. Except Michael's car was missing. Amanda must have taken it today. She sometimes does that when she wants to impress people. So instead, I took Tracy's car. Don't tell her. And as long as we bring it back by five o'clock, then we'll avoid a big argument tonight. But now we're driving to Lester's house because I know he did it. Franklin owed him money and whenever you owe Lester money, you don't make it out alive. I know that for a fact and many of you guys know that too. Lester has guilty all over his face. But before I get to his house, there's one place I need to visit first. I would like to buy everything in the store. We can't let Lester get away with this. <laughs> I mean, nobody takes out Franklin. Oh, that's gonna come in nicely and so is this. May as well go for something a bit short and sweet as well and yep, may as well go for one of those. Or something a bit better with a bit more kick. How about a sniper too? <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Grenade launcher, yes. Rocket launcher, we gotta get one of those. And I haven't forgotten, I know, minigun. This will grab just a couple of grenades just in case. And oh, haven't forgotten about these stickies. And right next to them is the proximity mine. We can put these down and trap Lester inside his own house. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that collection. Now let's go and pay Lester a visit. He is going down. No one takes out Franklin without my permission. He is the most popular and most loved character in the GTA universe. And Lester taking him out has just ruined his character for me. Is that music? Guys, take a listen. Can you hear that? I think Lester's having a party in there. Is that definitely coming from his house? I've never heard Lester play music before. I didn't even think he likes music. I don't believe Lester's in there partying away. Why would he be dancing? Unless he took the money Franklin owed him. Okay, before we break in, I want to take a look through the window. Maybe we can spy at what's going on in there. Let's see, that one's barred up, that one's barred up. Wow, Lester really takes precautions. He doesn't like anyone looking in. All right, there's got to be a window we can look through. Oh, here we go. We'll look through this one. <gasps> 
Do you see that? There's money all over the floor. Lester is definitely guilty at this point. He's got the money, he's celebrating with some music, and he was at my house when Franklin was killed. Okay, that's it. I'm breaking inside, and I am gonna have fun doing this. <laughs> Lester, open up. I'm going in. I'm going in. Lester, get on the ground. Cut the music out. You're coming with me. Why do you kill Franklin, Lester? Why do you do it? Switch the music off. I don't care about the music. What? Uh, Mike? Uh, what are you doing? I know what you did, Lester. You may as well spill it out. Why do you do it? Why do you take Frank out? What? Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I do that? Oh, come on, Lester. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna start intimidating him now. Lester, you better start talking because things are gonna get painful real soon. Mm -hmm. Lester, is there someone else in here? Uh, no. I don't believe you, Lester. Who else is in here? I can hear someone around the bank. <gasps> oh, my days. Lamar. What? Lester, don't move. Don't move. Why? Okay, he he's kidnapped Lamar. He's got money around him, and he was celebrating. Lester, you better have a good reason on why this is on your floor. Okay, I'm putting so many pieces together. You, you took Lamar in, found Franklin's location, which was my house tonight. You took him out, took his money, and, and, and now you're celebrating because you finally got the money you wanted. Lester, you're going down, okay? You better give me a good reason why I don't take you out right now. He owed me 50 bucks. I promise. Look. Wait. Wait, uh, what? He, he played a game of... Since when does Franklin play chess? This was last night. We had a game and I won. Now he needs to pay me. 50... Dollars. Wait a second. Good. Is is that possible? Why would Franklin owe Lester 50 bucks? Lester, okay, explain this. Why were you at my house this morning? I was following Simeon. S Simeon likes cars and I like money. I usually take them from him afterwards. Okay, well prove it. If you really were following Simeon, let's go to his store. And I want you to tell me right now what cars are in his store. Two red cars and your car. I think it was blue. <gasps> that would explain why my car wasn't in the garage this morning. Because Simeon... Me on took it. All right, Lester, you're coming with me. I'm not letting you out of here until I know you're innocent. Kind of. Uh, Lamar, get out of here. Take the money with you. What? No! Yes, Lester, come on with me. You're lucky I'm keeping you alive for now. Could it be that Lester's telling the truth? I mean, he seems mighty guilty, but maybe that beef was between him and Lamar, and Franklin really did owe him $50. He did, I promise. Uh, Lester, be quiet. These are my own thoughts. I'm speaking to my audience right now. They're making a judgment, too. I know you guys are, and I'm pretty sure all of us think Lester's guilty. I mean, if I took him out today, no one would miss him. <laughs> Let's be honest. Lester's crazy. I can still hear you. It's not happening. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Lester. We'll see. You better be right about Simeon's store. Two red cars and mine, which was, in fact, blue. Lester is right about that. If I were him, I would be really nervous. Simeon is an unpredictable man. Well, Lester, the moment of truth. Let's see if you're right about this. We're at Simeon's store, and if he's wrong, you're dead. Wait, I think he might be right. See, I told you. Two red Red, one blue. Two red cars. Let me go inside, take a double look at this. Two red cars, one blue. And that is my car. Are you kidding? Let me just take a look at the number plate. Is that definitely? Yeah, guys, that's Mike's car. Mike, Lich, Mike's car. It's, it's my car. Simeon, you stole my car today. That's not cool. Hey, be careful what you say. I would kill for that car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you be careful what you say, Simeon. Say that again. Go on. Uh, Franklin's down, so two wouldn't be too much trouble for you, would it? Frank's my friend. I wouldn't do that to him, but you, I would do it to you. Oh no, Mike, this could end really badly. I'm not backing down. Simeon, if you shoot, I shoot. And we both die. Uh, ladies, can we, can we put them down? I don't like them. Quiet, Lester. Yeah, quiet, annoying man. Okay, I'm just gonna go on my phone. Okay, that's it. Uh, Simeon, Lester, you're both coming with me. And I'm gonna do a bit more investigating. And if I find anything which suggests more evidence against both of you, then <laughs> my friend, you are going to be guilty today. Now, these are two-seaters, so we're gonna have to get a four-seater. Have you got a car I can borrow? Yes, there is one outside. It is my nephew's. All right, perfect. We got a car outside. Let's go and jump in. Oh, this is a nice ride, Simeon. Maybe we'll do a trade after this video or something. I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of believe Simeon's story. We know Simeon and Franklin do plenty of jobs together. Why would Simeon want to take him out? And it would explain why he was at my house. He was just taking my car. And Lester wanted to take the car back from Simeon. But then that leaves Trevor. And I don't want to believe Trevor would ever do such a thing thing. Trevor's like Franklin's uncle. You know, he wouldn't do that. Let's just go to his house and see what we can find, shall we? Hello? Anybody in? Just one of Franklin's old pals. Oh my days. Guys, do you see that? Someone just threw the chairs into the corner of the room. Uh, 
why, why would Franklin do that? Franklin was at mine, so he would have said something if his house was a mess. His mug is on the floor. His laptop is on the floor. Why would he do that? that did he have a, an argument with somebody? Okay, I gotta check out downstairs. Maybe maybe downstairs there's more clues. Someone's been through this house. I'm pretty confident. They're, they're, look, even the cereal box is on the floor. Things are all over the floor, dude. Is there anyone downstairs? Hello? If anyone's down here, you better show yourself. Bedroom, bedroom. Pretty neat, pretty normal. Oh, Franklin's safe. He had a safe and it's wide open. And the wall is cracked. Someone must have blown this open. I mean, these safes don't just come open on purpose. Someone did this. And there's no money inside, which means they would have taken the money, which means Lester and Simeon are still my number one suspects. Wait, Chop, Chop, of course, Chop. I mean, Chop didn't come to my house. He's gotta be here, Chop. Chop's gone. Chop's missing. He's not in the kennel. Okay, hang on. Let me take a look around the house. I mean, maybe the person who took out Franklin also took Chop out, thinking Chop would find them. But if Chop isn't at the house and he's not with Simeon or Lester, that means they've got to be innocent. Chop's got to be with the person who took Franklin. Now he has to be. Come on, Michael. We got to go and visit Trevor. We got to go and pay him a visit. I mean, if Trevor's guilty, I'm going to be so sad. So, Lester, you're telling me you got the money from Lamar. Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm going to give him a phone call. Hey, Lamar, the Lester told me he stole the money from you. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. But, uh, I got it back thanks to you. Enjoy it while you can. I'm still taking it. What? What? Uh, okay, screw Lamar, Lester got the money from Lamar. Lester, you cleared out the picture. You can go. Simeon, you were stealing my car. You're out the picture. I didn't see any money or chop at your store. Trevor's got to do it. It's got to be Trevor. Uh, you guys can leave the car now. I don't need you around. There it is. Trevor's house. And there is no getting away from me now. Anyone in the garage? Nope, just a bike. Let me just double check that, actually. Hey, Trevor, are you hiding in here, buddy? Are you hiding? Okay, he's definitely not hiding in here. That's it. Come on, Mike. Get inside the house now. I am not giving him a chance to escape. Wait, hang on. Chop? Is that you? Chop, you're okay. Right, that's it. Trevor's definitely guilty. Speaking of which, where is he? Trevor? What about in, in the bedroom? He's not in the bedroom either. Where is he? Hang on. Why is there a laptop in the shower? Is Trevor trying to hide something? I gotta take a look. Search fastest route to North Yankton. Why was Trevor searching? He's getting out of here. He's leaving. He's escaping. And he was going to destroy his laptop so nobody would find out. And to top it all off, he's got Chop too. Okay, Chop, get out of here. We're going to find Trevor. I can't let him escape. There's only one place he would be. It's got to be his airfield. He can't have left too long ago. Is he here? Have I? Oh, no. I think I'm too late. <sighs> okay, that's it. Michael, we got to find a plane and chase him down. That's not going to make it. That's a tiny plane. I need something a bit bigger. Something which will get me 2,000 miles. Please, 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 please. I need a plane. I got to find Trevor. Oh, beautiful. This is a nice jet. <laughs> and the pilot is standing outside. Whoopsie. Yep. I'll be careful. I know. I know. This is a pretty nice plane. Come on, get in, get in, get in, Mike. Get in. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm a bit crazy, but this is mine. Sorry. Gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. Thanks, guys. This plane is gonna get me there before Trevor. It's gotta be faster. It's gotta be better. It's a pretty nice jet. I know whatever Trevor's using is not gonna be as nice as this. Let's go, Mike. That's it. That's his plane. All right. This is gonna be quite the landing, Mike. Let's Oh, slowly, carefully now. Don't crash into the plane. Ah, nice. That was a pretty good landing, Mike. Now time for business. Where is he? Trevor, what are you doing? He's got to be in the graveyard. He landed right next to it. And you won't believe this. He's right there. And he's seen me. Hey, what are you doing? Quick, behind this bench. Behind this bench. I know what you did, Trevor. Oh, jeez. He's shooting me. Yeah, Trevor, what are you doing? I know you took Franklin out. Don't take me out, too. Pay for what you did. Oh, come on. I keep missing. What? Why would I do that? You have Chop, Trevor. I went to your house. I... Oh, you are so lucky. You took Chop. You did it. I was saving Frank. Saving him? From who? Yourself? Oh, that was close. From you! Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 Mike, that, that, that's impossible. I, I've been playing as Michael all day. Trevor, I think you've really lost your mind at this point. All the guilty conscience is catching up to you. Why, it couldn't be Michael. Where's your son, Mike? I don't know, Trevor. He left this morning. Since you're so clever, why don't you tell me? Phone him up. Go on, do it. <sighs> okay, Michael, don't take your eyes off the ball. Trevor could still be messing with us. <sighs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. He went out this morning. Why would Jimmy take out Franklin? D no sense. He's not gonna pick up. Oh yeah, you really, you really think you're that clever? He's not available to hang out. Could Jimmy have taken Franklin out? I, I don't understand why. I managed to save Chop, but couldn't save Frank. Hang on, you saved Chop, but not Frank? Is that why you're at my house? Yes. If he wasn't with you this evening, he would have been safe. Oh my days. He could be right. Trevor could be right about this. I am. I saw him do it. But he saw me, ran back into the house, hid under his bed or something. I don't know. 
He probably hid from you. Okay, right, Trevor, prove yourself. Okay, let's see if we can find him. Simeon, Lester, I got news. Uh, apparently, Jimmy did it. Jimmy, I knew he was a bad boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, look, look, ignore all this. Can you find him for me, Lester? Use your computer, Simeon. I, I don't know. Just, just look for him. Put everyone you know on the street. Uh, we need to find him if you want to prove you're innocent in all of this. I'm running some stuff now. Uh, I got him. He's on the yacht. He's on the yacht. Okay, Trevor. I got his location. Let's go and see what Jimmy's doing. Why on earth would he be on a super yacht? Well, somebody's on the yacht. There's a helicopter on there. Can you see anything else, Mike? Is Jimmy on the yacht? I think he might be. That looks a little bit like him. Who is he speaking to? I gotta get closer. Could that really be Jimmy? Could he have really taken out Franklin? It's, I, I need to know why he's got a super yacht. All right, get out, Mike. Do this carefully, quietly. I don't want Jimmy to know just in case this is him. That's definitely him. Look at this. That's his shirt. It says Decenter. Okay, careful, careful, careful. I need to find answers. I need, I need to listen to a conversation or, or something. Just, just anything. This is a nice yacht. There is no need for Jimmy to have this. I don't know how he could have got this. He doesn't make any money at home. He doesn't even have a job. Slowly. Oh, hang on. Who's that guy? I need to uh, go, go really far. Uh, how far can this go? Sir, this yacht can go anywhere. Uh, Australia, New Zealand. Tell me where and we can go. Yeah, I'll go to... Australia? Jimmy D. Santa, a.k.a. my son. Get on the ground. Uh, uh, hey, hey, Dad. How are you? I'm good, Jimmy. I'm good. How are you? Clearly, you're doing well for yourself. Golden helicopter, luxury super yacht. How on earth did you get all this stuff? I, I won the lottery, Dad. How amazing is this? You won the lottery, eh? Which lottery? Um... The lottery. Which one, Jimmy? When did you win it? How much did you win? A lot of money for the, the lottery. You can't even tell me which lottery he won. And you can't even tell me how much he won. Jimmy, did you take Franklin out? What? That, um, uh, no. That didn't sound very convincing, Jimmy. I'm gonna ask. Do you want to get that? Your, your phone's ringing. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'll let it ring. No, no, how about you get that, Jimmy? And put it on speakerphone. I want to hear what they're about to say. No, no, really. You don't. I do, Jimmy. I do. No, okay. Hello? Don't say anything, Jimmy. Don't say anything. Yo, J-Dog! How you doing? Do you get him? Do you get the money? You take him out? I'm ready to bud, so you just let me know. I'm down in Mexico. Not, not a good time. Not a good time, Steve. Uh, uh, I'll be in touch. So, you and your buddies decided to take Franklin out. Jimmy, I'm not gonna deal with you. I'm gonna let your mom deal with you, Jimmy. No, no, not her, please! Consider yourself lucky. I can't believe you. You're grounded for ten years! You're not my son! You kicked out the house! No, no, no! Oof, I'm glad I'm not in there right now. I'll leave Amanda to it. Hang on, who's this? Oh, Simeon! Thank you, man. You gave me my car back. I thought you would want this after everything that's happened. I'm sorry to hear. Oh, that's okay, Simeon. My son's crazy. Everyone knows it. But I know you guys aren't. And all of us love Franklin. So if you want to send him off well, smash like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. Help us get to 7 million subscribers. Thanks for watching. My name is Nort. And until next time, stay awesome.